So, yesterday I informed you that I unfortunately had to deal with pest control on this upcoming morning. And I went, I'm just going to fix my schedule, get it good, good going. And then I realized that's just not happening. I'm not waking up after like four or five hours of sleep to try and fix my schedule into a morning mode. And I went, I'll just keep sleeping. And anytime I wake up, I'll side-eye to see if I see light coming out of a window. And until I don't see that, we're good. That worked, and I slept for 17 hours. <laughs> Sometimes that shit does not work. Anyway, this is uh, this is Final Fantasy XII on the Xbox. As you can see, uh, <laughs> look at the frame rate immediately shot up. We're, we're doing pretty good. Let me see, which which way is progress? It's that way. I'm going to do like a circuit around here to get a, a little bit more a little more juice for us. I had planned on doing this before the stream when I woke up, but things changed. Uh, yeah, this this does fuck me up, but I'm like, oh, it's immediately. Makes my eyes feel better. So I thought we'd clear some, clear some dudes out. Oh yeah, we're still on four. Let's get off uh, four. It's a little too aggressive. It's mainly good for when I'm listening to a podcast. There we go. Double's good. Never seen this in 60. Feels like the Ocarina of Time mod that looked like Gmod, yeah. Yeah, this is only in the Xbox and uh, I believe the PC versions. It feels good, because there was already 60 in the Zodiac Age, but it was only for menus. Also, it has a real save menu in it, so that makes me feel better. Uh, I'd like to apologize for my bad gameplay in the last stream. I just was in a funk or something. It was not feeling super... Uh, Super, like, good. I don't know. I was in, I was in flux yesterday, but I'm feeling pretty good now. 17 hours will do that to you. Bill Spencer fucking got you, dude. He did, but only when it went on sale. I was not gonna pay fifty dollars for a save menu. I could not do that. I had sixty dollars at the time. However, I was willing to pay twenty-five dollars for a save menu. There anything up here? No, there wasn't. Let me look at the let me look at the fat map. There we go. Get that big one up here. We're just running a circuit here real quick to get some extra LP. Anyway, I've been asleep. I've been asleep from like three or four a.m. till like nine p.m. Did I miss anything of importance? This look looks so fucked at sixty. Hello, dog. Oh, you're you're in the thing. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Hey. Uh, I can only be here for a bit because I do have work, but uh, just have yeah. to hang out. Yeah, it's fine. We, we can sneak in a little bit. So, my body was like, you can't wake up in four hours. You can't do it. What if you just slept the whole day instead? And I did. I I couldn't do that. I, like, I would feel guilty. <laughs> there's not, there's, not, feel there's so no much. there's no one to judge me. I live alone. I, I no, even, like I would judge myself. I would feel some form of Catholic guilt. Some dogs this are just really judgmental. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> this looks so weird at 60. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. It, it's, you know, it's also doubly effective because I'm currently also playing this game right now on PS4. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, nor normally only the menus were 60. Yeah. But yeah, I played back to where we were, which was, was not hard. No. Uh, and, especially uh, yeah. since you knew what you were doing. Yeah, just doing quad speed is very easy for me to run this back. Stuff. I'm just picking up some extras through through a run here. I planned on doing it before the stream, but I, you know, woke up weirdly and like we gotta set the, this great stream up. Uh, did you make use of the of, of the trial mode stuff to get? Some uh, I didn't try it yet because they're too strong. I need to get uh, a little bit further. Like like yeah. some of the early stages, they throw like. 15 of the cacti enemy yeah. that you and you're like, oh, that does a lot. But uh, once we get a little further, I'll be able to use it a bit better. So I've just been yeah. running, uh, I've been running up and down through this area as soon as you unlock uh, Bosch as a proper party member that wears a shirt. 
I um decided to, to boot up um the trial mode. I mm. forgot I forgot you don't earn EXP, you only learn you only earn like license um, points. Yeah, you only learn license points and you get the drops. So it, it's a good way of power leveling without being overpowered. Yeah, yeah, it allows you to be able to go, oh I can go into trial mode so that I can unlock the ability to wear a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of it's I went into trial mode, my level's also up by twenty. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. So I, I've been doing um, uh, when, when I when I started my playthrough of this earlier, mm -hmm. uh, I decided to go in with a perfect playthrough, <laughs> which means I'm getting every item. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you did, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be, this might be a problem. <laughs> um, it's not bad so far. It's mm -hmm. actually like honestly, the most I've like had to like grind was for um an iron helm off of a bunch of skeletons. Well, uh, well, that's good. I always worry whenever you go down the road of challenges, it just it does nothing but cause you pain and suffering. Well, I mean, I've I've I've, I've done this on PS2, so. Ah, okay, there you go. I, I was worried you'd have another situation where uh, the game would become evil like Resident Evil 4 and professional. Yeah. I think whoever says that mode is good should be shot. <laughs> hey, some people are sickos and are really good. All right. And then they're like, I love this. I'm like the mud dog. But unfortunately, for mortals like us, it, it does, in fact, suck. Um, I'm going to try to go for, for, for every drop, because someone's asking what that means. There's some of them, I'm not going to, like, if it's, like, the super obtuse, like, 1 in 10,000 items, no. You're not like, going to go, I, I, you're, you're not going to try and get the grand helm and the, uh, the grand, like, chest. Uh, I, I saw I, a challenge got... video that like described that it's like a one in one thousand chance of uh <laughs> of the chest it has containing that instead of like one gill. Yeah, um, and that that's only if you have the diamond armor equipped as well. Yes, it's so if you if you don't have that equipped, uh, you, the odds are, odds are better, but you don't get what you need. So the whole thing with the diamond armor is that the odds are worse, but you but there's a chance of getting like way better stuff. Um, I mean, I, I I already got the sight in Grat, so it's like, yeah, bro, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Jordan. Hi, KZ. Did you see the journey I went on today? Uh, I saw that you had a bad burger and that you're goon caving. What else is going on? So, the the burgers. Say hi to your wife, hello. by the way. Hi, Mitten. There you go. All right, let's get going. Um, what happened was... I originally tried getting Jack in the Box. <laughs> All right. This Jack, this Jack in the Box is two blocks away, but it's raining, so I don't want to walk. True. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, I didn't um, want to be a wet pussy. <laughs> and <laughs> about thirty minutes go by. Uh huh. My Grubhub driver gets there, and they cancel my order. No reason given. They just canceled it. That shit happens sometimes. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That happened um, to me during that cage marathon where they canceled my sandwich at the same time I loaded a state at the start of the stream and lost all my progress. Rough. So, <laughs> so then I got a five dollar coupon. I thought you were about to say goupon. Yeah, the guy. Goop I wish I, I had. A, I want a goupon. Goupon, these and idiot. I decided to use it for five guys. Mm. Eat when I get there. Goop on my balls. It's a, it's a, it's an hour wait for five guys. I should mention that the reason I chose Jack in the Box is because it was also a fast food place with what I presume to be good shakes. Yes. So then I I was like, okay, I'll do five guys. They also have good shakes. Yeah. Um, a little too pricey goupon. for me, but you know, we we, we fuck coupon. with it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a goop on. I got a goop on, and I have free delivery. It's crazy. Um. <laughs> so. Hour passes, you know, I'm fine with that. It's it's LA traffic, mm. at like 6:30 p.m. Um, they, it gets here. Got my fries. I got my shake. My burger. I ordered a plain bacon cheeseburger. Okay. What I got was no cheese, no bacon. What? Three three beef patties with what, what was clearly mustard wiped off of it, <laughs> and. And on the bottom bun, three slices of avocado. My avocado. 
I don't. This was very clearly someone else's burger that they accidentally put into my bag. Damn, dude, that's crazy. I got crumble cookies. And then I finally bit the bullet and was like, <laughs> I'll, ju I'll just walk the Jack in the Box and I got a burger. <laughs> and then you're doing like the virgin walk to the fucking Jack in the Box. Did you know that sidewalks in California, like, just completely flood when it rains? <laughs> that's, oh, that makes sense. It doesn't rain over there, so they're not prepared yeah, for it. Yeah, they typically, they, they typically do not have the infrastructure for that. I seemingly came at a very historic time in California, where it's the wettest and coldest it has ever been since, like... Matt, you said 2004, right? Yeah, 2004. Oh, that's, uh... Ah, oh, better to go there when than when it's on fire. So then my uh, my feet got soaked. Mm. Thankfully, I didn't see the homeless guy with two by four screaming at people this time. Because <laughs> I saw that yesterday when that's, I was walking that's, the game. That's awesome. Love that for them. What is that like? Like a fucking rare encounter? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It plays the unique monster theme from a Xenoblade <laughs> game. If you if 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 you bash its skull in, it, it's it's like a metal slime. It's, it's slippery and it'll run away, but if you kill it, you get a lot of EXP. Thank you, ECAT, for the 24. That'd be two years. Was, Enjoy the updated badge. What was very funny was, um, I'm on stream. I'm in call. Hello. Um, KZ says hi, Vince. Um, you didn't say that. Like, yesterday, what was very funny is I... Like, I was I was walking on the sidewalk behind this couple, and this guy is approaching, very clearly tweaking, with a with 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 a with a two by four, and just screaming at people. That's great. And we j and the do, I'm doing the advice Vince gave me, where you're not supposed to look lost in L.A. when you're walking. You you got to walk with purpose. Yeah. Or else vagrants will come to talk to you. And as soon as, and I, I look, I was, I just had like my eyes on the couple ahead of me. And as soon as like we both pass, or both pass the crackhead, um, <laughs> we immediately get on the next crosswalk. <laughs> You're like, let's get the... some distance. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Man, I used to wonder how K how PM encountered so many weird people in his life. But I was uh -huh. like, no, if you, if you just walk, you'll find them. Yeah. Thank you, Mop, for the 10 gifts. Says. We got a new piece of fan art, Alta. Oh, boy. Did we? Already? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Wicked, wicked bringing it once again. I, I, don't, I don't have context for that, but that's really cool. <laughs> yep. And you're helping me solve puzzles. Hell yeah. You're British. Oh. Yeah, hey, what's that in the bottom right? Oh, what's this that? one. This one. Yeah. Uh, that was done done by Cat Doof through donations. This is Vaughn oh as God. a who from Whoville. Yeah, because she for some reason thought it looked like a who from Horton Hears a Who Who over there. I don't know. Horton Hears a Whore. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that elephant. Who voiced the elephant in that movie? Mm -hmm. It was me. Oh wow, good for you. I didn't want you to find out this way, but yeah. So, uh, how how are you how are you liking the game? It was Jim Carrey. Hey, it's all right. I'm 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 enjoying this though. We're just running around. Hey, have, have you tried the quickening stuff yet? Uh, I just I just started unlocking them, yeah, but I haven't like used yeah. one yet. It's weird. It's a very strange. It's not like super in depth, but it's like. I don't think anything in the game actually explains how you do it. What are you doing? Yeah, he's I'm repositioning and we're hearing every part of it. Is, yeah, is he on, is he on like, 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 like one of those weird like... AS ASMR, an entire stream's being put inside the folds of a couch. Have you, have, have you, ever, I, I, sat, have, have you ever sat on like one of those like leather couches? And yes. like moving the slightest bit makes the loudest noise you've ever heard in your life. And if you sit and in you... it for longer than an hour and a half, you will be peeled off of the couch. 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave so I don't continue making these noises. <laughs> well, thank you for your contribution, <laughs> to the very least. He's, he's gonna slip a fart in there and be like, oh, that was a couch. <laughs> It's an it's an air mattress actually. Oh, okay, that it's explains everything. Yeah. He's, he's gonna deflate it. It's gonna be like, oh, whoops. He's gonna be like that. That was the air mattress. I'm like, that sounds like a squirt. I don't know how it would do that. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. It's always important to end when you're on top. Surprise. Bond looks like he's about to fucking. Yep. I don't know what you're talking about. I was busy changing co hosts. What's happened? Oh no. <laughs> he's like, I'm still blind. I'm like, well, you were dead earlier. I feel like you should have just learned to not. So I, I, I don't know if you've missed it or if it's in this area, but you, you can get. You can start getting uh, maces for, for Balthier. So he's not using guns. Ah, uh, okay. Let me see if I uh, pick, picked up one. No. Maybe that shop earlier has one. I forget, are Quickening's tied to MP in this? No, uh, do you see that orange meter below your character? Yeah. Uh, th that's the Quickening ga gauge. Yeah. I wonder why it isn't so it filling. I, I, fucking, I still do not know how that shit works. Sometimes it yeah. fills. Yeah. I was wondering if it was because I reduced my MP to zero using the, the Goddess Magic site. That might be it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's immediately filling now. Oh, it's a fill over time. Okay. Was the save screen worth it? Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, in the in the original PS2 release, uh, Quickenings did use MP, but they just made it like a separate, uh, a, a separate meter in the in the Zodiac. That's good. All right, kill this bastard, please. Thank you. Quickenings are, are, are really funny because um, it, it is an AOE. Like it will, it targets every enemy that's near you. Mm -hmm. uh, it deals massive damage to all of them. So if you get a really high chain, you can just one shot bosses in a single quickening. I love that. It's all I want. <laughs> I was, uh... <laughs> My favorite genre of stream bit. Someone sounds like they're about to throw up. <laughs> I don't think it'll, it'll never. I don't think it'll ever be as bad as that one time Carl started speaking during golf and then like throw up halfway through. Yeah, you little whore. Uh, type four in chat. Yeah, I, I have played thirteen. I I I I have played every uh, mainline number in Final Fantasy. Did it. Although experience will vary, because I cannot, I, 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 I can tell you I played 11, I can't tell you shit about it. <laughs> yeah. Hello, big guy. You have a, yeah, you have a mace, okay. Oh, I, I, I don't think you have the license for it. <laughs> he doesn't have his mace license. Go on your mace license, you bastard. There you go. Yeah, uh, not only is it stronger, it's also faster, because uh, uh, for some reason, despite... I said this last stream, Fran and Balthier start with uh, bows and guns, respectively. But they're the slowest weapons for them. Uh, I think it. that's because they have unique animations for them, and that just makes them take longer to fire. Oh, okay. Let me use this good save. Oh, it's real and oh, in the game. So, 
Oh, that's so much faster. What the I, fuck? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's fuck, fuck that PlayStation version. How dare they? I'm World surprised World. I haven't like made a native PS5 version. Yeah. I live in the world of speed now. So uh, I forgot to mention there there is a very weird quirk with the bizarre system. Um, it, you 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 aren't really gonna like encounter it unless you know what items get you what. Mm. So for example, uh, let's say you have like twenty scraps and 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 you sell them and you get an item at 10 scraps and 20 scraps, respectively. Yep. If you sell all 20 at once, you only get the item for the 10 scraps because it, like, caps out. Ah, uh, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't you, you, know to... Yeah. It doesn't know to get them all at once. It's like when you beat a game and they're like... You beat it on hard, but we will not give you the trophies for normal and easy. I don't think I've ever encountered like that. I, don't, I think every game I've played that does that has, like, just given you everything. There are some older games that then got r another re-release that fixed that, but there have been some. Huh. If not, you're like, ugh. Uh, I it sh I should mention like that that while that is an oversight, you, you you unless you specifically look up the bizarre items, you 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 are not going to like even notice or know. So it's really not yeah. that big a deal. You're like, oh, the bizarre gave me a bunch of things I can pick up. Uh, for most rare items, like from doing hunts. Um, if, if, if you sell, like, so, like, you get, like, a rainbow egg. Shout out to cheese. Shout out to uh, cheese. For, uh, for doing a specific hunt. If you sell that one rainbow egg, you you will get the reward. Like, it's not like, oh, you need, like, multiple rainbow eggs. Shout out to cheese. <laughs> Minz, are you still here? You rambunctious bitch. Jesus. Oh, I was that a little too strong, my bad. Uh, hurdle time, bestie. Oh, wait, uh, ha have you, have you found the, um, uh, the, the hunting guild in, in Rabernaster? No, we just did, we just mainlined, so I didn't do anything okay. besides the, the, the okay, required right, stuff. So we, the thing with, uh, hunting guild, that, that's, that's how you, that's how you respec. Um, and also... Uh, Monta Block, the, the, the Koopa who runs the place, will give you rewards for every boss you kill. Ah. So, you know, it's always good to stop by every now and then. Yeah. It's mainly there for, like, the hunt system, but I, you're probably not going to, like, engage with that too often. Ah. If at all. You know, the gun system. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm doing all the hunts in my playthrough. A lot. I forget how fun a lot of them are. Like, yeah, like, yeah, they, they... yeah, it's fun to go knock them out. I did most of the Rogue Galaxy ones recently when I did that playthrough, and I went, oh, this is nice to find all these extra, extra things. Fuck them up. God, yeah, you're right. Rogue Galaxy did have a hunt system. Jesus Christ. It has a hunt and a hunting ranking system, yeah. So, so is this game. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's what made it funny about them coming out around the same time. They had similar ideas. <laughs> that one went more insane where you got a clump of hunter points when you killed like 30 of each enemy type. Oh, uh, this hey, this game also does that. Oh, uh, okay. They're basically the same fucking yeah, game. Yeah, so uh, after you heal, go into the menu. Uh, hit clan primer. Uh, and then like, it, for example, like hit, hit the hit the bestiary. Uh, and then hit whatever thing. Uh... Yeah, if you kill a certain number of enemies, you, you're uh, of that species of enemies. You, you you get you get new parts in your best area. So on the right with that fish, the, yeah. the ikton, mm -hmm. six next to it, it means you have to kill six more of them to unlock its extra thing. Ah, okay. There you go. Also, a, a really cute thing uh, in this menu. If you back out of the best area, uh, and then go to the sky pirates den. Funny sprite. Yeah, cute, yeah. yeah you get cute little sprites. Uh, these are your achievements. Oh yeah, they they I remember they patched this back in uh because it wasn't in the original remasters release because achievements existed, but when this went to Switch, they're like, "We'll patch it back in." <laughs> Cuz that does not have really? achievements in it. I yeah. Don't, I remember that. Yeah, oh. this yeah, this is one of those things where um they wanted an extra thing to track achievements. Some of the Dragon Quest 
games have that. Like some of the yeah. hero, like heroes had it, I believe. Because they're like, this isn't going to be on... It's going to be on platforms that don't have achievements. We'd like some way to track it. It's just like, that was in the original PS2 version, so it's very funny to think they kind of took it out for the remaster. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Potion. Ooh, another treasure chest. Bang. Evil robot spider. So, um, I, I have been using a, a guide to help out with, with my uh, perfect run, because I can't remember exact items. Yeah. Um, and this little area right here probably took me the longest, not because of anything hard, but because, like, it's so big, and there's, like, a specific chest that has, like, a 80% chance of being there and a 30% chance of having an, a weapon that I wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's as simple as, like, going into a different loading zone and then coming back. Yeah, um, it's, yeah it's a lot of tagging in, tagging out. Yeah. Uh, it really helps because uh, uh, chests respawn every screen, enemies respawn every two screens. So, you know, uh, once once you clear a room of enemies, you, you just come in, in and out if you want to grind for the chests. Yeah. Just... I got a capella. Is that a weapon? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hold on. Ah, it's another yeah, gun. Like, Jesus. I think that might have been the item I was looking for. <laughs> it's funny as hell. I remember this guy got so pissed he took me through the end of the Alexander raid when it was brand new on normal. Now I just roll a 97 on the fucking minion in the last fight. I, I remember when uh, Puppet's Bunker came out in 14. Uh, the first time I beat it, uh, I rolled I rolled like a 98 on, on the 2P minion. <laughs> which was the rarer one, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Whimsical ass soundtrack. I love this game soundtrack a lot. It's so yeah. good. Be my big stick. <laughs> yeah. Squirtin'. The Mimic Spiders are so cool. Like, I, I hate spiders typically, but these are so, so goddamn cool looking. <laughs> they only care about electricity, so it's fine. I love that it's like a stained glass thing. Yeah. This, uh, th this might be a good chance to use your quickenings. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you just hit one of those. Um, if they if they don't pop up, hit the right trigger to like roll them. Please. And just keep doing that. My ah, yeah, it's it's very luck dependent. Do you mash it or you just hold it? Uh, you you press it. You see if it, if you, if your character rolls mischarge. Mm -hmm. So like if like Vaughn hits mischarge, you hit Y. Who's playing Xbox? And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's it's stupid strong. It is such a stupidly strong system. So I I understand why they made it like really luck dependent because if if you if you get everyone's level three quickenings and just <laughs> blast an enemy they they just do not exist. <laughs> that poor bastard. Oh man, Santa Land. Sand. Do you think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet? 
Where are we? Voice is so good. <laughs> the Esther sand, by the look of it. Let's back to Ravenasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Oh, I'm yes. so upset because I, I, I wasn't here for for the line where he's like, uh, the, this is <laughs> this is this is where they stole all our weapons. <laughs> I, I love that. That line is so good. What was it? It was like the 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 repository of like, of. Ah, oh, shit, there was like another R in there, and it's like remnants and relics. And like, is, is this where they kept our stuff? That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, what does mine say? Ass. Sweet, what does mine say? Dude. <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I, every... You want to see me do it again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you you do all right. So the way quickenings work um, is that there's one quickening, um, uh, not one. There's three quickenings per license board on your job. So if you have someone, if you if you have two characters on the same job, only one character can have that quickening from that from that board. But as long as you're using all all twelve jobs, you you everyone has their level threes. I have no remorse. Still. Put them in the fucking ground. We have some. Uh, we can we can buy some stuff. Uh, so you you level up the quickenings by just finding the other ones on the license board. Hmm. Don't know if I want to invest in that yet. I can do this. Let me use the battle harness I have. Cause uh, I know um, where that get where that uh. So if if you go back down to the bottom part, real quick, it should be to the right of that gambit slot. Uh, up one. Yeah, that that, that that's your other quick. Oh one. oh, I forgot that it actually does say what each one has under it. Yeah yeah no no it's it's not a mystery like it it tells you so you can plan your course. Ah, okay. That's that's my bad for not actually looking there. Yeah, we'll pick up that. Oh no, that that that's that that you know that's that's not even your fault. That that's just, you know, that's how other games work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I forgot what classes get the ribbon, but like the ribbon is a thing you have to buy a license for. Uh, it's mm. two hundred and fifteen points by itself. Oof. Which is fair, that's a ribbon. Yeah, oh, you're right there. <laughs> yep. Ah, okay, maces go this way, so I should probably move my way up. Move my way up. Yeah, and then uh, the, the red mage magic is on top. The uh, charge technique is very funny. Get to be. Your uh, your character will will, will either uh, like uh, charge up their MP and their quickening for free, or if they fail, they lose all of it. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like they shit themselves. Carl will be a good mage. Oh man, they're Limbiscuit. I I I, I love the, the uh, cockatrices in their game. They're so funny. I too lose all my lemon gauge when I ship myself. That's good. Yeah. Well, so, uh, see, the the quickenings are are you know as I said are RNG dependent because they do a shitload of damage. Like I think they. I think they ignore like stats and like like uh, barriers and shit. That's great. Uh, 
the second job, uh, you, you don't you don't get that until like the end of the first third of the game, which is when you get your first summon. I mean, I guess that's not really the first third, but whatever. It, it's it, it, the the game's wants you to play a chunk with just the one job for each. It's really fun. Yeah. It leads to a much better pop when you give more access to other things. Yeah. Yeah. Beesh. <laughs> Look at that. Little bastard. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> he has two tumors. <laughs> Rotten hell. I'm later on and I find it funny. I have a guess that has less max HP than either of my mages. That's always fun. Taking them down the board yeah. where they actually get huge. Uh, I know in the original PS2 releases, um, guests, uh, if their gambit left them use potions, had infinite potions. Oh. Uh, they fixed that in the Zodiac version, so now they use eager potions. Tragic. I like because I'm looking at the stats and I'm like, yeah, my um, my white mage has the highest health value. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like when things can become stupid like that. Um, if if you want to get real stupid, you you can make your white mage a monk. <laughs> so they just have stupid high HP. <laughs> I'm a healer, they, but cocks they, arm they, like they, gun. <laughs> you know, that's basically because like, like there's like accessories and like other um stuff on the license board that increases your damage if you don't have weapons. Do you have any uh, plans on your combos? Yeah, Alta sent me good uh, first starting jobs and secondary jobs. I decided to give that a try. Roll with it like that. Yeah, every, every job combination is viable. I like the way that bird walked. It was a little fruity. I'm good, I don't need any onions. I'll buy that off you, though. This one random merchant just said, like, Hey, do you want to learn how to cast ice magic? What? Yeah. Uh, sure. If you want the I'm a healer butt, maybe you get White Mage Machinist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh... I'm so, I'm so good. I took 50,000 steps. Yeah, uh, b uh Black Mage Monk just deletes most enemies. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> there we go. It added a chocobo to our little dude here. I'll try to make note of this area whenever we get an achievement chat. See what see what they put in the den for it. Uh, let's check what's in the corner here. Oh, okay, another exit. What? Wait, someone just sent me an image. PlayStation? What the fuck is this? Hold on, it's loading on PlayStation. Oh, it's taking forever. It's gonna steal your information. Well, if he does, I'll just dox him again. Okay. <laughs> I'm loading, so I, I don't know what it says. So because Twitch paid, I was picking up, uh... I bought off Yuki's, uh... 3DS capture unit because I was like, you know, I'd like a, I'd like a XL model. I've only had the launch model. They sold it to me for a reasonable price. I asked if they needed my real name for packages as I've not shipped things before, and their response was, "No." One time I sent something and addressed it to Soy Boy. 
And I'm like, oh, oh fucking damn it. Uh, so after I set out, I'll, I'll, I'll dox him again. I got a message that just says, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> Who was it? Uh, it was Locke. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, they deserve it. <laughs> I don't talk to them at all, but I'll just make judgment calls on their character right now. You, you talked to him for a little bit, and you were scared because he had a funny accent. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't like I, that because when I first started getting on the internet, a lot of Europeans talked to me, and they're like, "What's up, KZ?" And I'm like, "Shut the oh, fuck no. up!" <laughs> there he is, chat. Hello, Luck. <laughs> oh, hey, Luck. How you doing? You do you doing some like cool shouts or something in Skyrim on Switch? He's not even European. <laughs> We're learning a Holy lot today. Shit. Can't Australia believe, can't is believe, not Europe. Can't believe he was race faking as an Australian. <laughs> <laughs> can't say that he's not an original Australian. Oh shit. Never mind. <laughs> this bit was non canon. <laughs> You know, the stream took a little bit longer to start than usual, but, you know, I feel like we delivered. Shit. <laughs> My head hurts. <laughs> Dude. How, how did you make me, like, feel, like, dehydrated in a, in a, in a, in a word? I, do, I don't know. Blood Dancer. Defeated 500 foes. Let's check that out in the in the Chungus screen. Yeah, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Good job, Bosh. I see you hiding I, over here. I keep being sent images, but I can't see them because PSN does not want to load. That's fucked up. Casey okay, so typing in Randy and Hurdle almost killed me, but I lived. Oh, thank God. Thank God you're doing good there. You are now have a record of, I think, three wins out of seven. <laughs> Mitten's desperately trying to get a 50-50 win-loss record. <laughs> That's great, man. <laughs> I love that image so much. <laughs> Mom brings home the sludge. <laughs> I, I, I can only be here for a little bit, so I'm trying to make it count. Yeah, you're trying to put in all the energy you can. I was like, man, if I get the Xbox version, I can get messages. This is important. Shout out to Dilbert. <laughs> Not many people get a chance to say shout out to Dilbert, so I wanted to be one of the people. I'm getting uh, slight numbers over my tweet about Sebastian in the live-action Little Mermaid movie. Going, if this dude rolled up with a Jamaican accent and a musical number, I'd start screaming. Cause it looks like a real ass fucking like crab. Yeah. They uh they 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 found flounder. <laughs> in 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 the poster. Oh god. It's just a normal ass fish. Oh yeah, I did see that. It was fucked up. Fucking hate talk tries to go. He's gonna tell you about Finny Fun, and I'm like, I'm gonna tell him about differential pressure in a minute. Yo, let's fucking go. Let's go. I, I love differential pressure, dude. It's so funny. They be doing shit. <laughs> they in fact always be doing shit. Yo. 
<laughs> is this your favorite recent image? Yeah. Because you're right. What if he rolled up with a Jamaican accent and then got hit with differential pressure? <laughs> like it was, like it like it's an attack from Naruto? Like what the I'd start kneeling. I mean I I, I guess that's what the percent gun is. It's something. Takes for a spin, all right. Oh yeah, I meant to ask this earlier. Um, for the for, for the release of the, of the new Layton game, are are you, are you at least gonna do like the um, the original trilogy? Yeah, I, I think I should like try and jump into the month stream or something. That'd be delightful. I, I'd, I'd love to sit there for that because like I'm, I've been interested in them. Yeah, and I, and I'll uh, be I'm, like, I'm... okay, in this one, uh, only Alta will solve this puzzle. Don't. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got, dude. I got stumped on the first on the first puzzle of Unwound Future. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as that, as soon as that popped in my head, I'm like, this is evil. I mean, I okay. If if you, if you, for all those games, because like mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you can you can knock all those out in like one stream, or unless they're unless they're like way longer than I thought. Yeah, I forget how long they are. You know, it just comes down. To, a lot of it comes down to puzzle, you know, solving speed. Yeah, but like uh, depending on that, I I will, I, I I will take the days off and I will solve those puzzles. <laughs> I will do whatever is necessary to solve these puzzles. I thank you. I'd avoid like six to eight hours each. In this That's town, doable. Still a traitor, yeah. you know. The resistance will surely find me. Dude, soon. he's been walking out with his fucking bulge just out there, dude. Fates will we meet wow. again. I would pay my respects to your brother. You're a fugitive now too. Stay low for a while. Criminal. What about the stone? Do as you like. I control the stone. <laughs> oh yeah, I control the stone. That stone and found ourselves only worry. You offering it? It's mine. Then why'd you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanastra a while. Friend is so cool. Yeah, she says like words, but weirdly. Can I trust I forgot the bunny girl wants to be Bajork so bad. What the fuck's a Bajork? I gotta get rid of this thing. I think that's the Swedish bitch who wants to tell you about televisions. <laughs> maybe I should show it to Pinello first, so she knows I got something. She'd be sure. in the place this time of day. Okay. Final Fantasy set in Ikea. Finally. A this... Final Fantasy for fans and newcomers. And the Swedish... A fantasy actually set in reality, yeah. Boom, fucking two, 215 pulls right there. <laughs> she wore a bird that is banned in chat once. A bird is banned in chat. I don't know. I'm hold on. I'm 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 going into my view right now. What what bird do we have banned in chat? I feel bad that I can't recognize the bird. Goose? Why is goose banned? Oh, the Balto Goose thing. Where it's like that, that in Balto 3, there's that goose oh. that was serving massive cunt. 
you have amnesia with that? I don't think I was there for that. <laughs> Yeah, it was, you know, it was mostly an airy thing, because it was, like, their thing. Uh, Zumbini... Z Zumbini's kin-shifting, mm. dry-humping, Scrabble, Scrabbles. Yeah, you're really in the Mittens block right now, actually. Uh, could, why am I... Why am I copying band? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna allow that, but I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna keep that band. I'm just... I'm just soak... Well, well. Soaking. Soak? You want to start soaking? This was like a year and a half ago where uh, I believe it was Nep uh, explained what soaking was. Here, look at this. My, my, my. Quite a treasure you've got there. Why do we have the French well, word for deli band? I don't know. There is more to this for, for reference, soaking is like, like flanking only your dick inside of a form. Is what the Urban Dictionary says on that one. <laughs> I was going to ask that so, kites to go, but I Subway eat fresh. To do? No. We're about Agua. to play Spyro at the time. So at the time so okay, that's like, fair. That's fair. Hold on. I'm I, I, the I, name that, of that's, that's, that's long Lazarus, past. And I need you to bring this this guy's voiced by Awaka, by the way. That's, and you're not safe. That's a sword of the old order. There's two Speak different spellings of, of Nicaragua here. To get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. Mind you, you are to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. Now go away, I'm gonna take my hookah. I forgot, I forgot so Kyle Massey is on your jeans. <laughs> <laughs> So I think that now you're back. I think one of the hunts that opens up is a, a hunt to go back into the sewers where the rats were and then fight a ghost. Because <laughs> uh -huh. the ghost wants to take revenge for the rats. <laughs> then what do you make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Huh? Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. Ah. Your so how how how, how far did you get on the far too lightly on yes, the scales scales for my taste? Um, uh, the first time I played it, I got to up to uh, Do you not think Amalia worth saving? No, I mean I mean for the stream. Oh, uh, wherever we started today. I hold oh, okay. I just, I just replayed hands. up to that. I'm a sea foes right. every I didn't want to, I didn't want to show people the same thing or anything. Really. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would on door. No, it's also, yes, Vossler's in voice by fucking then Nolan North. <laughs> There's the Bosch, I remember, watch as he becomes human. <laughs> I like the split screen because it reminds me of fucking Lost Some Odyssey. Change, do they? Listen Based. to Bosch. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. Bosh gained some muscle mass. Not a lot, though. <laughs> He's still, like, not that wide. 
hate that I said wide. That's right. Buckman's. Yep. Amalia's in the resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbana. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbana. We couldn't have done it without you. Not true. He didn't uh, use a quickening, we did. Without you, I wouldn't be able to punch those lizards in the cage match. <laughs> I guess we should go look at the Hans real quick before I forget and then not do this. I know me. Oh yeah, I think Bosch is now like actually in your party. Yeah. Yeah, and now that he's wearing the his proper costume, I think he's all good. Yeah, he he, he could finally get a job. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Shikari is what you had for him, okay. Yeah, Shikari and Bushi. That's why he gets access to uh, knives, katanas, and ninja swords. Okay. Uh, speaking of, of, of ninja swords, they're probably one of the rarest weapon types in the game. Mm. Uh, and in the original PS2 version, they all had innate dark as their element. Oh. Uh, in the Zodiac versions, they removed the dark element from it. Or for most, I'm pretty sure some of them still have dark element on them. Yeah. You also get him a shitload of HP, so he'll, he'll like, easily reach a thousand. <laughs> yeah. One of his quickenings is up here, so I'll walk him up. I think I need to play the original before this, uh, because it seems a bit overwhelming. Yeah, they're entirely different games, like, even more than the Expert Sphere Grid was. Well, I, well, I mean, if we're, like, talking about the Expert Sphere Grid, that's what the original license board just was, because it was one, like, gigantic license board that everyone, uh, went across. Yeah, instead now it's, it's jobs, you fill it out, part way through the game you get a second one. Yeah, you had you had the original, then you had the um <clears throat> then you had the internet the international version that had the jobs, but you only had one. Then the remaster let you have two. And they patched that to let you um spec because uh Yeah, very they, important they added a respec, yeah. It, when yeah, the, the Xbox and Switch ports came out. Yeah, the the original version of uh the job system permanently made made you have the one job. Yeah. So you, you, you had to, like, pick carefully. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the, uh... I have no idea where hunts are ha are made here. I actually don't uh, know what building that is. Shiny Charizard, I'm pretty sure the leftover quickening spot uh, gets replaced with, with, with a summon, so you, you can still get them. Yeah. Where, where, where are hunts located on this map? I have no idea. Oh, uh, if so, it, it's it's in the bar. Oh, the bar. Uh, it, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, okay. It's okay. Icon. Yeah. All right. All right. There we go. So if you go to the if you go to the the north section, oh, you have to go here anyways. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the uh, summons oh, in this game are are in the war. a thing you have to buy off the Money. license board. Mine had already died before that. And only that character could summon that specific uh, monster. Oh, that's neat. Makes it so they, um, sorry. they're like I partners in a way. Yeah. Um, okay. and, ju and just like 10 summoning, uh, now. you, you After play that. as both the summoner I'm and the summon. Like the summon is an active party member that you can control. Yeah. That's always neat. Uh, that was a change they added in the Zodiac version because in the original oh, yeah, it was just I'm an sorry. AI partner. Oh, cool. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's all right. Uh, one of the optional summons, because I, I believe I it is, it's it's a thing you have to beat 
in a boss before you can you use him is uh, Zeromis from Four. Oh, it was the Empire. I love that guy. He's always and dashing also, right towards me. You. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. Mid should be a random occurrence in 15. True. I should hold R2 while nothing happens on the screen for an unknown amount of time until the summon loads. Ramu will throw a lightning thing into a cave. <laughs> glad, we, glad we got some 15 discussion in. Give you a fist bump. Yeah, so uh, there should be a board on the right. There is right there. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Thex, Thextera. This fearsome beastie. Now, are, are hunts a uh, thing that you're going to try to do off, sc off stream? or? Uh, just, yeah, like... yeah. If I can ever get back to this area in between streams at times, I'll go. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, it, it's just telling you that the person you have to talk to before the monster even spawns in the bar. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you need a refresher, uh, open the menu and go into Clan Primer. Mm. Uh, and then Hunts. There you go, yeah. Is Gatsley, so you have to uh, find okay. him. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it's before it becomes Haunter. <laughs> oh, hello. As I said, a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What I am understanding is it's a Pinello because of you. What? What about Pinello? Oh, Vod. They've taken Pinello. I sound so wet. And there was a note. A note for this Balthier. Come to the Museum of Mines, it said. If I look it's down, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, enough. dude. If anything were to happen to that sweet child, why I have her parents' memory to consider. You're going to go to her aid, and that's that. That's what you Sky Pirates do, isn't it? I don't respond well to orders. You do know that the Imperial fleet is massing at Bujaba. Fine, then I'll go. You at least have an airship, don't you? Just get me there and I'll find Pinello myself. I'll join you, huh? I have some business there as well. An audience with a Marquis, by chance? Both here. Just take us. How much do you, how much do you think that hurt him to the voice like that? Nah, John DiMaggio is just fucked up. Uh, Make yourselves ready. We leave soon. Right. He can sound all like wet and gooey like this, and then he can just sound like Waka. I mean the aerodrome. Okay, back back to looking for my uh my dude. There you are. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wester Sand. Galtia Downs. Cliff wall to your left as you leave the city by the west gate. Okay. Pretty sure it just opens the map after this. Yeah, probably. No. No, oh. but no, but it, you know. We we have oh, an idea. Oh, no, I, I, a different hunt did that. Never mind. Ah, okay, that's fine. I... So, uh, uh, before you go, if you go uh, up to that to that northern part, uh, and then you go to the left side, there should be a uh, a doorway with a lizard. If you talk to him, he'll let you into into there, and that's your uh, that, that's your hunting guild. Oh, okay. You have, to, you have to talk to the guy on the left. You. Conspicuous Benga. <laughs> Assault. A freak. <laughs> That's the leader of the guild. <laughs> yep. Looks so gangster badass. So for every every boss you beat, he will give you a reward. Oh, okay. Uh, for every hunt, 
after uh, after you clear a certain number of hunts, your your hunt rank will go up, and every time you go up a rank, he will also give you more rewards on top. I love when he gives me things. And if you talk to him a little bit more, you should have an option. Yeah, I defeated the Mimic Queen. That was crazy. Yeah, I want to change my license parts. Yeah, there so, you go. That's how you respec. There we go. We locked those in. And now that you've been here, it's, it's on your map. Oh, fine. Alright, let's leave that through the west. Uh, that, that's a dead end. For some reason, the west western part is like is like a bazaar that like is a dead end for some reason. <laughs> Jesus, but god damn it! What is this, America? Yeah. Well. Hold on, do Moogles ex still exist by the time Tactics Advanced present day? Well, isn't the evil East in those games, like, in the book? These are wide streets. This is not America. Okay, yeah, you're right. Whatever. <laughs> Look at me. I'm in Europe. We own chairs. Great. <laughs> ah, it's been a minute. We have places in walking distance, ooh. <laughs> God damn it. We live in a place where cars are an unnecessary option, ooh. Uh, <laughs> you also have no one in your party right now. That like is they're true. with you. <laughs> that is true. Get out here, assholes. Oh, damn it. I forgot I'm locked only three. Yeah, locked only three. And uh, your reserves don't gain the XP. Okay. B um, Bosch has a higher level, so we'll leave him out. Yeah. I got gaslit into thinking it was four, and then I remembered, oh, that's just for the that's just a guest slot. <laughs> I do really like that you, you, you can even change your party members mid-combat. Oh, that's neat. If, if, if they're if they're not too busy, yeah, this game doesn't have shared EXP, but as I said, you can you can swap your characters, stuff like mid combat. Like you can even go into their equipment, uh, their equipment screen mid combat. Oh, uh, it's Besaid, actually. You got it wrong. Wait, is is this based on the fact it doesn't have shared EXP, or based because yes. you can swap out your stuff? Oh yeah, that, oh. it's because of that because it makes it harder. Oh okay, cool. I, I I I do feel like the uh the um the not shared EXP is fine in this game because you only have the six, the six party members. Yeah. And you so you have the two parties. As so long as the game does a good job pacing it out, so it doesn't become a thing of all right. Well, you didn't use this person for a while, and now they're like thirty under. Yeah, so you have to sit there and grind. And, 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 the, and the snowballing of it isn't very good. But if it's somewhere, it's like we're swapping people out somewhat regularly, then it's fine. Yeah, everyone's license points are shared, though, so there is that. Didn't actually mean to use it on you again. Yeah, um, and, and even characters you like, uh, like Pinello and Ash right now, even if they're like not in your party or introduced as party members, uh, they're still getting li license points, like off screen. It's like how there's a gap, there's a, in the early game, there's a chunk of time where you don't have access to, um, what's his name? Snow in FF13, and then you come back to him for one flashback scene, and he has 2,000 points to use. 
because they just port over the experience everyone else got. Honestly, for, for games that don't share EXP, and like, this is mainly, like, I, I stopped playing Octopath 2 because I got to that point where it's like, well, I beat four character stories. Uh, I, I have now have to grind the others. <laughs> um, the fucking Valkyrie profile fixed that, like, 20 years ago by having a, a cube that stores bonus EXP that you could just, like, pass around. Ah. Uh, yeah, that would have been nice. I'm starting to realize the hunt I'm in is maybe a bad area to... I shouldn't do it at all. The enemies are out damaging me pretty fast. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stay away from it and continue to mainline. They're yeah, rearranging the, uh, my guts. Uh, all, all the hunts are, like, significantly stronger than most normal enemies you fight at that time. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed our hunting segment for the playthrough chat. We'll see you next time. I, I forgot because I'm going after all the hunts and shit like that. I'm gonna have to go to, I uh, you, you know you know that place with like the, like the sunstones you have to do earlier. Yeah. Uh, you went there during the dry season. Uh, this game has a mechanic where that will like start raining and flooding, and specific monsters spawn there, but it's based on like a real timer. Mm. So you have to like keep track of what time it is all the time to make sure you get there during the wet season. Hmm. <laughs> Remember in Final Fantasy XV where certain enemies would only spawn in, in the rain and they give you hunts for like a big frog? I, I I never did any of the hunts in that game, so... Yeah, they do that. And you what you do is you go to a camp and you keep uh, resting and changing the time of day until it finally fucking rains. And then you run. <laughs> and then you run with a fury to get to the part of the map that has the fucking frog in it. Alright, so uh, you could talk to Bothier right now to, to advance story progress or you can go to... Or, or you, you, you could take a private uh, thing to get, like, to, to go to an, a, a new place where you can buy armor and spells and stuff. Ah, okay, I'll do that. It's one on the left, I believe. Okay. Right there on the right, I believe, is the one. Uh, take a private cabin, I believe. No, wait, no, I think it's, uh, I can't remember. Wait, is it private or leisure? Yeah, whatever, it's only is 200. It, is it nothing. warp or teleport? Ugh, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think leisure is the one where you walk around on, on the airship and you can get to, like, a new shop and stuff like that. And like start side quests. Oh, uh, that's also where the sighting grat could possibly be. <laughs> they sighting on my grat. Okay, so it's not private, but whatever. You know, uh, since you're here, you can leave, and there's a, there's a town outside. Okay. Hello, sir. Head in town, I'll escort you. Okay. I don't remember if this town has anything, like, amazing, but, like, you know, it's always good to check new shops. Yeah. I was promised goodies. I'm here for the goodies. Also, that's a really cool CG shot. <laughs> yeah. Town designs in this game are so good. Yo, that man's pissing. God damn it, Tommy Tallarico. <laughs> can't, this can't keep happening. It's only, only a few more hours till 3 a.m. and I have to look at it.
Hello, big guy. Do you sell anything neat? Yeah, it's like regular, regular stuff, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh, this... uh, hmm. s someone got like plus nine defense off of something. Ah, buckler. Ooh. I always really appreciate when a game was like, hey, you bought this, would you like to equip it right now? Yeah. Always so good. Buckler, I hardly know. Eventually, you're going to get your comedy back, and it's going to be great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Joe Rogan said that he's, he's, he's looking for comedians. <laughs> <laughs> he's done like five stand-up specials and realized he can't hack it. I forgot about the Gambit Shop. <laughs> yep. This is like the... Oh, that's a... Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, we should at very least pick up some of these. Like, I'm gonna mess with a lot of this stuff off-stream. But I'll find the obvious ones of, oh, make it so they're actually making sure no one runs out of shit. Yeah. I, I always I always love the Gambit system. Yeah, we're going to want at least some of those. Yeah, we'll want nearest and and uh furthest uh you, you don't want to spend too much gil because there's 200 gil to get back ah oh, yes well, i mean uh you, you should have some items to sell right yeah i mean i'm not okay. i'm not dying here A lot of wolves. Yeah. I was like, sorry, your habitat's ruined. What's up, Dennis Rodman? Oh, uh, Dark is really good, because, like, that's, like, one of the first spells that, um, Balthier can learn as a Red Mage. Oh, nice. Uh, it is, it is an AoE spell. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, if you're ever confused as to what party member can use what uh, what skills and what spells, um, if you go back onto the main party screen and press X. Uh, X? Yeah, yeah no, uh, hit party. And X. So, like, he, uh, he can't use any of these spells, but, like, if, if he could, they would be highlighted in white. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so if, if you ever get, like, overwhelmed or confused with which one learns what. Yeah, that's good. I did the main priority thing, which is let Von heal himself when he's low with an item. Uh, what range did I put that at, even? I want to make sure that I did it properly. Under 40? We can change that. There we go. Wait, would you want to put that as priority number one? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot these also run on priority. My bad. I forgot that that's how the system is able to properly 
make you program AIs by setting priority lists. Yeah, it, it's a real simple, like, programming thing. It's really cool. Yeah, I think it's really sick. It, it, it does, unfortunately, get to get to a point later on, though, where the game just kind of plays itself once you, like, solve it. Yeah, there's some level of satisfaction where you have uh, you have put in the work to make that happen. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was incredibly busted in the original because uh, because everyone had the same license board, every character can learn the spell Bubble, which mm. doubled their maximum HP. Oh. <laughs> so you would put that at the top, have them all hit Bubble, and then immediately follow up with, like, Shell and Protect, and then you just do whatever you want in the fight. <laughs> I can't think of any other game that, like, has something similar to the Gambit system. Yeah, no, not really. I like how each, um, mainline FF at least tries to do something different with all of its, like, um, different systems it has going on. Yeah. You can, kind of, uh, I was, you can kind of draw a line to it. Like, oh, well, this one does that. This yeah, and, does and, that. And, and, and you and you, you could see that they're not, you know, exactly the same, but you could see this game's battle system evolving into the 13 battle system because they're both very heavily involved on, like, like, like auto battle. Even yeah, if both, one both is... of them have some, like, customizable ideas of the other characters are going to do things that you have delegated to them. Yeah. I feel like that one is, like, the action version of this, if that makes any sense. Of, yes. You, you have to go through it very quickly. You're quickly paradigm shifting constantly to get different things. Yeah, it's way more reactive. Yeah, it's a more reactive version of this thing. Uh, let's see. Should be the one on the right. The, yeah, Hello. Her. So, I th yeah, I think it's the, the Leisure Cruise. Let's you walk around. I had it confused. <laughs> yeah, it was warp. Flashbang by Maximilian with the fact that Akuma in SF5 was originally going to have a baby on his back. Yeah. I kind of wish they kept that. Yeah, they did something with, um... What's his name? The old the old dude from Street Fighter Three when he made it into five. Aura? Yeah. yeah. He's like he's, he's like always hold, yeah, he's all, always holding the turtle in, in five, yeah. So I I know the you know, the season one of Street Fighter Six leaked very, very early on. Yeah. Do you know if Akuma's there? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. It's um Aki, which is a new character. She looks to be like has really long claws. Oh yeah, it's it's like it's like the female version of Fong. Yeah, kind of like that. And then it's uh, Ed, Rashid, and Akuma. Yeah, so the, uh, there's a shop here where you can buy um, Geishel greens. Hardly know them. And, and antidotes and stuff like that. Hello, other store. <laughs> He's too short. Jordan. Dylan. Yeah. So uh, on this air deck, uh, this is this is where the so if you go, what was that? I think it's a staircase behind you. Go up that staircase. Uh, you see this big wide open thing. <laughs> yep. At the very back, there might be an invisible chest. Okay, there's not an invisible chest, but that's the one that has a sight and grat. Uh, nothing in the game ever clues you in. You just have to walk up to it and then be like, wait, I could press a button to open it. Oh, that's crazy, man. I love invisible uh, chests. Uh, the, that's one of those chests that requires you to have that, that armlet as well. Mm. So it's like... If you can find the chest, but you won't know that you need an armlet to, like, get that bow. Mm.
believe you can also start a side quest here. Hello, oh, Ari. Hello, Ari. Uh, we were just talking about you. That's... That happens a lot. Are you... No, I'm lying. We weren't talking about you at all. <laughs> Shout out to Prowly and Chad going, yo, it's a jamming memer. <laughs> what? What is jamming memer? I don't know. What's my Twitter at when I was like pre-18? Oh, oh no. Oh, did, was new lore fucking released today? Why, why, you know, why did it, why did Prowly know that? Um, it was, uh, so, you know, there was that Twitter post going around that's like, oh, oh what, why, where did you get your at? I was yeah. like, oh, my current at was just because I was like, legitimately, I kind of rushed this one because it was just kind of like, I wanted a, an at that was like, not as embarrassing to me as my other one. Uh-huh. And, and I haven't really changed it since then. And I'm like, I keep thinking about changing it. And then whenever I say, oh, I'm going to change it. And the people are like, no. No, keep it. I think you should change like, your app to John Pickle. Okay, you're right. John Pick rebranding right now to J John Pickle. Dude, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tempted. To be the change you want to see in the world. Do it. <laughs> No, it would be terrible. It would make everybody would be, like the amount of confusion I would cause. But oh, but it'd be really. Oh, good. I'm sorry. I got bad news. The normal way of typing out John Pickle is already taken. Oh. oh, oh. So that means you have to do the L with like a with like a capital I. No, Someone no, grabbed that. that name in June of 2009. <laughs> John Pickle's been holding on to that with a death grip. They seemingly have tweeted once. When they made the account in the never again. <laughs> Let me see. Yes. <laughs> they tweeted once favorite. saying Twittering, <laughs> and that was it. They reminds me of, of my favorite Twitter account where I think they're at is just bathroom. And they say, welcome to the bathroom, and that's their only tweet. <laughs> John, John Pickle. It's really good. <laughs> This is the straw. God, this airship is so cool. She airship in our foyer. I like the magenta uh, hull or cockpit. I... Straw. Yeah. You really are so, a like, pirate. I have to ask a question. Well, right, sure. So. What's a good also, word? how did you know Security. that KZ was watching uh, the the soccer the soccer anime on Xbox? It was just really funny timing that they had texted me something because they saw I was online. Then I made note of that, and then they shot me again. <laughs> yeah. Then they shot me with, oh, if it's blue lock, then. <laughs> I gotta ask. Even John Pickle with, like, no way it's just taken in his last tweet was, let the fucking heads roll in 2010. <laughs> A detail I really like is that, like, both uh, Bosch and Fran had to, like, duck down to get into the door because everyone else is really short. <laughs> It was like the first ship I got in uh, in the after them too, so I went, oh fuck. Hey, Elta, what did you do when you got that ship in theater rhythm? What did you say? Kill you with a rocket, that's what I said. 
the, the zap you with lightning. I thought we could have had a bit going. No, your... no, it's like one in the morning. I have to wait for <laughs> like six hours. I have my brother. She well. See that she does. We need her alive. Balthier's bait must be fresh. I keep trying to tell you. I barely even know who Balthier is. My brother, a message come from Ravenaster. The Stral, she sets sail. She makes straight for the sky city of Bajerba. Barely know what Why is he just a normal pirate? He goes bow you. <laughs> Fill me, how could that be? That's what I'd like to know. I just met him that one time and that's Does it. Does that sound never stop? What if we plucked it from your head? As for you, we need Balthier alive. His corpse fetches but half the bounty. A tender beaten, my specialty. There's no fun for it if we can't tease out a scream or two. She's like, I hate it here. Where's P.F. Chang's? Dude, her haircut I need some sucks. I think her barber should be fired. This is what weak people sound like after they can't handle McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> Goes through a lot. I want you. I want you. I want you. I want you. I'm not even here. <laughs> yep. You can chat with Oog. I'm sorry you were disgusted like that. It's real rough. Evil is so fucking cool. Look at that place. It's got like wings and shit. <laughs> are, are you okay? Yeah. Why? Okay. No, it's fine, man. Easy. No good. He's not here. Keep searching. This way. You're a dead man. Don't forget it. And no names. Of course. I think Frankie Muniz should drive Jordan Mater. That sure is the sentence you just said. I forgot you were on double speed, so seeing that knight, like, sprint up to you. <laughs> So I think there should be a bunch of new uh, gear here as well. Yeah, I saw those shops and lit up. The Lusu mines are just up ahead. Though, I do hear there's not much left there these days. You're on your way to the mines? Hello. Then please allow me to accompany you. I have an errand to attend to there. Bro, nice fucking stream. Thank you, Creed. What manner of errand? What errand? I might so, uh, Casey, how would you feel if I told you you're about to get to, like, one of the best early game, right. like, Love items it. grinding spots right. to sell for a shitload of guilt? And it, it, <laughs> and, and it involves skeletons. <laughs> oh, no. For us both. So what's your name? Oh, I, uh, I'm, I'm a monster. <laughs> We we'll just put that on the side there. Don't worry. We'll use that later. I don't know what's in that mind, but you're in good hands. Brave Bosch. <laughs> Bros flabbergasted. <laughs> Chat heard like half a second of ship shop and is already ready for our grind session. Uh oh. Uh, it, it is at, like, the very end of that dungeon mm. you're about to get to. Okay. Uh, thankfully, this first visit isn't too long. Yeah. You gotta wait till the second visit where you fight Zaldan. Oh. You say that, you, you say that as a joke. <laughs> yeah. You, you you do go back to this mine to fight like a super boss. <laughs> we will wear the face of despair. There we go. We're up to date on our magics. We can't afford much now, so we'll just head to the dungeon to get our money. Wait, wait, wait when when did you pick up the uh, Kotetsu? Holy shit! I think I just got it off a drop in the mine. Oh, that's rare as hell. 
Ah, okay, that's neat. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't have anyone as a as a bushy, so they can't really use it. But like, yeah, still, no. it's crazy. Thank you, thank you, Tentacle Man Twenty XX for the resub. Fast. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> Time to find the mines. Okay. Uh, there is a Moogle nearby that you can pay Gil to, to buy a map of the place. Mm. But it's not a big area, so I don't think you need it. Yeah. I'm Captain Boschk of Dalmaska. You're Captain Rush <laughs> of Dalmaska. On, on door suck shit. Don't listen to him. Meter go up. Four videos so yeah, much. I know. That's the only thing I knew about FF12 for years was the Mega 64 video where they recreate that fucking sequence. The Lusu Mines, one of the richest veins in Ibelis. Under Imperial Leaving? Power, Thank you, Savian. Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Bougerba. Well, shall we proceed? So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here until you get to that grinding spot so I can tell you what it is. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll head to bed. Yep. And then you got me. Ooh. What great one-on-one yeah. -on -one memes will we come from this, John Pickle? Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm that dude to... on the right's a freak. I'm sorry that knocked me out. You will forgive me for asking, but you are diverting the pure... I, I, ugly. Yeah, I don't know I what that race is called. Is like, I know the other Ivalice races. You wear your saddle well. I don't think they ever return. Like, the maybe... Uh, Tactics A2 no Sid is meant to be that thing, but it's like, I, I, I don't know. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Brugerba as well. I think it's human because I believe in this. They call them humes. Yeah, they're like a weird. The, those like two guys behind them are like a weird and like bird furry thing. I don't know what that is. It's scary. Yeah, you, you know when they botched the furry design? When I've never seen anyone ever draw that. It would appear that he is <laughs> like not a single artist <laughs> I've ever seen drawn, drawn. Like I didn't even know that race existed until it just showed up for like two seconds. They say I'm 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 a very big fan of someone being like, oh, that was a 12 reference, only played 14. We have to find Penelo. And Penelo is your. They're like Jordan when they watch Goldmember for the first time. She was kidnapped. Oh, is that where that's from? <laughs> yeah. Izzy, did you get a chance to see that uh, Zangief footage? Did it, it come showed? out today? Dude, yeah, it came out dude, today. They, nah, they, I didn't. They turned, they turned Zangief into a grappler to a jump scare character. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um, I'm just... I'm going to, to just link you a set of images here. Sure. And I'll let you parse... I'll let, well, here... It's 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 it shows a video there because that's the match, but the, the tweet itself shows the Oh, this is the hallway my friend was in. Oh wait, uh, uh, <laughs> the hallway. Uh, uh check the magic that, that Lamont has. It's a very particular spell he has equipped. It's really uh, good. Let's see. I guess I would check it through action list here. Oh, uh, he is Cura. <laughs> oh shit. That's sick. Uh, let me see. Get used to... Oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Um, so, 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 his, so, his, so does his drive impact just immediately hard knockdown? What's going on in this picture? So Okay, it's, so... it's, it's, it's hard knockdown. It's, I think, hyper armor, and he rushes forward. <laughs> <laughs> I like, because in the preview... 
where it's like, here's a Japanese pro player reacting to the Zangief trailer, and all they're saying is, it's over. <laughs> but um, just as soon as they're on screen, before they even see what they can do, I imagine it's like full Doomer mode now. Like, like that's why I specifically said he's no longer a grappler, he's a jump scare character. Yeah, that's no. fucked. That's fucked he up. Is like so, 18 layers of super armor and jumps to, right at you. <laughs> to break it down, whenever Zangief gets a hard knockdown, you can choose to burn some of your energy, you know, like the stamina bar, mm. to do a just full-on dash, and you'll be right in their face. <laughs> They're like, we need, we need to we need to make Zangief competitive with some of these zoners. What do we do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so much I also, also said he has a full screen wall bounce. Yes. The fuck um, were they cooking? They 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 were like, because I, I I they were for four and five they were kind of like we need to tone it back, man. You know. What if we what and if we like, made a what if we made Street Fighter two but, eh, over and over again. Why is getting his shit kicked in? For six they're like, nah. They're like, here have everything. Everybody gets everything. You remember that move that he had in Alpha 3 that you only used twice? It's here, baby. It's yours. Use it. <laughs> you, remember, you remember that fucking... That part where Cammy fucks that dude up in the animated movie? Well, she just does that in the game now. <laughs> she just does that now. <laughs> we thought that shit in the 1994 anime was great. So we've decided it could be in a game coming up 30 years after. Um, we thought it was raw. And in fact, it worked... It's going to be hitting you raw for about 40 seconds. <laughs> Please enjoy. Uh, if, if, if I can, if, if I can um, recommend uh, something before we get to the grinding area, sure. I'll go buy better armor and a better spear for Vaughn. Uh, sure. Let me clear out some more stuff so I have more things to sell to afford it. Yeah. At least better armor, because like as long as you're not, because like a lot of enemies are just kind of one one shotting you, not one shotting you, but like are double tapping you to critical health. Yeah, that's fair. Remember that useless move, is a useless saying you move from SF5? It's still here for some reason. Yeah, it's which the one? Like... Which one? It was Street Fighter V Zangief. Most his moves suck. No, he has this weird. You saw it in the footage. He has the weird leg catch parry that only catches mid kicks. Oh. It's really specific. It might be better here, but it only counters kicks and it's only like it, i think like it's, it's it's only there to counter on this mids michael <laughs> that night? counters all kicks that's evil because that's like don't don't you dare throw out a move when you're trying to approach him dude the the moment a, a like jury player gets in there zangief is just gonna go wild <laughs> <laughs> Gonna beat her up so bad he's gonna become a libertarian guy. What? <laughs> what does that mean? I think the uh, I think the armor shops up here. <laughs> so what you been doing today, John Pickle? Um, so I. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of Bayonetta 2, which is pretty good. I like hey, that game. There All you right. go. That's, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, I, uh, had a friend over. I did some cooking. Oh, do you just um, not have a license for them? Hold on, we'll figure it out. And I've, uh, I had a dream right after Arc Revo ended, which was, like, the World Tour Finals for Guilty Gear that I need to play Sin. <laughs> um... That character's bad right now. Like, he's really bad. Like, genuinely terrible. Yeah, uh, I saw you talking about it. I told you to do a uh, heavy slash. Oh, yeah, you no, do not have uh, a lot of armor. It's, you know. Just, listen, Ari, all you gotta do is, like, get a rotisserie chicken. I got scared. I was like, play... where the hell? When did he appear? I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> and every time you want to play Sin, just shove the entire rotisserie chicken into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you embody sin. That's how you're gonna win. This is true. Put the entire rotisserie chicken in your mouth. The animal may have been can you, can you, can you, <laughs> Didn't you say that you were gonna leave so you would stop making noise and you come in and you're making more noise on that mattress? I think she's fine. 
I like Gord. <laughs> Fuck pumpkins. Um. What's the problem? Fuck you. What's the problem with pumpkins? Gord. Oh. The, uh, the, um, they're like, here's the mid-range monster from Rev 2, except we took all of his range. Uh, you have one button that you can use in neutral, that's it. That's it, you got one. Uh, Everybody gets if you, one. If you whiff it, that's it. Uh, and, uh, if you throw out your beak driver, uh, it's, uh, punishable on hit. Hmm. If you hit the move, it's punishable. Just, you know. Because, uh... Gallows dropped, it is true. Pumpkins can be green. Yeah. <laughs> they turned you green! <laughs> oh, I God. Right now. They turned you, you green, they turn you green. <laughs> meme when I play Street Fighter 4 with Zangief. I, I am so happy <laughs> I got Eric to just completely fall off a cliff. Oh, 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 yeah. So earlier today, I posted a video of of the Johnny Storm rap from the Fantastic Four '90s cartoon series. Oh, that's what Lionheart's Play talking on. about. Okay. Play yeah. On. Be... <laughs> I love that video so much. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> it's so terrible. The... People for years like thought it was edited, but I'm always gonna tell them, no, that was real. That that's a thing. In it, fact, it if you want to see like... it for yourself, it is it is it is on Disney Plus right now. <laughs> it looks like something that like somebody would upload in 2005. Well, see, and call the... it like music video. Well, see the the uh, the backstory behind it is that for that episode, it was originally planned he was gonna sing like a normal song with like a band. Ah. Like, that's why there's like an yeah yeah like Dave band Matthews playing band behind them. Yeah, um, but Johnny Storm's voice actor at the time had a rap career. I oh, <laughs> was no. trying to start a rap career. And went, that... hey, hold on, I, I can do my own song. <laughs> and, the, and then they're like Woody and Cage, they're going, let him cook. Let him cook. This is for you, Melinda. This is for you, Melinda. This is for you, Melinda. <laughs> that line gets me all the time. Every, every time I'm by myself, I just think to myself, this is for you, Melinda. Oh, also, you know what I think about like, when, uh, when I'm all by myself. Oh, you think about turning you green? Oh, I go. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> that alligator is so talented. I, I hate the, sh the gay Sean Mendes crocodile so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, we, I'm glad we could have a gay Shawn Mendes moment in Heroes Word. We wouldn't be able to have that tonight. Did I just say calculator instead of crocodile? Yeah, you said calculator. I'll be back. Did you just call it your own mistake? You could have even gone. I, I didn't even catch that. No, 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 no. I caught that. I, I wasn't going to question it because I thought he did it on purpose, like, 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 like you did. But then, but then he brought attention to himself because he's a fucking idiot. Somebody clip! Can somebody clip that? <laughs> I hate you. Oh, that's you... awesome. Must the chat like, well, who is Sean Mendes? <laughs> the shitty gay crocodile. <laughs> there you go. Asking you shall receive. Oh. All right. So, uh, oh. to get, so the, <laughs> this one still trips me up. Uh, do you see how there's that that? Path that splits off on the left on the map. Uh, yeah, yeah. You have to go on the on the left. See, if if you if you look through the gate, uh, the uh, the the grate, there's a hallway to the right. That's the one. You oh, take. okay. Yeah. yeah. Very Fuck silly. You know. <laughs> that, that's me right now. Going. Oh yeah, of course. I know who he is, but why is he gay? <laughs> It's because he knows. Jordan, have you have you have you seen that video that someone said about it? No. He said I I would air fry him with a Cajun rub alongside the coriander and lime rice. Oh yeah, I did see that. Did you see the uh, Did you see the tweet I sent you? No, hold on. What, 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 what
<laughs> Freshman year, they was calling me the Because <laughs> I can get the whole football team shooting ropes with just my toes. Okay, awesome, dude. Great, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm the person you are. <laughs> Dude, I saw my dog on the couch earlier and went, that, that's funny, she would do that. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you meant doing the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he turned he turned you green. You know, here. <laughs> no. Here, here's your Jordan. I, I thought... I thought... I thought it's you fault. meant that you saw her sitting on the couch and you went, yeah, she would sit on the couch. Oh, that too. Uh, holy, hey, Casey, I want you to know, uh, you spawned the rare monster on your first try. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, they gave me, like, three LP. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> DM for mittens. Uh -uh. I hope you know I saw the gay Sean Memphis calculator. I'm spiraling. <sighs> A lot is happening here. Scorched fucking earth. <laughs> Someone just stepped on the landmine. Someone stepped on another line. You keep hey, it's, it's on always landmine. it's always VOD. I forgot this game has. Make sure you have Libra to see the traps in the area. Oh hi Gato. Hey. Uh, so you you are close to to the to the Final Fantasy XII skeleton dome. Oh okay, I'm very excited. Harry, what's up? <laughs> Can I say what you, what you said? That you do tomorrow. Oh, it, okay. Um, if In that uh, tech? uh, Lamont has Kira. I don't remember. You can say it. Oh, okay. So me and Ari are planning to hang out tomorrow, and to give me a time, they, they texted me, "We're heading for your white ass at 12 p.m." That's great. That's. He called you. Play. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Surprised you, I'm surprised you brought that one up and not like. How did you bring that up and you didn't bring up the whole Grubhub incident? That. Oh, because I yeah. came in earlier. Yeah, they just they discussed the fucked up burger. Did they discuss pedestrian Jerry? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh is, Jerry, is pedestrian I... Jerry different from the crackhead you tried to avoid? Is 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 pedestrian oh, Jerry the the, 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 the the Pokemon Gen 10 trainer class? <laughs> okay, Ari, Ari, I'll explain the crackhead, then you explain pedestrian Jerry. <laughs> all right, Casey, you're very you're, all right. So this is the grinding spot up here. Uh huh. This bridge. Okay. You have a shitload of skeleton spawn. <laughs> this bridge right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, um that that next room also has a lot of skeletons. Kill all the skeletons in this room and in that room. And um, just and, cycle. And, uh, you, you you have to eventually walk out, and, and so you, you know that that room you just came in from with that little side tunnel. Yeah. You have to run through that because enemies respawn after two screens. Oh, uh, okay. So that, that's uh, all yeah, I so, need to know then. Yeah. yeah. So you know you just sit here like I I got like a, a chain of two hundred here that drops like a lot of rare items and stuff that you can sell. Yeah. As soon uh, as I know what the enemy like respawn room rate is in a game, I usually go to town. Okay, um, Harry. Yeah. So yesterday, I saw when I was walking down the street, I saw this crackhead just screaming at people while yeah. walking down the street carrying a two by four. He's a long way from the La Brea tar pit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's this couple in front of me, and we were both following the same lesson of don't look lost in LA, or else the crackheads will take advantage. Um, I, 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 sh I should mention, uh, KZ, the next room. Yep. Uh, like, like, after that tunnel. Um, there's a little bit to go, but there's a big wide open room at the end. That's where, that's where the boss of this place is. So if you, if you, if you just wanna, yeah, just, just, just don't go into that large open cave. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, once I clear out the next room past this, I'm not gonna push forward. I'm gonna run backward. Yeah, hmm? yeah that, that was my plan. Alright, uh, we will win. <laughs> Harry, explain pedestrian, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so Jordan's coming over to, to bemoan to me how he's the, moaning. What the fuck? Bemo bemoan. No. bemoan, bemoan, bemoan. It's me. a word. Don't worry. Yeah. I know. It's a word. It's a word. And um, he he's talking about how this how his Jack in the Box order got canceled even though it's two blocks away. And I respond with, yeah, well, it's you know like I'm like, well, you could have you could have walked to the Jack in the Box. And Jordan says, no, it's raining. I'm like, well, see, it's probably raining for that guy, too, and it's hard for him to get to your house. <laughs> and he's like, he has a car. I'm like, you don't know that. That could be Pedestrian Jerry. And it's like, it has a car symbol. I'm like, he could be lying to Grubhub to, like, Are you, are you stupid? get the money. <laughs> that the that money is to... that is true. It's all through the app. So technically, the car symbol is just a representation of the person. Yeah, it's just the, it's just tracking their phone. That pedestrian Jerry could be using this to get a, to get the money for a car, and you don't know that. And you're being like, like hateful towards pedestrian Jerry, but you don't know you don't know what the the person on the other end of the line has been through. Perfect. And then you uh, ordered another burger from Five Guys, and you said Five Guys won't fail me. And then you got the worst burger I've ever seen. <laughs> Listen. Five Guys has never given me a reason to fail. Except for when it does. Ex except for this one single Five Guys in in L.A. that put the wrong burger in the bag. Um. Anyways, uh, Jordan, two things. Okay. Um. How dead set are you on knots? First off. Not very. Okay, I like garlic uh, knots. I love garlic knots. I like knots. See, those things are so good. If they hit the sweet balance on that with like a right amount of butter and a good amount of seasoning, oh dude. yeah. Like like I'll, I'll just... like, like I'll go to Domino's when when I live near one, you know, and I would get the seen... get the garlic uh, yeah, knots so... with like the the marinara Have you or whatever. Seen those tater tots they're advertising so, uh, right now. This, those look terrible. This is your cutoff point. The the cutoff point is that right there. Yeah. Okay. Men's had one of those tater tots and they were not happy. Uh, what tater tots? The Domino's tater tots. Domino's has tater tots? Yeah. Hold on. Somebody They're get a picture. They've been advertising right, I'm, I'm this gonna, recently. Right, I, 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 I have work. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Thank um, you for your help hello. on on everything. Hello, James. No problem. Um, if, if, if you're really lucky, uh, the skeletons, when, when you have the highest chain, have a 5% chance of dropping, like, a really good helmet. That's neat. Alright, I'll see ya. Okay. Please tell me more about the Domino's tater tots. <laughs> Fuck, I need they to get don't look picture. good. They look like they look like they saw how the double down was dropped by KFC and they had to like come up with their own uh They had to come up the, with their own Monster. unique front against God. Alright, I'm yeah. getting the picture. Fuck the double down, man. I got the worst fucking double down ever. <laughs> They're Classifies looking. a triple down for you since it was three separate pieces of chicken. Yeah, it was basically two strips on the top, no bacon, uh, what seemingly was half a pound of cheese. I had to rescue it from the paper that it was fusing with in a, in a way that I've never seen before. Um, KZ. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, which of these, fall these flavors sound appetizing? Okay. We've got... We've got five, five cheese, um, cheddar bacon, All right. or Philly cheesesteak. I put the picture in the. Oh, okay. Yeah, chat. Okay. Now I can look at these loaded tots. They're totally delicious. Oh, okay. So it's a bunch of tater tots with ingredients that they just fucking poured on these. Yep. Uh. The closest you can get me to try is cheddar bacon, but I'm not a super huge cheese person. But I, I'd been try it once, I guess. Okay, but think about this. Okay. What if they made those like having those flavors inside the top? That uh. might be good. What, like having a little thing of potato, cheese, and beef wouldn't be good. Well, but it's like when I think of tater tots, I want to have at least a little bit of crispiness, and having the cheese within it would kind of ruin that. True. If the, if the outer shell is crispy, then I don't like. I think it would be handled. 
Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I worry if you stack too much stuff and you start gooing it up, it suddenly just becomes hash browns. That is true. Like, we were starting to change the brand here. You gotta be careful. Okay, what if it was just beef and bacon? I feel like they could work out. Honestly, that's just kind of like a new type of pizza roll. Kinda. Yeah, which, as you know, pizza rolls are a sandwich. Shut the fuck up. No, I'm sorry, they are. Because they're like an Uncrustable that is white bread that's just clamped on the, on the ends. Oh, why do you have to bring up Uncrustables? That's like, oh man, you just proved yourself so right. <laughs> I have experience of being right. <laughs> Uncrustables really are just like a dessert calzone. Fuck, now I want an Uncrustable. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> That's what I first thought you said fuck you was about. I, but now I can't, I can't follow through because I don't live here. Yeah, I know. You're just in Vince's home going, in a mare match and going, I want crust. Hold on, hold on. What do I have next to me? I still have all my Japanese snacks. <laughs> Digging for gold. Sorry okay. for breaking the chain, chat. I'll just turn off Gambit when I go into the room that doesn't have only skeletons in it. Okay, I found something. Okay. Imagine a Snickers bar. All with, right. Like the crunch of a crunch bar. Hey. Mm. Maybe he was um, not wrong about the fucking marinara burger. It literally gave him food poisoning. So after you finish killing these enemies, sure. Here, uh, I need you to just run around in circles just for a little bit. <laughs> Can you turn up the sound effect volume? Just make it so only the sound effects are playing. Just make it so that I can only yeah, just turn up the music for like just a minute. Yeah, let me clear and, these like, guys out and then I'll do that. Absolutely. The of, uh, of their feet, like, yeah, yeah, yeah hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let's. We gotta. Yeah. Turn that off. Turn that off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Let me max it out. Oh god. Can someone flip that? I can't I sadly can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't it's hear it on this. Yeah, it's funny it's funny little clops. I wish it was like tap shoe noises. Hold on, hold on. KZ? Yeah. I need you to do something. Sure, sure, what's up? Get the Mr. Krabs walking sound and mute the sound effects. I won't be able to hear it. I don't, we won't be able to hear hold it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sending it to you. I'm sending it to you right now. I'm sending it to you right now. Hold on. Thank you. Mr. Krabs uh, walking for 10 hours. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. I'm, I'm getting it to you. <laughs> oh, no. Let <laughs> <laughs> me know when you have it on. I'm going to get <laughs> it's on. I'm, I'm moving to the stream to check it out. <laughs> and when the ads are playing, I have to, I have to hear this. I have to hear this. Oh, wait, this oh. is so good. <laughs> Come on, let this ad finish. I need to subscribe again. Oh, you oh, do? Wait, no, it's, oh wait, no, it's because I'm, I'm not on my. Okay, hold on. Well, either way, give me a second. <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> also said this area would have skeletons in it, so I had to. Okay, I, I had to stop playing the sound. That's too much. <laughs> Somebody cut that off. That whole thing. I'm tasking you to clip in this. This is your, this is your god given mission. Like, clip it right out. <laughs> I am going to explode if I hear that noise anymore. <laughs> Okay, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. That turn was off, off. that was awesome. Another successful bit executed on here in the stream. Good work. Good work, folks. I was trying to do commissions, man. <laughs> You're like I got to I got to stand up straight for SpongeBob. Did you know a bit is good if it ruins somebody trying to not ha to have this on their second monitor? They're like, I had this for background noise, and now it's the full my full focus. We're fighting for your attention. We're modern television. All engagement, baby. There we go. We will run backward a room to respawn. This game's soundtrack is so good. Yeah, it goes. It was nice. They added a... Uh, we're listening to the reorchestrated version. There's the original version. And then they added the OST versions. With, uh... The recent ports. To, uh... Xbox and Switch. And, like, these are orchestrated really well. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot to turn Gambit's back on. Hold on, let's run back a room. We got this, don't worry. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, ch -ch -ch. PC? Yeah, PC should have it. The very least, PC has the, uh, also has the 60 FPS versions of this. Yeah. So how long did it take you to get back to where you were? Ah, uh, like three hours. Nothing, nothing huge. You got this ball here. Stay up. I'm so trying to get. I'm trying to get the, good games. So is the PS4 version this still just like? the worst version of the remaster because i know that they added a bunch of stuff when they released on pc and then added more stuff when they released on switch and xbox yeah they did patch all of those things into the playstation version but they did not allow for the 60 fps that the uh one x enhancements got also it has the bad playstation save menu so i bought this game on xbox to avoid them oh uh, hold on i have a message awesome <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna send another. <laughs> what I send that, bro? Look who had Boletaria. There's a new message. <laughs> You're not rocking with FF2. <laughs> I am going to kill myself. Sorry, Noah. <laughs> Think about the time that Noah was like trying to continue the FF2 bit in the theater rhythm and then got viscerally upset when she found. <laughs> Airy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all, so <laughs> Oh, you fucking fucking Eric bust out the mortal and mortar and pestle, making some tinctures. 
That was really unfortunate where they only became aware of it because you retweeted it and immediately started using it against you. That, it was messed up. I literally just retweeted because I thought it was funny. <laughs> and then they're like, we're going to make it your problem. I'm very glad that uh, Yuki uploaded a, the clip of the of the sound thing we just did and said, and with the caption that apparently they missed using the bathroom because, of, like, they missed no! <laughs> we made them miss the toilet over the fucking, fucking footsteps bit. I think it was the opposite. They missed the bit because they had to go to the bathroom. Stop posting that image of the drooling cat and get some standards. Don't worry, we got you, bro. These skeletons ain't shit. This game's funny, sped up. Yeah. It's a little penisy. Eerie? Yeah, what's up? Why did I have to come to California during a very historic time, weather-wise? Oh, don't worry about it, man. It'd it's be stormy. So, it's so fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the temperature dump, dropped down here a little bit, too. I started getting a little nervous. It's 52 degrees today. It's, uh, it's 48 right now. It's very fucking funny that, um... I don't even know if technically we're still in a drought after this these last couple of months because it's been like non-stop raining. Uh, the, we'll always say, oh, I think the drought's over, and then it's like... No. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta understand, uh, the difference this time is there was actually snow in the mountains. My parents uh, were snowed in with uh, like two and a half feet of snow. My god. KZ. Meow. They revealed what Ashley gets dressed up as in RE4, depending on your costume. Oh. For some of the pre-order ones. I feel like we know multiple women who the first one will destroy. Uh-oh. It's in a skeleton cult chat. Thank goodness nobody will pick it, because Leon's got the ugliest fit I've ever seen on the right. Like, what? I'm willing like... to bet you can mix and match. Yeah. Hold on, OBS is, uh, disconnecting. Okay, there we go. Did everyone's internet, like, die for a second? Uh... No, I think it was just on... Yeah. Easy's end. There we go. Should be back, though. It's not a big deal. Looking at it now, yeah. Yeah, it just kind of fell to zero for no reason. But I didn't fall out of the call, so. Uh, what did they reveal, Jordan? Uh, they revealed the costumes that Ashley gets for, like, the pre-order bonuses in RE4. Mm -hmm. Um, I know multiple, like, women who the first one will destroy. Why would you say that? Well, what is the problem with, uh, how will this affect anyone? Um, oh boy, I wonder. H how will this affect any person I know? I, I think it's fine. She's just kind of got, like, some fish. She bought a couple of things from Hot Topic. Girls do this. Oh, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Th then, then what is it? I was trying to be, like, fascistas there, and you just kind of, like... Now I'm confused. What what are you not what 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 am I missing? Excuse the joke me, did is you about say them. facetious. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't I, I've only read that word. How do you pronounce it? Facetious. <laughs> Another successful stream.
another successful office blunt rotation. Sorry, Chad, I just want to see the chain go to 99. Number go up. I, yeah, I number, number go up. Number go up, then I'll go back and sell the materials we got. I love when RPGs do this kind of thing. It's awesome. Oh. My Twitch still thinks you're offline. That's unfortunate. But I'm here. That's all that matters. I want you. Yeah, it's right there on the layout. <laughs> Was there another costume revealed? Yeah, it's, um, there's like the fucking vampire Alucard looking one. Oh shit, really? Uh, I missed, I missed that one. I've only seen the, uh, like, really bad European poof. That's, uh, that's what I was uh, describing just now. Oh. Oh, that is his Yeah, they got, they got like, he? they got like a, he's got like a fluffy shirt and everything. All gray hair. Tight pants to show his package. You know, something about, like, the idea of that being Ashley's casual implies some really funny things about Ashley. Yeah. Yeah, you're not showing up in the live channels. All right, well, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, you're in the stream, so who cares? Isn't it great that there's a modern version of Final Fantasy XII people can play that isn't uh, a monstrosity? Yeah, it's real. It's real nice how you know. When the characters emote, they emote. Vibes of this game are tremendous. Let me see how bad my stream's off by me checking on my own here. Uh, let's see, I'm live and the stream's running. Okay, yeah, I don't know what their problem is. I like they're like, you're live now. I'm like, when I go to check, suddenly it's all fixed. Oh yeah, also Vaughn's abs are not disgusting in this version of the game, yeah. I don't know what the fuck they were doing with that shit. <laughs> they're like, we really need to make sure that he looks jacked for our game. I don't remember where I put those. Ah, here it is. What the fuck's going on there on the left? I still don't... Uh, fucking crayon muscle. Fucking Dragon Ball ass chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because he it just makes him look way more jacked than fucking Bosch. Yamamoro drawing ass. If it was Yamamoro, he'd just ruin Bond's hair. Hello. I, have, I would like to buy stuff. Hello? Okay. <laughs> my, my friend that I rarely talk to, like maybe once every four months at most, just DMs me out of the blue. You're in Scream 4, Scream 6 with this image. <laughs> this is the image what? chat. <laughs> I'm so happy you got into Scream 6. What are you doing? 
<laughs> what the fuck? What is that image? You. My... That was airy. Hello? Hello? Are my noises fine? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. You just started talking in a confusing way for some reason. Oh, no. I had a weird audio issue for a moment. I was scared that something was happening. Oh, uh, okay. I was like... It was me. Okay. That was an actor in Scream 6, Aerie. We're but laughing because it looks like Jordan. And it does. Wow. What if Owen Wilson went wow? Well? <laughs> Getting me hot and heavy. This is my first time in the Marvel Universe. Hey, I'm glad you got into the Marvel Universe like that, saying, talking like that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, it's very, very close to cheese. Whoa. I <laughs> heard Vince say nar. Oh, nar. He was very funny. <laughs> Yeah, the first time I heard him say that, I was like, I can't... How is the... How is Vince real? <laughs> Dude, James, didn't we kick ass at Mario Party? Uh, yes, uh, Jordan did indeed have the plan. Uh, <laughs> he was scheming. Oh, no. Similar to him stealing Vince's biscuit, he had a scheme. I oh, asked for no permission. <laughs> I asked for permission. <laughs> he did. He did. But Vince was too drunk to remember that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Good <enough. laughs> He was too drunk. He, I like the way that, that it was described was that Vince nodded and we kind of considered that a silent confirmation. <laughs> Oh no, he like out like outright Jordan asked and Vince said sure. <laughs> God damn it. Wait. This is dope. Oh yeah, <laughs> Eric. Have you not what? heard about this? No, what's going on? You you explain it, James. Explain what? The biscuit thing? Yeah, the biscuit thing. Okay, so yeah, um Oh, is this where was... Jordan ate two of the biscuits? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone had one. Except for except for uh, Jordan, who had two, and Vince, who had zero, because uh, Jordan asked if he could have a second one. Vince said sure. He did not realize that was the last biscuit. He was deprived of biscuits. He changed the narrative when he posted no, on Twitter. No, no, of, no, I bought no, exactly it, ten. <laughs> it wasn't the last biscuit. There were like five biscuits left. It's just that other people hadn't gone to their biscuits yet. You stole their future from them. I'll get them like Popeye's later. <laughs> Pop Popeye's chicken sandwich. Didn't someone die for a spicy chicken sandwich? Maybe, sure. I mean, this is America. I wouldn't put it past them. Hell yeah. <laughs> you ever accidentally swipe right on the, uh, dream and realize that the skeleton dome voice channel has a text chat and the only message in there is neps to cbt t-shirts oh my god you're right <laughs> <laughs> i forgot they gave voice channels their own text chat that it feels like nobody uses yeah. <laughs> nep I, I, likes it I, I... <laughs> I think it was a good idea, but the problem is, is that so many people just got used to not using them. Some people keep forgetting they exist. This 
Prowly here. <laughs> Prowly, are you here? My agent has something to discuss. I'm leaning toward no, unfortunately. Damn. saw that Trills to Jura came out today and upon seeing that box art immediately fell asleep. Um. Mm. Cool. Are you good, Ari? Yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> 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 Yo, what's up? <laughs> you know, I don't know, actually. I don't really know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just like, you, you went like, yeah, that's, and then just didn't say anything for like 50 seconds. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to get cut off like that. Um, I'm, I was just mumbling because the Guilty Gear lobby systems are so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in the background here, and I've been literally trying to get a match working for 10 minutes, and I'm, like, losing my mind that I'm just, like, I'm going to walk up and challenge someone. And then I, I match the, like, I push the button to challenge them. It says failed to connect. And then I'm, like, okay, I'm going to walk to another lobby. And then I do it, and I hit it again. And then the third time I open up a lobby, it freezes it like or i try to open up a match it just freezes just straight up like it just it, 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 it just doesn't work it's fine what were they cooking when they came up with that lobby system uh, I mean, cooking, uh, something they were cooking, cooking up some fun some, some excitement some soul they even put a mini game in there where you could play a fighting game well it's they like sure hidden. didn't follow the recipe it's hidden there they d d remember ari this is the fixed version of that lobby system Right, it was the one it, where they... It, it where took they... heavy criticism, and then they were like, we're going to put it back in the oven and give you something great. And that's you what you're doing. They, they, they had so... There were so many... There was an alpha, and there were multiple betas where mm -hmm. people went, hey, man, this is bad. It's not working. And they said, okay, we hear you. And they went back, and they brought it out again. And we were like, that's the same thing. Yeah, but, yeah, but under the hood, there's some different stuff going on. No. I'm if sure there was something got... in the code that was adjusted to make it work a little better. No, in fact, uh, they did with the, the addition... equivalent of when you like get something at a restaurant and it's undercooked, so you say, "Hey, this is a bit like undercooked. Can you like heat it up?" And they just nuked it in the microwave for 30 seconds. See, there you go. Are you looking forward to uh, Grand Blue versus uh, uh, Rising with its Fall Guys mode? It's gonna be better than this. <laughs> <laughs> It's. I'm sorry. That game's uh, lobby system works. <laughs> you yeah, see what no, happened. Uh, what had to happen is one dev need to figure out how the quirky lobby could actually be good. Uh, but unfortunately, it took it took Capcom forever to make one of those. Ah, uh, I think uh, Street Fighter Six is gonna is so good. I need that game in my system now. I know, oh, right? Man. It's like it's a lobby where it's like, hey, it's like a big arcade, and we're going in there and we're doing spinning bird kicks with the fattest, largest model you've ever seen. <laughs> I think the funniest fucking thing when I was mm. at that ARCA World Tour thing the other day was like when they were announcing, oh yeah, we're going to have a 2023 uh, World Tour. It's even bigger. We do not have any details uh, um, about what the payout's going to be yet. And all I could think was, they probably did, but then uh, yeah. Capcom. <laughs> yeah, they probably did, but unfortunately Capcom has one of the largest prize pools for video games, period, right now. Because even the ones where it's like, even like uh, Dota's stuff that has a decent prize pool is uh, enhanced by people buying shit. This is, yeah. Capcom's just like, alright, here you go. Well, Here's the money. Yeah. Win. Here's the money win. And it's Ares, a Ares, like, I got this. The I, I, I never said that, the, but I, uh, I might handle it. Mm -hmm. All of these Street Fighter old heads are coming back because it's like, shit. A million dollars, that's all you needed to say. Yeah, I know. I love the just a million dollars. And then I go look up Sonic Fox on Twitter going, one million question mark. My friend, my, my friend is just 
quote tweeted the uh, Ashley costume going, this costume's not going to have the full effect unless it also changes her dialogue to have her reference Invader Zim. Ray moment. Because, <laughs> yeah, that would be the time period where Invader Zim is doing it. Yep. Fully turning her into a girl who stink good. <laughs> That's so bad. Happy to help. There we go. We're doing great. Balthier's jacked. He's got two bars now. I had a feeling that was a bomb, but I wanted to see what the glowy thing was. I'd lap Dalsum if I could win a million dollars. That's that's nice. So, Eri, how do you feel about the fact that you're uh, lapping Sin when there's a very real chance that with the next uh, balance adjustment, things are going to get wacky? In what Yeehaw. way? Well, just the fact that, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of characters are probably going to get tweaked. Yeah, but Sin's going to get buffed because he came out and he he, came, he was the last character to release. They have not touched him since, and he's the worst character in the game by, like, a mile right now. Yeah. I, I think they should buff Soul Bad Guy. I think it would be, Dude, the downplaying <laughs> wasn't enough. Mochi Mochi just ruined the balance patch dude, for next Dude, month. I saw that grab chain, and I was like, come on. <laughs> okay. That was the stupidest to sit, like, like, he was solely taking advantage of the fact that the other player was probably so tense that they were going to explode. Yeah. Like, I, lo I love that. I, I, I always remember there was a Street Fighter V clip where a dude, a dude gets the grab six times in a row and the commentators are just shrieking. Going, uh, how is it still happening? So, oh, that um, was insane, like, actually being in the crowd when that happened. Like... Everyone was fucking popping off, like, with every single fucking, like, command grab. <laughs> God. How are we doing on... How are we doing on L? Okay, we need 26 to get um, our next one. Alright. Dude, there was a... I forget what is... What? Jordan? Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the noises you generate over there are very intimate and scary. Did um, Otto hop on you? <laughs> No, my iPad slipped. <laughs> <laughs> it's just propped up by its case right now. That's that's great. Things just you sound, sound different. So dejected. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, there was a moment where I forget what his name is, because the the guy who plays the one grappler in in Street Fighter Five at Evo last year wiped out Daigo out of loser's bracket like took him out who when Daigo was set to win that tournament by, and he ran it like he did like four command grabs in a row and it like scared me so bad I almost wet myself because it was just like are dude grapplers are like the most demented fighting game players ever like or any player who's just like willing to <laughs> put that much money on a grab that if they mess it up they're gonna die Shit's scary. Zangief looks fucked up now. They should get Potemkin some of that. They should... <laughs> no. <laughs> he should be able to go yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah Grappler, saying... Grappler Banes are definitely demented, but, uh... As someone that has seen the, uh, the fear in an opponent's eyes when, uh, somebody brings out Crusader, uh, uh, <laughs> the duel, it's like, holy shit, that is the funniest fucking fighting game Three character I've grand seen. finals, 50,000! <laughs> Goichi made $50,000 in four minutes. That one fucking combo where it's literally like, okay, we got you in the corner, I'm just gonna spam this one move for 10 seconds. It's so fucking funny, man. It's like, come on, man. Have some tact. I don't like seeing, like, high def high offense play from Goichi. It's scary. I'm like, no, you're that person that's supposed to block for two straight minutes. It's, 
Goichi not only just doing that, but like absolutely like destroying Lost Soul. I feel so bad for that dude. Holy shit. <laughs> nah, I'm not. That was awesome. You, you went up again. You went up against the supercomputer on legs. I, like I just saw him throwing those aerial moves at his crusader. I'm like, what are you doing? He can't. He can't hit back. He's a little guy. <laughs> well, no, no, like when. When Lossal was going up against him, he switched to uh, Swiftmaster. Oh, oh, you're oh, you're talking about those ones. Okay, yeah. I, I like I was thinking of the I for some reason I was thinking of uh, the striker matches at the end, but. The two more. All right, I bet we can spawn two more. Of you there? We go. Oh yeah, um, Gary, did you legitimately want that like uh, like headset? Hey, if you are not using it, I will I will li literally take it off of you, because those headpieces are really cool. But I but I'm also like, if like I'm not gonna like be like, hey, just give it to me. And this is ah oh, battle lore. Okay. There we go. We can continue now. Fran has her other, other, other jukes. I did it, Chad. I'm no longer technically uh, grinding the same rooms anymore. I am no longer mentally ill. It was tough, but I, I figured zone, it out. You want I zone to a new area in Final Fantasy XI? Yeah, probably. Whatever you just said, ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, everyone. I, res I respect you playing on this theme. Like, it looks kind of like vibes. Oh, it is. Goon Cave. <sighs> this is what I came here to see. What's that? It's nethersite. Manufactured nethersite. Nethersite? Unlike regular magicite, nethersite absorbs magical energy. This is the fruit of research into the manufacture of nethersite. All at the hands of the Draclaw Laboratory. So this is where they're I hate when the they spell magic wrong. They put a K in it. Errand all attended to, then. Thank you. I'll repay you shortly. No, you'll repay us now. We have too much on our hands to go on holding yours. So, where did you hear this fairy tale about Nethersite? And where did you get that sample you carry? What do you know about the Draclaw Laboratories? Tell me, who are you? Balthier? You kept us waiting, Balthier! Oh no, you sound so congested. We missed you! First to judge and know this boy. The whole affair has a smell of money about it. I may have to wet my beak a little. Keep your snout in the trough where it belongs. This thinking ill befits you, Bagamnon. Balthier. <laughs> Too long have I gone unpaid. I'll carve my bounty out of that boy. Where's Pinello? We're taking her back. The girl? Why keep the bait when you've landed the fish? We cut her loose on the way here and then off she ran crying like a babe. <sighs> It's like that movie, Babe Pig in the City. After them! Hey, wait up! We'll not be able to take them all. Fight who we must, leave the rest. Now it's okay, we got this. I thought I had the button to activate the other one, but I guess it did. Alright, we'll make our exit then. I 
I really thought I was gonna do good hits with that chat. I hit the button and then they're like, no. Where'd you get this water? Jesus. How about some of this? These guys ain't having a good one. How about some of this? We're so fucking back, bro. He took that well. And I think we just leave now. Yeah, okay. Oh no, the Skelatins. Not again. I can't lose them again. You know, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about what if I had a friend who literally changed their identity to John Pickle. I, I like, I know you're obsessed with it, and I'm like, I'm kind of weighing it a little bit. Yeah. But it's, it, but it's, it's, it's like, especially if it was like, especially if it was like, um, you know, with an L that wasn't an L, right? Like one of those like fake eyes or whatever. Yeah. Um, it would be terrible. Because, like, if people tried to search me, the at, they would always forget about the fake L. And, um, that would, so that would make it annoying for people trying to search my at. Uh, and then, like... Yeah, but it's a bit more opportune here, because they can at least get through the John. Usually when you're searching through someone on Twitter, you can usually find them pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, it's, but the you, search function's been a little dire recently, but that's yeah, like, I'm, that's I'm sure that'll get fixed. Yeah. A mid's name's really but, bad because fucking the, fuck, the fucked up I's and L's come in really early because she's stupid. Come on. Come on. Come on. with you. You're funny. John underscore pickle. Stream is brought to you by Twitter.com slash Aerospace Cowboy. Really good account. 
I messed that up last night. Uh oh. I, I I immediately I went to tweet. There was a there was a video of Popeye about like just each other. You know, like it was like nothing better than Pop. Just, just the epitome of two guys continuing to beat the you know beat the crap out of each other and like. Uh, and I added aerospace cowboy and he said kind of us, and then I was like, and then Jordan immediately says that's not Vince. I'm like. That is true. That is not Vince. <laughs> Vince. That is that is in fact a mystery person that is incredibly obvious if you look at the tweets at all. <laughs> I don't know who could be running that account. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you see that dog and slice tweet Vince posted while you were asleep? Arguably the best of the dog and slice posts he's ever made. Let's go look. Oh, I see it in the media. Costco food court colon everything but the rain hyphen the dog is me dog slice I won't ask you to lend me your strength anymore and I won't ask you guys to fight alongside me I'll fight on my own thank you dog and slice you are me I am now giving it the 38th retweet is that a like bleach title or yes come up with that on his own uh yes okay. <laughs> Based upon the uh, the fi final episode of uh, the first part of the Thousand Year Blood War, the blade is me. Vince is the funniest man on the planet. It fucking sucks. I hate these big guys. <laughs> fucking Hanna Barbera looking mythical creature. That's what they sound like. All right, sure. You see another one, I'll make that noise again, just for you, man. Oh, that's great. Here's hoping we never see it again. <laughs> I see you've been out walking without the company of your cortege, Lord Lhasa. We caught her wandering out of the mines. You must take care with such undesirables about. I was kidnapped. Silence. If it is a crime to wander on one's own, then I too am guilty. Marquis, I trust that your estate can accommodate another guest. Why not? Judge Geese, I shall heed your counsel. I will not travel unaccompanied any longer. I have a white woman. That was unexpected. Thank you, Penelo. Uh, of course. What's Penelo doing? The dog is me. I what fucking do hate this guy so much. That's no <laughs> you think you like, like, right? uh, It's on my other monitor because I just freshly retweeted it, so it's just there. What? That kid? Do not worry. The I dog is me. Well. The dog. Nobody knows Slice. Like friend of. I won't ask you to fight any more. purposes is the same way. To Andor. We must find means to approach him. The Marquis is channeling money to organizations opposing the Empire. We'll start He's there. made a part of his identity going to a Costco to get a piece of pizza and a hot dog. And it's working. Like, 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 that's, and that's one of the identifiers there. That's his Scooby Snack. Marquis Andor announced my execution two years ago. If news of my survival were to spread, <laughs> the Marquis may find his position. Do you think it's over with this tweet, or do you think he's going to keep going? Funding bear little love for the Empire. They won't be thrilled. To it's tough because I can see him going. I think going fact, again would be too much, but I don't know. He might. He might manage it. A clamor to that effect. We might just get their attention. Nothing to it. I'll just go around. He's made three dog and slice posts in a row. He needs to get some media done. <laughs> In between oh, no. the next one, or I don't. The Mega 64 part of FF12 has begun. I'm Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmasca. For people who haven't seen that video, uh, they did this bit, but in public. 
where they got a guy to dress up like Vaughn and yell about Captain Bosch out in the street of like LA. Qualifies as a clamor. All right, Vaughn, get to it for the girl's sake, eh? Oh, and the more people around to witness your little performance, the better. If we're going to reach the Marquis, it's up to you. We'll be waiting here if you need us. I, I will not listen to Andor's lies. Bosch lives! That's great, buddy. I'll give you 4%. Ah, oh, okay. Can't do it in your cops. Don't listen to Ondor's lies. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Okay, you have a good night, Grundle. I'm the Bosch von Ronsenberg. I will. That's awesome. Have a nice night. Yeah. Rest I'll well. see you tomorrow, Bosch. Larry. See you tomorrow. Uh. Uh. Don't uh. listen to Ondor's Are there any like quirks to this minigame? Like, can you fail it and you lose out on something? I have no idea. I just know I gotta fill the bar. You have one objective. I have one objective, and it's to sell. I need to sell these rumors. Hello, white man. Do you want to know? They are heeding my words right now. Hey. Don't listen to Ondor's lies. You shouldn't be doing that. Don't listen to Ondor's lies. So true, Moogle. Bosch lives. Yo, Bosch lived, dude. It was crazy. Slow and steady, but we're we're, we're changing shit, chat. I'm gonna go up here. Hollering in front of the clipboard guys gives more. Don't listen to Ondor's lies. You're right. It's actually a book, but you know, hard to see on a PS2. Bosch lives. Yo, Bosch lives, chat. Great news. <laughs> I'm the Bosch von Ronsenberg. That's him. Bosch lives. I'm always talking about Bosch. We did it. And then the FBI shoots me in the head. All for being Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg. Yeah, unfortunately, he was uh, executed two years ago, so that shouldn't be real. This is the one, Havaro. Says he's Captain Bosch, he does. <laughs> he would sooner pass for the king. I knew he weren't no captain. That was a mean trick to be playing. If a trickery it ended... I figured given you look 15 and Bosch destroy? is supposed to be Why 35. An explanation is due, and I will hear it. The Empire's hounds grow passing bold indeed. A shame if they learnt the Marquis trafficked with the likes of you. Agents masquerading as guides a hideout at the back of a tavern? Not exactly earning high marks for originality, are we? Now you've done Wait. it! So Bash von Ronsenberg does yet live. So Vaughn really is all right. I didn't think I'd ever get to see him again. You will join him soon. And until then, I shall see that you are kept from harm. Thank you. I am troubled. The Rabanaster Imperial Guard appear to have overstepped their bounds. I intend to speak on this with the Consul. What? Vane Solidor, the Consul, is my brother. The first duty of the Consul is to maintain order in Dalmasca. 
My brother, my brother is not one given to failure. Perhaps things aren't going as well as they might be, but give him a little time and he will put things to rights. Be not troubled. My brother is a remarkable man. He frightens me. Why? I'm sorry. He is your brother. It's just, you don't understand how much we lost to the war. My friends. My I like parents. this big leather couch that looks like it's sitting in the middle of a bridge. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to not think about it. That it sounds like they picked up something from Rena Center and just put Listen it on this me. architecture. Why? Okay, so like they're not in any building or anything. They're just they're yeah. Not, it's not a rooftop. <laughs> it's just a leather couch <laughs> that some person just. It is my duty to house Solidor. But how? How can I trust you? Because I give you my word. My brother would do no less. <laughs> Sorry, I I know I shouldn't have brought it up and it. Invalidate the sanctity of the moment. <laughs> no, I think that's important. I knew there must be more to it, but to find you at the end of this tale, <laughs> ah, to see the Marquis's face when he learns of it, I should like nothing more. I would meet him and see for myself. How say you, my lord? There is little to be said. I shall arrange a meeting with the Marquis. We shall expect you at the estate. They got it from Goodwill. Oh, okay. Okay, my bad. Yeah, well, we're not starting to actually make some sense. Hey, everybody, did you know Captain Bosch lives? Just want to let you know. This is just sitting. Okay. I could sell my extras before I forget. Uh. You want my rocks? That's great. How about all these bones? <laughs> Mystic Armor 3, okay. Oops, did not hit yet. These are the heavy tubes. Thank you, Captain Bosch, for the $5. Is he, from, is he Captain Bosch? I, I forget the phrase. I, I, I beefed it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Captain... Captain Bosch von I, I forget the syllable. Von Rotzenberg of Dalmasca. Uh, their okay. note, their note after the five dollars is "I live." I'm so sorry that you uh, crashed Anybody and burned else like thinking that. that <laughs> thinking that they're Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmasca. Want to donate five dollars to boost that notoriety? I'm always thinking about this. Captain Bosch of Dalmasca. I'm Barry for Pennsylvania. Air just remind me of the buff dude from the first episode of Smiling Friends. <laughs> oh, the one that just starts having a breakdown going, I'm a failure. <laughs> Sir Bosch von Ronsenberg, it was not so very long ago that I announced you had been executed. And that is the only reason I draw breath. 
So you are the sword he strung above my head. Vane has left not a thing to chance. And? A leader of the Resistance has fallen into Imperial hands. A woman by the name of Amalia. I would rescue her, but I need your help. This Resistance leader, this Amalia, she must be very important. You understand I have my position to consider. Would you let us see Larsa? He's got my friend with him. I'm afraid you're too late. Lord Larsa's cortege has already rejoined the Imperial Detachment. I am told they will depart for Rabanaster upon the arrival of the fleet this eventide. No. <sighs> Why does this guy sound like we called technical support? That's slightly racist, but you know, let's not worry about it. <laughs> what are we waiting for? for? You to calm down, Captain Ronsenberg. Surely, the exigencies of position are not lost on you. Why, indeed, you should find the enemy's chains an easy burden to bear. Wait. Sorry. Can't be helped. Summon the guard. Huh? They are to be doing? taken to Judge Geese. No, not Judge Goose. Those decrepit basking fools in Arcades tie my hands, and look what happens. I tell you, this country's obstinacy knows no bounds. The insurgents in Ravanasta operate alone at present. However, should they garner external support, the situation could worsen. We have found the counter imperial elements in Brujerba to be conspicuously well funded. No doubt Marquis Ondor is behind this. Ondor must be reined in. By the way, the Marquis has written us a letter. He claims that he's recaptured our runaway. He's given him to Geese. He will die by my hand. Your fraternity is moving. Ah, Geese returns with Larsa. Tomorrow morning they will leave Brugelba. See him home safely, Gabranth. Now I'm expecting Dr. Sid. You may leave. We must see the real thing, to be sure. Nabadis taught us much. Yes, it's well hidden. They'll be off chasing after shadows, the fools. Ah, yes. The reins of history back in the hands of man. Ah, Vane. You seem to be enjoying your job as consul. I was kept waiting fully two years. What news of Arcades? Our honored members. He of puts the, the chain on his glasses so he doesn't lose Hard them. Work as always, trying to find a dagger for your back. Mm. <laughs> they are welcome to try. Yeah, this is like 0506. Prisoners, my lord. <sighs> mm. 
Majesty. After what you've done, how dare you? You're supposed to be dead. Come now, come now. Have you forgotten your manners? This is hardly the courtesy due the late Princess Ashelia Benargan Dalmasca. One shot left, they name you Benargan. To be sure, she bears no proof of her former station, no different than any mean member of the insurgents. The resistance. His Excellency the Consul asks the Ministry of the Disthroned Royal Family in restoring peace to Dalmasca. Those who foster instability and unrest, who claim royal blood without proof, they shall meet their fate at the gallows. There are no exceptions. I will not play puppet to Vane. King Ramanas entrusted me with a task. Should the time come, he bade me give you something of great importance. It is your birthright, the Dusk Shard. It will warrant the quality of her blood. Only I know where to find it. Wait. You took my father's life. Why spare mine now? You would have me live in shame. If that is your duty, yes. Stop being so stubborn. Keep on like this and you're going to get us all killed. Don't interrupt. What? Vaughn, that stone. is glowing. It was in the palace treasure. Well, well. <laughs> Splendid. You brought the stone with you. This spares us a great deal of trouble. Don't give it to him. It's kind of hard to not. Uh, Hands are kind of bound. You have to promise. No executions. A judge's duty is to the law. Take them away. My lord. Lady Ash is to be quartered separately. <sighs> Vain Solidor, what fascination does this hold for you? He just likes cool rocks, alright? It's fine, man. Yeah. I'm I'm saying. So you were carrying it all along. The fate's jest. Nothing wrong with the dude invested in cool rocks. <laughs> Tell these fates yeah. are yours to leave. I learned that through breaking bed. Stay quiet. There was nothing I... else that I could do. You know that. You Oh, I understand. Okay. Honor, what? duty and all that. I still can't believe what Hank and that gets really into like mind. mineral collecting. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Oh, oh yeah, that, that that's like that's like a mini that's like a mini arc thing for him. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> he just like gets into oh. it after getting injured. The Marquis has been busy. <laughs> and probably's like, you haven't watched Breaking Bad. What the fuck is wrong with Listen, you? Listen, <laughs> it's been a full two years. I alone have kept Her Majesty safely hidden. I doubted friend and foe alike. Oh, now Prowley's here. Nobody. Yeah, I know. You uh, did your duty. Uh, <laughs> Jordan, Jordan wanted your attention at I'm the time, but thankfully, we avoided the wrestling conversation. I like how they didn't even say what it was about. I just know it had to have been about wrestling. Yeah, Jordan just wanted to say something, but he's gone now. He's given up. He's too, he's too tired. Too sleepy. All right, well, we got Nor Nola North in the party. We're set to go. And nothing much happened, I feel like. Uh, Your Captain Rosh found mouse can... Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Dr. Rosh Bimukimbukin and Bongi Bong Bong. Whatever the hell you wanted to say. There we go. That's That should be enough health nodes for a while. For you, at least. You can pick up one of those. Ah, we don't have enough for the battle thing there. Oh yeah, Bosh, we haven't touched you in a minute. Guess I'll pick up Ego Blade if I ever run into it. Is this game any good? Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. I'm chilling out. I'm filling nodes here, getting extra skill. Oh, there you go. 
go ahead and get your other quickening over here. Oh, I can get both of these. I can get the HP and then I can get the the headsman. There we go. How's this party looking? Yeah, we should change someone out. Uh, I'll change out Baltier, I guess. Every cutscene in this game was incomprehensible to me. How? You live in Europe. This should <laughs> I feel like this should be easier for you. <laughs> Bro is in Europe, it's not What what do you not like walk down the street and meet the Marquis? <laughs> Marquise. They I actually say, got that they, I actually got that one down. Yeah. Some yeah, I think it's like both, because they said Marquis up here in this game. They're crazy. Wait. A word of caution before we set out. See that red web of light spanning the passageway? Mm. It is a mechanism to detect intruders within the ship. Okay. Break one of those beams and an alarm will sound, summoning the guard. The alarm should cease after a time, but it's better to avoid drawing unnecessary attention. Come, Her Majesty awaits. If this was like FF10 HD, the subtitles here would be like Comic Sans. I'm just being rude. <laughs> that dog stood no chance. Harsh, but fair. Yes. I shouldn't invoke Comic Sans too much. That's the Silent Hill HD collection that did that shit. Fucking writing Welcome to Silent Hill on Comic Sans. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this, they... You could tell that Matsuno and them especially really, like... To an insane degree, oversaw this to make sure it's like, no. Has to... Everything has to be just right. That's not, that's why there's literal gameplay enhancements in it. You know, that are more than the average Square Enix gameplay enhancement of press a button. And uh and we'll we'll max out your uh your limit breaks or turn turn the enemies off or whatever. Yeah, I know people that didn't like the original twelve that saw the vision with this uh remaster of all the improvements. Mm. Uh, we're trapped. They turn on the lasers when we went down this corner. It's over. Pack it up, folks. <laughs> Face me, cowards! I think be, I think because Virtuous did uh, 10 and 10 2 and then did so much better with 12, they're kind of just generally improving, so I'd be fine with them just porting just so they can have current-gen versions of the 13 games. I imagine they wouldn't do much because it's three games and that's an insane amount of uh, resources and commitment. Yeah. Yeah, all you, gotta, all you gotta do is just... 13 games that don't really play similarly to... Like, 13 2 kind of evolves 13 formula Playing a little bit. Playing returns is a Valkyrie profile game. It is. I, I know, I know, because someone says that every single time the game comes up instead of something of substance. It's, uh, it's weird. I like 13. It's 13 is, like, the closest we'll ever get to getting another Majora's Mask game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, all they need to do is just package, package them up and they make them kind of run the same way they do on the, uh, on the Xbox back and pat. Maybe yep. have them, like, run at 60, because that's an easy bullet point to put on the box, and, uh, that's about it. You don't need to do anything else to them. People will pay $60. No problem. Sonic Unleash, the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy, and the, uh, Final Fantasy 12 <laughs> save menu. Hallmarks of the Xbox. Yeah. And Blue Dragon, of course. Well, if Lightning looks like she's on meth, and it's okay. That one happened a long time ago. You see, I, I am like many people that are different in the world of talking about how video games where new things have come out where I know things improve over time and people get better. I see this firsthand a lot of times where people are like, I can't believe Osaka Team made really good Kingdom Hearts DLC. And I'm like, yeah, you see, there's this concept here where nothing is static. <laughs> <laughs> And, and people do this thing called getting better at their job over a period of time. 
<laughs> some, crazy. Some, some people I... like some people like thinking about things like they're a cartoon sitcom, <laughs> where nothing changes and everyone wears the same shirt. Ah, oh. now where are they coming from? Who's fucking my pussy? Oh god, we're standing in the lasers. This is smart. <laughs> FF6 on an Android game out after X did. Did they get better than that one? Different teams, different styles, of course. I will, I will not be comparing a, the console remaster to some shit they farmed out for the phone. It upsets me that... That's about the same thing as me saying me saying Square Enix is, uh, did pretty well with some of this. And someone goes, what about Tomb Raider The Shadow? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you. Don't speak to me. I'm glad the Pixel Remasters exist, so I don't have to think about the mobile versions of 5 and 6 anymore. But it does kind of upset me that we could we li almost lived in a world where we got PSP remakes of 5 and 6. Yeah, it would have been nice. I guess 4 didn't sell enough. Yeah. Read the advisory. The release is to be used under normal operating conditions. Will not function during an alert. Oh, okay. They never cared about any any of them until people threw a fit. People actually did throw a fit over Final Fantasy VI, and they asked Katase, and he said, "It's higher quality. It's older. The other stuff was old." Yeah. Yeah. No. Like the the funny thing is, is that they didn't even realize that people didn't like the uh, Vaseline filter until like people brought it up in like an interview it's like hey why do you keep doing that they're like wait people don't like this yeah katase thought about the sprites and stuff more in a in a, in a technical in, in a more technical thing of well the new thing we put out on the phone is like higher resolution and we got the same people back because it's the same sprite artists doing it they just redrew it and they're like it's higher quality so it's newer and people are like no like this looks like shit from from an artistic point of view this looks bad which eventually they got the message because they literally made the pixel remasters happen. Yep. And got again the same person who did the uh, the sprites on the original ones. But unfortunately they made them slightly different colors so people are still pissed anyway. That's a Final Fantasy V head I won. Alright. Butts. Uh, I like how the noise when I pass a laser sounds like a, sh a sword sheath. I'm not even mad when I hit an alert. I'm like, oh good, I get to beat things up. Hello, Red Pyramid. No. I love killing. Don't take that out of context. Did you see that story about a streamer that faked a stream to make an alibi for murder? What? What the dude did was record them pretending to stream ran that broadcast while they went out and killed a woman. This happened, like, in the last, I think, like, month? People be doing anything, man. <laughs> That's a Columbo plot? Yes. <laughs> that just reminds me of that, like, uh, one one dude that streamed the pay-per-view and just had like a like dual shock there pretending he was playing a wwe fighting game <laughs> how we doing on stuff eh, it'll be a bit before we're gonna license it up again Let's see. Two routes. Sure. Let's... Nope. Try the other one. Do I have to sub and give regular to prove this is not in fact a fa uh, facade to facilitate murder? That is true, Jagler. I need to be able to have the ability to address people in real time for, for, for the illusion to work. Oh, they go on and off. Can you turn off, please, sir? Ah, whatever. 
We go to the center first. Sorry, I just trust the plant. Yeah, get away from the lasers. Uh, we can eye drop it. Every KZ stream is personalized. I try to do that. All right, what are we looking at here? Okay, the fucking lasers. Apparently some of Marissa's moves in the new Street Fighter have super armor that break other people's armor. That's gonna be disgusting. Uh, that's the entrance bat. Ah, I see. We come in from the top and then there's a straightaway. Okay. Bring it, buddy. See you later, Silken Whiskers. Thanks later. for thanks, thanks for coming out to this wonderful stream at an appropriate hour. You don't look any different than the other Fear guys. Fear not their numbers. Take down the leaders and the others will follow. All right. Okay, they're like, yeah, you killed all the judges. You're good. This game definitely is not an MMO, though. <laughs> Def definitely not. I don't understand why this screen exists, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Besides, we needed a reason to play this track. Yeah, I was like, this is the exact same thing, you know? It's like, there's a lot of MMO-like mechanics here, but that victory screen is the most... You can't really dispute it when it has that fucking screen in it. Like, Jesus. Hello, do you have a map? Ah, <laughs> uh, you have a systems access key. Sometimes okay. I think about how the, um... I lost my train of thought because I just fucking realized the uh, model for that crystal save point is the same fucking model they use in 11 for the, uh, basically the ether rights. That's great. <laughs> Alright, no droppings. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. Partisan needs spears too for that. Alright, anything to, oh, okay, the stuff down here is the shitty stuff. Alright. Pick up that. Will blade 
Need swords three, but it's better for uh, better for Bosch, so sure. Actually, no, he uses daggers, my bad. Ah, eh, whatever. A serpent rod, sure. Spears too. Here it is. You got that license to use that spear? I do. It's crazy. Oh yeah, I didn't check if you were selling maces. Just the one we already have. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to get the other thing in there. Got anything in here? No? Okay. Hello, ma'am. Vossler, I... Uh... Majesty. It's nothing. I'll be fine. You... Come on, come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Pinello's still out there. We should hurry. They won't be long. We will talk later. I got an achievement. I did it. Feels good. Let me go into my soul menu of that. Oh, soul menu? Yeah. The, the, this tracks your achievements, even if you have the Switch version. That's awesome. Yeah, they just add new sprites into this every time. That's dope. Yep. Achievement menus that aren't like state like normal achievement menus are so cool. Yeah, I like when they add extra ones. It, I feel like it, it's happening more commonly whenever it's like they're doing a switch port too. Remember when Hi-Fi Rush had the like Majesty. wall mural that filled in as you did more like achievement stuff? Yeah. Yet trust his sword we must, trade or no. I see no other way. We track back. Commandeer a ship and make our escape. Her Majesty cannot abide weakness, least of all in herself. We must make her confront the reality of our plight. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't need to do anything with her just yet. But I can get her job set up. Yo, Alarm, could you calm down? You're kind of annoying a little bit. Being very rude. Oh no, they've even brought a weird dog. Well, it's dead. Kid named Alarm. Fuck it, stop doing good comedy again. It scared me. You were so indecisive. There are certain things I find funny. There are certain things that I don't. That's it. That's all we got here. It named alarm. Yeah. 
What am I supposed to do? Not do I hardly newer jokes. That's that's all. <laughs> They're funny. Grow up. Fucking grow down. Gain height. I should use that on Jordan. Be like, yo, dude, gain height. <laughs> Okay, big as a gun. All right. You know, I've realized now, you know, FF12 is a pretty good game so long as you don't got somebody in here going, wow, wow. That's, that's an okay joke, I guess. Thank you. I like one time I presented Alta with a joke with no punchline or no comedy at all and just kind of acted really invested in it and it made them fall apart. They thought I had something wrong with me. I missed you, sound. get us to the central part since there's no way to get to the left conveniently. Ah, oh, one of these things I think can shut down security again. Hey, Casey, how are you enjoying Final Fantasy Attack of the Clones? I'm enjoying it, you know, until people start making bad Star Wars jokes. So aside from that, pretty all right. I like my way of making fun of the Star Wars thing before. It's just repeating to people what everyone says about this game, which they're like, Final Fantasy XII is just like Star Wars, right? You've got an inexperienced kid from a desert, meets a swashbuckler, and then there's Chewbacca in the form of a woman. It's okay. We're okay. Geese knows you've escaped. You must hurry. You are Captain Azalus. You will follow me. We must reach the airships before they do. You would let us lead, knowing who we are. Lady Ash, by all rights, you ought not even to What if Chewie was serving? Yeah. That you and Captain Ronsenberg were made to appear dead is like a hidden thread laid bare. Your actions hereafter will pull at that thread, and we will see what it unravels. This is our chance. We must see this through and get to the bottom of it. I believe it is for the good of Belmasca and the good of the Empire. 
Very well then. Thanks, Wilmot. Uh, I must apologize. Hmm. Penelo, for you. May it bring you good fortune. Egg. Thanks. Let us go. Alright, back to running. Back to running to escape this uh, fucking alarm. Oh, hold on. Such a great shame. I must confess, I thought you the one who would help us restore peace to Dalmasca. No matter, we hold the proof of your royal lineage. A maid of passing resemblance will serve our purposes now. As for you, my dear, the Empire requires you no more! I sucked it up into my what egg. Was that? The methocyte. <sighs> your majesty does not disappoint. Ever quick to spurn an honorable surrender, as was your father. What even is the other thing you're holding? A fan? Nothing of my father! Oh yeah, I guess we could hit you with uh, quickening. How about some of this? How about we're about to take this dude out to lunch? Yeah, I always like the red and blue fire stuff that, like, the Vaughn gets. Chat, this thing... I'm pretty sure he's dead now, but I want to keep hitting. <laughs> Alright, how's he doing now? Oh yeah, I forgot we do like one last little hit. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I forgot he looks really stupid. <laughs> We've secured an Atomos. Come. An Atomos? All skiff, no ship. Hardly fit for a leading man. So I can fly it then? You're mad. <sighs> Can't we go faster? Not yet. Berries and cream ass hair. Okay, you're a little right, yeah. Judge Geese looked like a little lad who loves berries and cream. They passed. Hasn't gone too fast, they'd have noticed. <gasps> yeah, I like the occasional FMV sequence. Nice place you got here. Balthier, your handkerchief. I thought you might want it back. I shall wear it close to my heart. Perhaps you forget all that Ondor has wrought. 
I do not forget, Majesty. It was by his counsel, dangerous though it may have been, that we were able to free you. You must meet with him, Your Highness, and give ear to his words. He may act in league with the Empire, but his heart is not. It is as he says. I ought not have kept Ondor at so great a distance. I have to get going for, so long a time. for bed tonight. Yeah, I have you, you must rest. I apologize. That it? Yeah. Don't worry about it. I, I was expecting you to go solo the whole time when I started. For some All right. Time. So the fact that you, well, you have allies. I do? Anyways, you have, you have a good night. Oh, shit! <laughs> Until I should find I'm illiterate. Him, I would have Bosch remain at your side. Doubt him you may. But I measure his loyalty to Dalmasca no less than my own. I know you would not speak so lightly. Very there we well. Go. Keep her well. Go to Ondor and there await my return. Set up here. Definitely feels like a slower month for games, at least until uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah, next week's the, you know. We got RE4 remake. Dropping the got exact Rise same. Three. <laughs> dropping the same fucking day as John Wick 4. Just want to make guys who love dudes rock with guns come. When Vossler learned my father had been killed the night of the treaty signing, he returned to Raven Aster, there to aid my escape. There was still time before Vane's reach extended too far. We thought that you could protect me. However, when I then made the announcement that you had taken your own life, I must have seemed a model citizen of the Empire. The announcement, you see, was Vane's suggestion. Of course, at the time I was reluctant, but I could not perceive his reasons. Now it is clear he meant to drive a wedge between us. Halim, we are past all this. Bushirba must stand with us. We can stop Vane. I once knew a girl whose only wish was to be carried in her uncle's arms. Your Majesty is a woman grown now. Then Bushirba will aid me. Suppose for a moment you were to defeat Vane. What then? You cannot simply rebuild your kingdom with the only proof of your birthright stolen. Without that, the Grand Kiltia San Boomises cannot and will not recognize your Majesty as the rightful heir. You may yet be a princess, but without proof of your identity, you are powerless. You will remain with me. We do nothing till the time is right. I cannot just wait. Then what does your majesty propose we do? Uh, Uncle Halim. Incidentally, what is the going rate for rescuing princesses these days? Food would be a start. The good stuff, mind you. This can be arranged, though it will take some time. Time enough for a bath, I hope. Dirty business, you know. Ah, best bring a change of clothes, too. What are you doing? <laughs> this is Balthier's ship. I'm going to retrieve the Dawn Shard. It's the proof that I need. I know where it's hidden. I'll return his airship later. Are you crazy? This is something that I have to do. Not only for myself, but for all those who have fallen. I will not be made to hide. <sighs> I'll fight alone if I must. You still have Bosch, right? Besides, you can't just go around stealing people's ships. What are you trying to do? 
I'm trying to concentrate. That's quite enough, Your Majesty. What, what do, do you think? think? A, A bit, bit over the top. top? In my line of work, you never know when something like this might come in handy. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to concentrate. concentrate. I'm leaving you with the Marquis. You can't. Trust me, you're better off staying here. Suppose oh, crazy you kidnapped much, me uh, instead. Hmm. You're a sky pirate, these, uh, aren't you? Look for the PS2. Then steal me. Yeah. Is that so much to ask? What do you have that I would want? The Dynast King's treasure. The Dawn Shard is but one of the riches that lie waiting in King Wraithwall's tomb. <whistles> King Wraithwall, you say? Kidnapping royalty is a serious offense. It won't do much to lower the bounty on your head. How much is the price on your head these days, I wonder? Allow me to escort you in Vossla's place. Will you be joining us? What? Are you kidding? I don't want to stick around this place. Then I'm coming too. Canelo. Who are you again? She's like, uh, I'm the plus one. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> of cool. Of course not. Then it's settled. We should leave before the Marquis realizes she's missing, like proper kidnappers. People really did flip in a positive way for 12. A lot of people going, Bond's unnecessary and over the years have gone, no, he's a really important point of view character. Fuck Pinello, though. She's just a white woman. Like, Vaughn, I think, fits in pretty well. Uh, Pinello's the unfortunate one of, I'm the childhood friend, and I'm like, that's not enough here. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to write four essays before I let you on the team. Dr. Sid, does this set Draclaw? I have confirmed he receives funds from Lord Vane. His agency in the fall of Nabudis is also certain. Yet, with Judge Zekt, who led the assault, missing, the truth remains difficult to ascertain. The long, cold years have clouded my eyes. I cannot see my own son's heart. <laughs> <coughs> My lord. This illness will claim me. So then, who is to be my successor? The Senate fears the capable Peregrine Vane. They prefer a young fledgling emperor. Gabranth. Once in the past, I laid siege to your homeland. The Republic of Landis is long since gone. My allegiance lies wholly with the Empire. Perhaps. But what of your brother? He did not accept us as you did. He fled to Dalmasca. Did you never think to follow him? I follow his every move. He is an enemy of the Empire. He will be cut down. So you would kill even your own brother for the Empire. Be that as it may, Gebranth. Your ruthlessness is not without merit. But it must not become this way with Larsa. You must ensure that it does not. So then you ask me to be his sword, to strike where he might not. Rather be his shield. Gabranth, keep your close watch on Vane. His is the keenest blade of all. My lord. Do this for me, Gabranth. I could not... I could not bear to see my sons... <laughs> war with each other again. <clears throat> he 
coughs the same way my dad does, and then I go, it's the cigarettes, and he's like, no, nah, it's my heart medication. And I'm like, okay, nah, that makes that makes more sense than a pack a day for ten years. I'm glad you figured it out where I could not. Whoa. This come in handy often? It's tough being popular. Wouldn't want any admirers dropping in while we're away. Well now. I like Final Fantasy 12 going, yeah, we have uh, super airships with active cloaking on them, too. Across the Sand Sea, to the Valley of the Dead, and to King Wraithwall's tomb below. So it's just phlegm, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. At all. That's why we got to hook it the rest of the way, you see? Happy you get to teach me something for a change? Well, if you want to be a sky pirate, you got to know your... Hey, what do you mean for a change? Come on, At least we thought it. to bring I'm entertainment. You. Oh, yeah? Says who? You want to see what <sighs> they think about I wouldn't be so confident. Yeah, let's see what you, uh, see what you got here. Oh, man, you got a bouge. Good old medieval cloaking tech, like a proper Final Fantasy. Yeah. I was going to make a Nomura-related joke here, but I forgot someone unironically put uh, 12's cast on on a tweet and said he drew them. So unfortunately, that has happened already. Okay, yeah, that, that could be good. Ah, right, yeah, this will lead to lead to attack ups. Oh, this actually has some good stuff up top too. All right, it's all right. I'll get some trial mode grinding in at some point, and then then things are gonna get fucked up. Charge, all right. Our Bosch, what we got? Not oh, a lot of battle things up here, you know, get that damage in. Ah, okay, we're fresh out. Right. Oh, yeah, we have to pick your job now. Uh, uh, I guess. I guess she could be the black mage. Oh yeah, you have like a thousand points to do here. Okay. Yeah, I'll take you up top now, sure. The one thing I'm kind of surprised they didn't add is, like, an option 
for the uh, remaster was the ability to unlock multiple spots at once. Yeah, I, I was also kind of shocked they don't have a, I go really far and then they just go, hey, you can just pump all the points to get over to this. Is 16 going with magic with the CK? I'm not sure. It feels like it might try it. They're like, we got sword and board. We'll spell it weirdly, too. Yo, you can unlock Evanescence? Oh, yeah, bring me to life. All right. Jesus. Wake me up. It's going high potion with the GH, which is terrible. <laughs> A cardinal sin. Alright, then we'll just work you through there for a bit. What level are you, 17? Okay. Uh, we're gonna kind of keep what we're going. I guess. Going with this, I guess. It's sand. So, where exactly is Wraithwall's tomb? Far to the west. We must first cross the Ogir Yensa, and beyond that, the Nam Yensa, before we reach the tomb. An expanse of desert larger still than all of Delmasca. We must pace ourselves. If you grow tired, we stop and take rest. You don't have to worry about me. I'm tougher than I look. <laughs> you are at that. That is true, as they always say. Girls are tough, or moms are tough. Uh, oh yeah, I remember this area. This is the one that has all, like, the... Like oil rig looking things in the middle. Yeah, I feel like they would have dodged some of the uh, Star uh, Star Wars allegations with this game if they didn't start it in a desert. But I can kind of understand it. The last one kind of started in more of a or more beach-looking environments or city stuff, so I get it. I didn't even think about the desert part. I feel like that's like a fundamental, one of the big parts that makes makes people go, oh, I can square the circle with that. Yeah, these things are scrunkos as hell. I didn't think about it because he, he Bond lives in a relatively nice city, yeah. Construct to draw oil from the ground. Abandoned many years now, it seems. Did Dalmaskans build this? No, the Rosarians. Their empire lies far to the west, ever at war with Arcadia. Heedless of the kingdoms caught in their midst. Dalmaska, Nebrodia, 
Landis. Tis the small craft's fate to watch the list of the galleons and pray for light winds. Vosla, why are you here? Imagine my surprise when upon my return to Bojerba, I find both you and the Lady Ash have vanished. I thought you above consorting with Sky Pirates. Malthir is a man worthy of our trust, and it was the Lady Ash's decision. I am content to lend my arm. As I could not when Rassler died, when her throne was taken. Never again. I will defend her this time. You walk the night's path. The Lady Ash? We should leave this place. Let me guess. Sandstorm? Something far worse. I see. So the Dawn Shard does lie in King Wraithwall's tomb. The Marquis sympathizes with your plight, yet the Empire perches as a carrion bird on his shoulder. He can keep whispers of your abduction silent for only so long. Yes. Tell me, Vossler, what have you accomplished? We leave at once. This is Urutan Yensa territory, and they are unfond of visitors. Oh no, they're digging. Looks like we've attracted the wrong sort of attention. Let's just lose the people riding him, but it looks like a monster Wolf. or a creature intro. Monster. Yeah. Yeah. Have you found the means Fucked to up sand shark. First, we must claim the dawn shard. It all begins with that. Welcome back to the theme. So I've been promoting these streams with an ad for a Final Fantasy XII potion they made back uh, almost 20 years ago at this point. I recall Carl at one point found one that was apparently expired at a con once and drank it. He oh said he, he said he thought he went into instant cardiac arrest. <laughs> this was probably like 10 years ago. Oh man, it was only three years expired then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's like, let me, let me, let me drink this up. Minus 100 HP, yeah. He took 5,000 life points. It wasn't great. Chad, I was so worried about my sleep earlier. I was like, it was 4 a.m. I'm like, I'm going to conk out. I'm going to just sleep in and see what happens. When I finally woke up at 9 p.m., I felt like I conquered the world. That I'm was all, me uh, always last night. That was me last night when, um, or I guess the night before, where it's like, I have a shift tomorrow Ooh. at 8 a.m. I fell asleep and I woke up at like 8 p.m. I was like, no, this cannot do. I'm going <laughs> to have to go back to sleep. Yep. I woke up at 4 a.m. and it's like, this will work. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is workable. Because I was like, you know what? I'll just wake up early and force my body to like naturally wake up at like... 7 a.m. to deal with the, these bug people coming in for their quarterly. Then it hit 4 a.m. and I'm like, this is impossible. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm 30. Four hours of sleep will, in fact, kill me. Yeah. I'll get up and all my bones will fall out. But, infor but, but unfortunately, I, you know, YouTube videos trapped me in a zone till 4 a.m. Gonna shut my shift and immediately fell asleep for five hours, so it's like, oh, that's good. Yeah, the backup. Get my full eight hours of sleep. Yeah, yeah. so I'll probably. Yeah, we'll just a... we'll just spread those out. Yeah. Yeah, 
I'm sorry, Chad. I had to stay up. YouTube recommended me a podcast where Cybershell talks about Ken Penders for three hours. And I'm like, I want to learn more about Ken Penders. That's a good use of my time. <laughs> All I knew is he's the weird knuckles guy. Also the uh Bolt Tails guy. Oh. Hey Nup. Are you one? Yeah. Hello. It, it's going all right. We're we're just we're just chilling. That's some pretty good segments here. Jordan was here a couple times. First time left in shame because uh, every time they moved on an air mattress, it made the most ungodly sound. Made it sound like we were being suffocated by a couch. It was crazy. I like how, it, you know, sometimes you can, like, feel, you can feel the impending doom coming of someone changing. And that was me when I saw Vince go, I'm starting Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. oh this is oh, dangerous. No. I'm like, uh-oh, he's, de he's detected a, he's detected dude's rock content. It could change him. You gotta understand, he finished Ishin, he had to find something else. Yeah. So what have you been up to now? Um, I just slept for a bunch of the day. Um... Yes, yeah, Sam. Uh, oh yeah, you, you were in the, um... Uh the fucking I don't even know what was going on with you you were just dead all day <laughs> 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. um was this an edibles plus double down thing S surprisingly there was no edible involved I was like I need to detox a little bit okay so the the double down just had you fighting for your fucking life double down didn't really do much to me su surprisingly that's for 17 hours yeah but I try doing that that's like a goal I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't. I, yeah, the goal really here to was to, was to sleep as as late as possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, that way I'm up when the the pest control guy comes in in the morning. That makes sense. Because because okay. I'd ra I'd rather not knock and and then he ends up like yeah. using a master key to get inside here and then I go no my cock's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Yippee penis. <laughs> Yippee cock? Yeah. yeah. The cock is me. I believe that's what that bleach chapter was called. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like how much they fucked up Jordan's order of food today. That was really good. Oh, that was a whole, uh, saga, wasn't it? Yeah, that's, that, that's way worse than mine somehow, and mine was already, like, you missed an ingredient and you couldn't find two pieces of chicken. What happened? Uh, his was, like, a burger that was supposed to be a bacon cheeseburger. It had no cheese or bacon. They wiped mustard off of it when they realized it was not that order, and then put a bunch of chunks of, of uh, avocado on it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, they just fucked his shit up. <laughs> oh wait, also from the post, they just threw like three patties on the fucking thing. Oh yeah, it's like th yeah, it was three beef patties. <laughs> <laughs> three beef patties with somewhat wiped off mustard, no bacon or cheese, and chunks of avocado. <laughs> Which might be busting now. Was this? I think it was like a Jack in the Box. Oh, oh, that explains it. Yeah, he ordered it from a Jack in the Box that was close, but he, uh, he, I believe he, like, tried to door dash it because it was raining. 
It, yeah, it was raining pretty <laughs> fucking hard today. Uh, I think it still is raining in Long Beach. Let me check. No, it, it still is right over here. That's crazy. You guys are so wet over there. <laughs> yep, it's still raining. It's crazy. It's like we're no longer in a drought. But that's great. You should that's cherish crazy. this. It's like the last like month and a half. It's been like raining almost nonstop. Kind of nice. <laughs> It's like when I when I first moved in with uh, moved in with Dan and we and I was flying down here to Florida and it's the sky is beautiful in the plane, beautiful and blue. And they're like, we're gonna start our landing, and we go through the clouds and it's like I descended to hell, where suddenly everything was dark, gray, and evil and icky. <laughs> From software area pop up uh, appears Florida. Yeah, as soon, yeah, as soon as it hits like May or June. Over here, it's like, all right, it's gonna look like shit, and there's gonna be like 60% humidity. Yeah. They're like, stay inside or die. I just feel like someone broke my spine. Oh, okay. Good. I've been in hell. Oh. Oh wait, are these guys what the that they're I'm... modeled after in 14? Maybe. Maybe. Look, look at that animation set. Oh yeah, 100 percent Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, I thought you escaped hell. You're not doing top anymore. <laughs> that's su that's hurt. clearly super hell. Yeah, that's super hell. My back hurt. <laughs> Fucked me up. Uh one of my oomphies on Twitter has actually cleared top four times. Yeah. I was like, okay. Uh, looked at their logs. Uh, every single one of their peers is a purple parse, and I'm like, bro. <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair, you should like uh, work for the government or something. Parses for ultimates are fake, anyways. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but but still, it's like an actually like DPS like intensive ultimate, and every single like all four of his clears are purple. It's like, bro. Yeah, that is so good. Um, I got uh. One of, one of my friends I used to raid with apparently cleared it, like, yesterday. Which is Ooh. Cool. Yeah. I, I definitely feel um, better that uh, it's not just me coping that I dislike that fight. Because even he says, oh, yeah, that fight's fucking ass. Like, Yeah, awesome. yeah, I, I run in a multiple different circles, and, and, and all of them uh, have at least one person that goes, that shit sucks ass. Let me see what this but, person is. But don't worry, you... But don't worry, Yoshida sh as, has assured you it is in fact easier than DSR. That guy needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> just, I, he has this magical <laughs> ability to never say anything correct ever, where I'm just sitting there and I'm like, he, he'll say a thing and I'm like, okay, and then the thing comes out and it's like, so... You're like, wait a minute. Nap, but, don't you know, Nap? Ishua simply lost her tan. That, or like... I don't even, like, not even that, but, like, anything involving the content on that game, it's like, just admit you don't know what's going on in the kitchen. Just admit it. Just admit that you have no idea what your dev team is doing, because he goes, uh, yes, um... I like the way you go, just admit it, like he's in court. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just he, he, I feel like he feels the need to say things, and they're always untrue he just has the fucking monkey paw curse on him or something <laughs> i don't know because he just goes out and he's like yes so um you know ex3 for endwalker is going to be the hardest extreme we've ever made and it's like yeah, yeah. i go and do it and i'm like this is half of a fight and it's easy remember when uh this is half Warrior. of a fight, and I cleared it in one pull. Remember in uh, Shadowbringers uh, um, EX3, when that was actually a fight that you could have maybe said that for? Oh, that's just a long fight, really. You know, usually I, I would I would be opposed at this point to 14 talk, but this game looks exactly fucking like it, so I'm actually like, no, this fits the vibe. Yeah. yeah. There's, a there's aggro lines that I'm doing auto attacks. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're playing. You're playing a single player MMO. Uh, I, I was gonna say there's some some Final things Fantasy you could. 11. I'm like there are some things you could contest with this, and then when I beat a boss and it made me do the Final Fantasy 14, everyone stands and the camera spins, and they just put no, congratulations what? on the screen. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? 
<laughs> so more more specifically, this game is just single player FF11. Ah, uh, okay. Well, there it, you go. It, I'm covering it, two games in one. I did it. Yeah. If if you ever go and play 11, you'll just be like, oh, so it's 12. Ah. Uh, Except slower. Yeah, but much slower. <laughs> um, much, much, <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, it's slow, so, slower than you vanilla. <laughs> You gotta understand, the yep. way that combat in 11 works is that you need to do skill chains. So it's like you save up your uh, TP and then you use them for a skill. And then, because uh, this was designed when uh, dial-up was still very much a thing, yeah. uh, they had to account for latency. So it's like, okay, you want to do skill chain, everything has to be slow as balls so people can actually react in time. Yeah, this is another, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I have no criticism here. I'm just, I'm good. Yeah, you should, um... Go give it a look someday and be like, oh. Yeah, like I've seen some streams and stuff of it. I'm like, that looks, that looks neat. I have no interest. I stepped on a bomb. Uh, that scared me. <laughs> Correction. Uh, boss. Step on a bomb. On a bomb apparently. Ah, uh, yeah. Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmasca. Yes. <laughs> I still like that Vossler's voiced by fucking Nolan North. One of the few times you get him to do a JRPG. This That's also a... might as well just be a Xenoblade game. Yeah. I feel like more people uh, should be able to come back to this game going, Hey, did you like Xenoblade? Well, we got this. It is the same content. Yeah. Yeah, because they both have and a super attack fine. that you can chain for multiple minutes in a row to do big damage. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, quickenings in this are just like a a less in-depth version of a chain attack. I love how every uh, game they they uh, aspire to make chain attacks take longer and longer. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking threes where you just you're sitting, you're gonna be there for a minute, but you're gonna deal like twenty million damage. I love how uh actually I'm gonna stop myself there. I remembered the rules. <laughs> that damn Wii U. <laughs> God damn it, Jordan. <laughs> I him for this. It is absolutely Jordan's fault, yes. <laughs> so fucking funny, though. Just fucking poured it, asshole. Don't make KZ tap the sign. I need to make a sign. There's a lot of novelty things I want for sounds. I want to buy a full ass gong. That go hard. Yeah, just so I can own one. I'm not entirely insane. I'm not like how Carl wants to buy a fucking full ass pinball machine. No. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Actually, would go hard. Yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to get that like the. Funny. He didn't want to get the arcade one-up ones because they're all digital. Which I'm like, yeah. At that point, you just fucking buy a pinball video game. Yeah, that made sense. No, um, Shen's dad had one, and that whole far, uh, family like competed to beat their each other's scores every week. <laughs> that that's, see, that's awesome. good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's that's fucking great. I haven't. I don't that think I've played like pinball since exercises. I've been at a laundromat. Like that I... was the beef. That was the beef in the group chat. Apparently, every week in there is like, <laughs> like, like, like someone in the family beating her dad's score and like just going, okay, like I don't care. I beat you in pinball, so like I don't, you know, fuck off. What a lovely dynamic. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> this is this yeah. is very good and not toxic. <laughs> no, they were sweaty over that fucking pinball. <laughs> <laughs> Over the Toy Story 3 pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. It's like, okay, which one you got? <laughs> yeah. Alright, just making sure everyone's got their, their stuff. Alright. Ooh, a chopper. An embroidered tippet. That's a great game. I don't know what any of those fucking things are. <laughs> So I looked up the Toy Story 3 pinball machine. Why the fuck is there one for Toy Story 4 too? 
Why? I guess because it was new and they're like, we'll grab the license, I guess. I still haven't seen that. Which one? Uh, the, the Toy Story the 4th. I still haven't seen 3. Yeah. Four was good, even though it shouldn't exist. Uh, the fact they're making a fifth one, come on now. I'm kind of, I know what happens in four, so I'm actually quite interested in what they'll do for a five. Yeah, I, I too am morbidly curious how they're going yeah. to have it make sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it's not too hard, you know. They'll, they'll, they'll figure some figure some stuff out. I'm like, whatever. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll buy in. I watched the light year. like Disney frothing at the mouth that they haven't been able to make a direct-to-video uh, movie sequel in like over a decade. Yeah, they shut down that studio that was doing it. It's tragic. I think it was, I think they were like in Australia and that was the studio that uh, did all of the 2D animation and the aughts for direct-to-video. I was wa I was watching clips of the Oscars a couple of nights ago because you know that ran through and all all the wins came out. I like how K Hui Kwan is like sixty years old, but when he looks at Harrison Ford, he turns into a five year old. It's really nice. Huh? He just goes and hugs him, and when he gets his Oscar, and I'm like, you're like a little five year old in a fucking candy shop. This is really nice. Yeah, that's cute. He had to tell Harrison Ford to give the give the award to the director because he already had one. He's like, don't give this to me. I already got one. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, when they go to accept uh, best picture for everywhere, every, everything, everywhere, all at once, Harrison Ford's oh going to give it to the supporting actor, K. Hui Kwan, because they're really tight. He's like, no, no, that guy over there. Give it to him. Oh, my God. I, uh... So apparently, everything, everywhere, all at once is the most awarded movie of all time. That's fair. Uh, that is a yeah. Movie. And since A24 did that and the whale, uh, A24 sweeped every acting category in the entire Oscars. Damn. That was hard. They got actor, actress, and supporting for both, <laughs> and screenplay. Holy shit. And director. They just, they just won the Oscars. Yeah, they really did just get everything. They, act they just crushed it. Except the animation, which uh, I haven't seen uh, Del Toro's uh, Pinocchio, but I I've heard it's good. Yep. So. Yeah, no, that um, uh, that is all stop motion. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really impressive because honestly, uh, for most of that movie, I forgot that it was stop motion. Oh, that's sick. It, it it does not you would not think it's stop motion it goes fucking crazy wasn't um, that a similar deal with uh, Caroline yeah was Caroline stop motion oh yeah oh yeah that one okay yeah yeah um so I think the one unfortunate thing with Pinocchio is that that was they just like fucking stealth dropped that on Netflix it, it had yeah that was no a, that, that, that was unfortunately it, 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 it a Netflix like, thing yeah it, it was like everyone knew that Guillermo del Toro was doing this insane stop motion uh, Pinocchio mm. movie, and no one talked about it when it came out. Yeah, unle SNL unless uh, unless you're why unless you're like watching a late night show, one of those, you're you're not gonna hear about it. I feel like because it's a Netflix thing and they don't do as much marketing. Yeah, yeah li literally, I only found out from. Um, Hello, from Nap. Literally, just seeing it. <laughs> One sec, I have to say hello to you. Okay. Uh, where's my phone? I'll literally do that even when I'm like watching anime on Crunchyroll on this. I'll see all to go online. I'm like, hi, dog. I'm hi. And then they disappear. <laughs> He's like, leave, I'm like, leave me alone. I'm watching Yowie again. I watch Bung, uh, Bungo Stray Dogs and then Crunchyroll's recommendations say, you like men. And I'm like, you're, 
Well, thanks. Half right. I'm like, yeah, but essentially, yes. Bungo Stray Dogs, one of the few series to, to generate what I would say a is a comedic sibling fucker archetype. Was not expecting that. Oh. Two of the minor side characters, the sister really wants to feel up the brother all the time. He's like, can you please stop, please? Please stop touching me. What do I have here? What is this? <laughs> I, I, too, saw that Twitter thread. What is that? Also this. You enjoying your goon sesh? Reharden your cock. You'll love this next, hour. this next hour. Hey, look at this again. <laughs> God damn it. Image is so small. And then here's this one called James. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I have that Xbox. I do want to turn it into a bong. <laughs> <laughs> this hookah's dangerous. So did you play any of the Leon Kennedy moan demo? No, I'm waiting till that game comes out. That's, you know, that's understandable. You want it all at once. I I have a thing of, I don't, I just, I, I don't play demos for games that I know I'm going to buy anyways. I was in that same way. I just skipped every cutscene and just, I just wanted to feel it. To be like, oh, it's going to feel this good. And then I parried and then I moaned and then I was good. So how is the moaning in it? I haven't seen anyone posting the moans. I didn't do any moan checks. I just moaned myself over the, over the gameplay. But no, I, I don't know. He has really heavy bags under his eyes, and that's good. Ayo. During that Capcom thing, when they're like, "We we are promoting the next Resident Evil CG movie, Resident Evil Death Island," and I almost cried. Motherfuckers yeah, calling it Death Island. <laughs> that goes crazy. I'm like, if it's based off the last CG one they put out, this will be really terrible, but I'm excited. Oh, those have all been good content regardless. Yeah, like the last one they did, which I think it was like Infinite Darkness. Mm -hmm. That was real bad. <laughs> There was one good scene in it that I actually liked, which was Leon Kennedy on a submarine opening the door to 40 zombie rats and going, wish I had some cheese while running away and shooting at them. <laughs> that goes crazy. They're like, Claire Redfield's a reporter, which means she will be kidnapped and beaten. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. What did the writers mean by this? What? <laughs> They're like, she will have no agency in this in this film that is like four small episodes of a thing, but clearly seems like they cut out, cut into pieces. <laughs> Yo, this part was in Resident Evil 5. <laughs> We're going to the Hidden Temple. Yeah. Oh, I think I fight like a bird or something at this point, I think. I vaguely remember this. <sighs> Caw. Uh, let me quicken on you a little bit. How about some of this? Yeah, red and blue colors.
this. Oh, nice, boss. You're getting the you're getting the double now. Chad, I think this thing's dead. Oh, okay. Okay, do that again. That's definitely dead. Yeah, this was the this was an eight chain. Bye. <laughs> We did it, we beat the dungeon. That's crazy. How will I know if I won? You gotta like, tell me. Thank you. See, this isn't like an MMO. They didn't give me like a chest. What the fuck do you mean you had no problems with this? I walked up to the boss and just hit the limit break and won. Don't Long worry about ago, it. The gods granted their favor to King Wraith. Oh my god. Who would oversee the subjugation of a vast territory spanning from Mordalia to Valendia. Here he forged the Galtean Alliance. Don't worry, I believe quickening start falling off toward the mid to late game anyway. Called the Dynast King. Upon establishing the alliance, he demonstrated compassion for his people and disdain for needless war. A philosophy passed on to his successors, one that would bring peace and prosperity for hundreds of years to follow. It was during this time of peace that the city-states of Arcadia and Rosaria, each members of Wraithwall's alliance, took root and flourished. I really appreciate Vince making sure to differentiate themselves with the mysterious aerospace cowboy account. By capitalizing the Mansk and Mansk fan, so I will know who is retweeting something on my timeline. <laughs> And the dusk shard to my ancestors, the founders of Damascus. The truly mysterious aerospace Last cowboy account that is only a mystery unless you look at the fucking tweets and read them. <laughs> here, known only to those of royal blood. As oh, that's weird. I guess they capitalized it. Plight before us now. <laughs> None save descendants of the king are suffered within. If we attempt to enter without proof of such Man, that's crazy. The aerospace cowboy account right. just now has capitalized the M and Mansk fan. I don't know how that Something happened. Something like that. But you must consider no, the I think they did that earlier. The Dawn Shard lies within, and Wraithwall's treasure. And there was you know, I don't know about that now. <laughs> uh, yeah, because um, on my timeline itself here is an Aerospace Cowboy tweet with lowercase m, <laughs> implying they did it in the last 30 minutes. <laughs> I think I'm slowly figuring out this mystery. Have you seen what that guy had for dinner? No. Oh. Is everything okay over there? That looks to be an everything bagel uh, on top of a bowl with fireball in it. I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah, it must be rough for them. 
Who could say who's yeah. running that account that tweeted about yaoi and frauding? Could be anyone. Yep, yeah, it sure fucking could be. I mean, the real Vince tweets that all the time, so. Yeah. Hmm. Nep, nep in a banana suit going, we're all trying to find out who did this. Getting the third season of I Think You Should Leave comes out at the end of this month, I think. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's exciting. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh no, not the demon wall. So this is what you guys were talking about, right? The wall boss in 14, here it is. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, it just stands. It stands blind, Jesus. Oh, that's just fucked up, though. I'm gonna I'm a fuck its pizza real quick. Got a surprise for you. Yeah. Yo, he punched? Yeah. If you get a free win here as well as like, I quit. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit RNG dependent though. Oh, we got mischarge. There we go. You can do another level two, Adam. Oh, got another one. There we go. Getting the chain to at least a seven. How, how does this work? Uh, you hit R2 occasionally and you'll get missed charge as a menu item. And then that lets people recharge and do another limit break. So if the RNG is right, you can just do a bunch of them in a row. It's okay. I'm sure I didn't kill it, Bob. Chat. I think it's fine. I don't think we, I don't think we did it. See, look, barely did anything at all. Oh my god, bro. I would hold off, it's about to cast it again. Ah, oh, darn. Ah, oh, oh, zoinks. Just get flattened? I guess so, yeah. You just got your pizza fucked. Yeah, I'm like, I kind of don't know what they wanted me to do. They're like, kill it in 40 seconds. I'm like, no. Huh? The demon brothers have arrived with your pizza? Yep. I might recommend not doing this on, four, on like eight times speed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can just skip that. There we go. Ah. 
Uh, let's see what I can do here. Also, just leave. You can run through the door. Yeah, you can just walk away. Close your eyes. Okay. <sighs> Fight or run. We better decide fast. Oh, that's what they mean. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll leave. Oh, oh no, it's about to milk me. The world comes. We must be quick. Together we can bring it down. Alright, let me fix your statuses real quick. Get that. Stop moving for a bit. Yeah, this at least gives damage, huh? Iceland isn't a real place. Don't look at a map. No. Got a surprise for you. Let me take a look at the edits here. Sure. Oh, these are awful. <laughs> well, first we have Scrunt. Okay, that sure is a Scrunt. Uh, this one's Jordan. I want you. Oh. Yeah. Which means this is Mittens. I see. That thing's dead. Uh, this is me and Alto's Professor Layton and Luke. We received that today. That's beautiful. Uh, this is apparently some... That one there's a... Uh, can't find the layer for it, but it's some loop on thing. This is done by Cat. This is Vaughn. As if uh, he was a who from Whoville. Why did... Okay. No, not that I, I don't have an answer on that one either. Uh, I got... I got, I, I got... I got nothing. He just said he if we hit nothing. our goal that they would draw that, and they did. 
Good for her. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Well, you got nothing? it's funny because I, 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 I was looking at that, like mm -hmm. when she drew it, I saw that one, and I was like, there's no way anybody thought of this that wasn't her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right before you posted uh, Nansk Fan's Dinner, right above, of course, is uh, Jordan posting a picture of a guy that uh, he was sent saying that he was in Scream 6. So shout out to Jordan. Glad you got into the new Scream movie. Yeah. I didn't want to fight him too much, but I don't think those Incredible. dudes' lips were big enough. Wounds me to I love on. how uh, so Jordan place. earlier was explaining how he had a uh, random encounter help, with a homeless man in nothing. L.A. Is this not so? Yeah? <sighs> he thinks ever and always on his own profit. Assure him of it and he shall remain true to our cause. What was his encounter? I do not share your majesty's trust. We will continue this later. Uh, yeah. some, now we should concern some ourselves with finding the dawn show. Some dude with 2x4 or something? <laughs> yes! It was probably fine. Yeah. All he wanted was his jack in the box. It sleeps in waiting somewhere deep within. How can you be certain? I can hear its call. I think yours probably not that bad. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Jordan's a little he's guy, so he's like always five. scared. Yeah. You know, it's his first time to the big city. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's really funny. Apparently there's a uh, a Fall Guys ripoff that's actually getting real sponsorships from it. That's I funny. saw that. Why? They're like, we're adding rabbits to Stumble Guys. <laughs> I mean, aren't you excited for Stumble Guys? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. We cannot defeat this wall in combat. Ubisoft be that desperate, huh? I don't think so, no. I think they just received an offer, you know? I don't know if it's that yeah. big a deal. Could do a collab with Stumble Guys. I'm more surprised anybody wants rabbits. <laughs> Ubisoft goes, do you want the rabbits? We got that. <laughs> they're like, boy, I've been waiting. I'm like, really? Alright. Who the fuck wants rabbits? Some people do, it's crazy. Never give the rabbits murder of Rayman. Nah, I didn't kill Rayman. Ubisoft did that. Don't worry about it. Yeah. That yeah. is fair. They didn't do that. The minions made didn't two kill great Gru. games. Yep. Yeah, they made two great Rayman 2D platformers, and then they're like, we are going to make five sequels to these, mobile only. Yeah. It's what you wanted.
Wait. Mobile only? Yeah, they're endless runners. Well, not endless runners, they're auto runners. It's kind of like uh, Super Mario... Uh... Run? Yeah, I, I actually forgot if that was actually its name. <laughs> yeah, it was Super Mario Run. Yeah, basically like that, but Rayman uh, Origins Legends uh, art style. I didn't even know those existed at all. There's a number of them. Yeah. I think one of them is exclusive to Apple Arcade now. Oh, wouldn't, cool. Wouldn't shock me. Oh, everyone's missing out. Yeah. I need Sakaguchi to not be <laughs> fucking pulling my chain. That game needs to get ported to PC so people can finally fucking see the vision. And I can actually- The, the killer apps for uh, Apple Arcade. Fantasian and some Rayman shit. Can't even say that one Shantae game because it escaped the arcade. Uh, what was the name of that one, uh, fucking... Yu Suzuki game? Oh, what, the weird, like, space harrier thing, or...? Yeah, with the legally distinct... Well, not even legally distinct. Uh, I cannot believe that this is not fucking clean. Yeah. Yeah, that was... They got some really great stuff on there. They got that, too. I like the Temptation main character design. Yeah, I figured. That's probably the least surprising thing I've heard. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. Crazy. But yeah, don't get me wrong, Chad. I'm not saying those Rayman mobile games are bad. I'm just saying I do not really care to play games on my smartphone. I, I, I just don't care for Persona 5. Ooh, Gil. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's right. Apparently, uh... Linus Tech Tips oh, no. uh, got oh, filtered oh by gosh. Fantasian because uh, they uh, got really mad at a boss fight in that game, at that RPG actually being hard. Oh. And so they thought, so they made a big stink saying, well, this is a mobile game, so obviously they, since it's a subscription only, it's designed, so it's like, well, you need to grind. It's like, no, you can't grind in that game. It's a type of RPG where you can't grind, you just have to get good. He's like, it's about, a, it's about a grand scheme and not that it's just a fucking RPG. <laughs> yeah. That game is, like, legitimately one of the hardest RPGs I've played in the last, like, ten years. That's neat. Like, everyone I know who's played that game says, why the fuck it have hands? I think... I think Momoka played that game. I don't remember her saying much about it, though. <laughs> It'll be great once that game's actually real and I can uh, point out. Yeah, uh, RPG site gave it our uh, RPG of the year uh, 2021. You should play it. It's very good. Instead of now, where it's like you can play it out of the back of a van. That just reminds me of those, like, gamer trucks that you could like uh rent for like, i'm sorry the, the, just the saying day. gamer truck really is awesome yeah they used to have those come to our school for like blood drives and stuff sometimes i never actually got to try out one of those even though i always wanted to at, when i was younger and now um, the, yeah. there, there used to also be in and out trucks um so they'd have that and an in and out truck and that went fucking crazy Ah, uh, yes. The indoctrination. Oh no, I've been hit with the status effect oil. Is there like a, uh, is there an item that just says shower on it? Like, there it is. Handkerchief. That's our answer. Well. Wait, has, hmm. has anyone forced Jordan to eat in and out yet? I don't I don't. Know. Th I don't think they've had it yet. You might have to be the person to make it happen. Well, well, I said I would. I said I'd make them. Uh, I'd make Vince and uh, Nim spam Musabi. Um, 
Well, I'll be over there for like a few days probably, so we can get in and out at some point. There's like yeah. one right across the street from them. It's just at a kind of scary corner. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, I do need I do need his yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't just not. Yeah. Like, come on. I'll probably be free this weekend too to hang out. Yeah, because we're doing. Um... I'll try to make myself available. <laughs> yeah, you wanna you wanna come through? I'll I'll see what I can do. Yeah, come down to Cali. Yeah, I'll see what I can figure out. Stream goal for a plane ticket. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. In and out is good money to flavor ratio. Yeah, that's about right. That's yeah. good. You can really tell if somebody's been properly indoctrinated with In and Out if they uh, defend the fries or not. I've been indoctrinated. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. The, the the fries are a special case. The fries are like, did you eat these within ten minutes of you of these being made? Yes, no. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing with me is, is that they work really good as a palate cleanser. Yeah. Also, you gotta dip them in the shake. You get a chocolate or vanilla shake, you dip the fries in there. Yeah. Mm, perfect. So, like, five guys where you spend, like, 40 bucks. I... Oh, I guess in a group, yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't think I've ever gone to a place where I sell I alone. Drop $40. Whatever, KFC has a fucking sandwich out that's 11 bucks. We live in hell. I regret buying that. <laughs> I I almost got the combo. I saw it was 13 bucks. I was like, uh, I'll just get the sandwich on some. They said, oh yeah, that'll be $11. It's like, I should have got the <laughs> drink and fucking fries. Yeah. I think that you might have had the worst experience of any of us, KZ. Um, <laughs> yeah, they fucked my, my KFC, shit up so bad. <laughs> my KFC fucked up, fucked it up, but in a way that actually made it a more edible experience. Oh yeah. Uh, the cheese was not melted when I when I had it. That actually sounds fine. Yeah. No, it was better. Like. Mine, it felt like they got five bad. pieces of cheese and then just melted all of them. So it was just like trying to escape the fucking cheese well, vat and question. rescue it out of the package. My, my, I'm, my assuming, head... I'm assuming, KZ, that you got yours like DoorDash or something? Yes. Okay, that might explain the discrepancy that I've run into with people. Mm. Uh, I got mine fresh at an actual KFC. Like, there's literally a KFC a block away from my apartment. In so its defense, it was fresh. Like, I picked up the packaging and went, this is hot. <laughs> well, okay, no, that's so the thing. It's, it, it's like an insulated bag. It's going to stay hot. But since oh, it's yeah. sitting in there for a bit. Oh, versus... yeah. That would have melted the cheese. Yeah, it, it, gave it, it gave it enough time to make it a, a bag of goo with three pieces of chicken in it. One big one, two baby ones. So my experience was the opposite of your guys's because um, I had the um, fun little oh, experience of um, um, they basically just didn't put like any like like they barely put any cheese sauce or bacon on mine mm. so it kind of just felt like i was just literally eating two chicken tenders it was awful like yeah, it, yeah. Cheese sauce. Either... there is no cheese sauce it's supposed no, no, to no. be the two slices of cheese no no they're mayo. they they yeah the mayo is their sauce for that yeah no no i say i was saying cheese or sauce uh, yeah, yeah, I heard, I heard um, the ore sauce. I got it. They, yeah, there, there was like one slice of cheese um, that was melted to shit, um, the, and then like, um, not very much sauce. I went for the spicy one, um, and so there wasn't a lot of that sauce. There was like one piece of bacon, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and, so and basically, up. I'm I'm sitting there eating this, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I sure am eating two fucking chicken breasts. Was this worth eleven dollars? <laughs> Was this worth the money I paid for this? Probably not. Yeah, no, this, this that's like this sucked ass. 
I guess I meant to go backwards, chat. I, I had nowhere to go past that. I activated all the thingies, though. Fucking hate those demon brothers. It's eleven dollars, yes. Inflation's really been out of control lately. Yeah. True. It hasn't been great. Okay, nothing with the uh... I like how I know nothing about in and out aside from Alto's tweet. Where I don't even think he's had it, he just says it tastes like cum. Is that a negative or a positive review from Alto? I don't know. The original post was in and out uh, tastes like how the Rainbow Dash cum jar feels. I, I don't think that that's true. Uh, yeah, I also think that's probably inaccurate. And that they, in fact, be saying shit. Um. Yeah, that's something. Yep. Yeah, I'm like, they got issues. Get this thing here first. Joe Biden needs to get the double down down to eight bucks. If he can do that, I'll vote again. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great, chat. That's a fair trade, I think. I'm so I'm so scared. Of what? I'm just I'm just another election where he's talking. <clears throat> I don't think I'm, I don't think um... I'm mentally prepared for Joe Biden random awkward speeches again, <laughs> like every day. <laughs> He's been kind of spitting lately. Um, True, a little bit. Yeah, the moment, fuck, that, that fucking white boy moment. <laughs> definitely has moments where he wakes up and it's like, oh shit, there's still something in there. Yeah, they, yeah. there's there's part no. of a dog in here. No, he's been surprisingly lucid lately. Yeah. yeah. Is this like the 18th wind? I was going to say second wind, but I'm like, nah, you're way too old for that. You know, I stopped paying attention to news chat. Did Mitch McConnell die? I wish. Uh, he was hospitalized. I haven't oh. heard anything since. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw it. On, I saw it on the trending, hmm. and I checked a couple times, and they kind of stopped. Um. I just remember there was like one shot of like this is probably like a year ago where someone just took a picture of his hands and they're turning black and I'm like, what the fuck happens when you get old? 
Yeah, he's at that age of like, dude, you're you're a fucking corpse. Like, you're like, already decomposing, dude. Like I did not know that happens. <laughs> I was like scared. Okay, yeah, there no. literally hasn't been any news since then, so I I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, I know that that's what... like. Mm. It's it, it's worth noting that I think politicians start decomposing at a faster rate than most demons because like the yeah. only time that I've I've seen like that start happening with like normal fucking humans is like my when my grandmother was like ninety four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Politicians have to spend more time being evil so they build up more dark Jedi juice. Well, isn't McConnell like ninety something? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. Back check time, let's see what we got. No, he's only 81. <laughs> only. <laughs> only 81. Oh, thank goodness. He looks like he, he's he's uh, not a day under 100. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you only seen pictures of him in the last, like, year or so? He really looks like his flesh is just melting off the bone. Yeah, yeah, he looks like, he looks Hopefully like, you know, he looks like, like a plastic bag where the, like, the fucking handles are about to pop off and everything's gonna fall out. Oh, that hurt. Obamna. Obamna. Chad, I fear I am not intelligent. I have no idea where I'm going. Give it a good shot. I don't know how to go forward from here. On the off miracle someone in chat could tell me, that'd be great. I can go back and heal while I'm on the way. There was another path that was open? Oh. Sometimes I just gotta ask, uh... Chat to fucking backseat me where I'm like, I don't know where this shit is. I'm, I'm like, look, this shit's separated. I'm like, uh, because these two things just lead back to the center part that I'm in. I haven't explored that one cube. That's about it. I'm going to go back and at least I, get heals. When I was, like, doing a Dark Souls 3 randomizer the whole time, I'm like, I don't even remember how this game goes normally. You're, <laughs> you're like, I forgot about the Deacons of the Deep. Yeah. Hmm. I will say I hope that there's like I, I need to go back into that randomizer and see what like tweaks for it exist because uh that randomizer what was like way too nice and balanced and normal mm. like it, it th that that randomizer is literally just balanced and I don't know like it's it's cool but it's like I don't know what the appeal of that is I'm not running into um I'm not running into uh uh Manus five times in a playthrough. I guess the um, I guess it all depends on how it works in like repeatable yeah, runs. So, yeah. So well, so the thing that I noticed with it for the Dark Souls three randomizer is that yeah. by default now now I need to go and see if there's settings that can be changed, but I don't remember what was even in there. Um, by default, um, I guess the issue that I have with it is like it's less of a randomizer and more of a shuffler of like you will run if you if you do an all bosses playthrough you will run into every boss it doesn't randomize each encounter like on a one for one basis it just goes okay this boss is going to be here that's out of the pool now uh also it seems to actually like level sync the bosses which is really strange oh uh, that's funny yeah i don't have too too much experience with the uh, randomizer that like the the KH2 yeah. one, which was just everything is in the exact same place. We just randomize items and rewards. 
Yeah. So you kind of have to plan out your route of when you have the ability to do, uh, do certain things in certain areas. And you kind of work it out through that, that way. Yeah. Also, trying to navigate quest lines with the poor translation mod was fun. Oh yeah. Because I'm like, I don't, I don't know what this guy wants. He says that his wife lost his cell phone. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know who Joel is. <laughs> and everyone sounds like the fucking Captain Asshole text to speech or Captain Dickhead text to speech. Um. So, Gale just comes up and is, like, in the wrong armor, screaming. <laughs> and Gale just started talking about his dead husband. Oh, okay. That's good. That's something you can get yeah. behind. Yeah, that's a... That was... Uh, I found that there's the same mod for uh, Dark Souls 1, so I might go through with that at some point, but yeah, it's a uh, experience, alright. Mm. <clears throat> I want my randomizer to be a war crime. Yeah, I mean, the Dark Souls 1 randomizer is a fucking war crime. That thing's evil. You'll walk into the, like, the other thing, I guess, with, um how Dark Souls 3 handles bosses, or that randomizer handles bosses, is it goes, oh, uh, the Demon Brothers are a single boss. Um, as opposed to, like, the Dark Souls 1 randomizer that goes, yeah, by the, by the way, the, um, the rooftop gargoyles are going to be Seath and Manus. Have fun. Mm. Yes! Dark Souls randomizer sounds like literal karmic punishment. It can be. It's it's a special little time. Yeah, I guess I'll go down here. Since mm -hmm. chat said something was lowered, and that tells me about basically nothing. I do love being able to just pull up the big fucking map of, like, <clears throat> this game is, um, at least like this version, yep. it has just so many, like, quality of life. It is so aware of what the game is and, like, compensates you so much for that, of, like, yeah. we're not gonna bullshit you. This is the game you're playing, you're going to need all of this. Near the waystone in this room, okay. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm only on double speed, I could switch it to four, but this is... Yeah. Yeah. Which double speed um, originally was like in the original game as a debug option for when they were trying to test the game. And they just yeah, did they just, not decide to. Uh... Yeah, they didn't yeah, give it I, to people I... until the international version. And then they mm -hmm. made a four times speed for the remaster. Funny mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. skill. Um, yeah, like, I went through the game, um, I went through, like, the first, like, little bit of this game on, yep. like, normal speed, and then was like, I can't fucking do this. <laughs> Alright, near the, near the pedestal. Let's see. Near the place. I activated that. This will just take me back. But yeah, it's, um... I don't know. I'm I'm glad that this game gets better recognition these days. You keep looking at it, looking um, at looking at what? You mean this? Because we've like used. I'm pretty sure we've used this and it didn't do anything. I will stand here calmly, as chat works me works me there. To the left. To the left of it. So down down here. Oh, it's not marked on the map. Oh, on the big map me. there. That's why. Yeah, like I think over Forgive the me, chat, it was a secret. 
people have come to appreciate this game a little more, I think. Because back when I was, you know, I didn't really start playing most, like, any Final Fantasy games until, like, my 20s. Yeah. Um, outside of the 13 trilogy. But, um... I... Fog? Underground? This game was just never brought up. I would I'd Not talk fog. to my friends, and they would Mist. be like, Oh yeah, 8 sucks, uh, 7 is really good. Eyes. Where to We're not gonna talk me. about anything before that. Also, twelve doesn't exist, and I'm like, I feel like I feel like you're picking from a very small so, pool of video games here. Yeah. Uh, do you like the series? Yes, but it is also an eight. Do you actually like this series? Because it doesn't sound like you do. I know many people that identify as Final I'll Fantasy fans mind. that complained about every new release and go, "What was what was the last good one? Uh, the one in uh, 1999." <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, good. I'm I'm glad. Yeah, well, I'm glad you've thought this franchise has sucked shit for I, most of your life and are still like, I'm when, still down. <laughs> when, 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 when people go, yeah, no, there hasn't been a good one since like... Nine? Ten. ten. I mean, I... Ten, even like ten, I'm like, I think you're being a little unfair. Yeah, I see a lot of people that are, that are like, no, I don't like ten, you know, because that dude's gay. He laughs. Yeah, that... Oh, that... Uh, it's not dark and edgy and serious enough for me. I love you don't get the uh, people that say, oh, the uh, MMOs don't count, they're not real Final Fantasies, when um, the whole reason Eleven is called Eleven is because of Sakaguchi. And he's currently uh, absolutely addicted to Fourteen, with, uh, by his own admission, has prevented him from playing other games. Um, yep. I mean, I understand why people, like, I, I think that those do count. I do understand why people, like, I do think people are a little too pushy on those games and being like, oh, well, why don't you want to give it a chance? I'm like, because it's still an MMO. It's it's oh, an yeah. MMO. Oh, yeah. At, yeah, at yeah, day, I get you, it. You, you shouldn't be playing this if you don't want to, if, if you don't want to play an MMO and you're not, like, really committed to playing every Final Fantasy release. Yeah, I get it. It's if, the if, people if, that if, announce it's not a real thing, is I feel like the core of it, where it's like, oh, yeah. you're just being, you're being overly annoying about it, where it's like, I'm not going to, like, fuck you. Come yeah, on. Go, go, yeah, yeah, going like, oh, I don't, th this isn't real. Like, like that, that's lame, but also going, uh, I think it's fucked up that there's Final Fantasy fans who won't give this a chance, and it's like, no, they just don't want to play an MMO. That's fine. People don't, half the fucking population of the Earth plays this fucking game. You don't need everyone. Yeah, no, I wasn't trying to say that. I was just oh, no, 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 I know. There is just, like, I have seen that take around quite a few times, and I'm like, I think you're just kind of insecure. Yeah, you don't really see that from 11 players, because they know that they're, uh... Yeah, there's oh, five of them. It's oh, five, yeah, 11 It's players. five of them, they're 90 years old, and I don't care about them. Yeah, I, I have, like, I have, like, a, a few, like, super Zoomer friends who are, like, into 11, and I'm like, what the fuck's That's cooking so over? Nice. You care about this? <laughs> they're Good like, I also you. love Floyd and Bros. <laughs> I'm like, good for you. You, um, you like this game. Um, I actually like parts of Eleven. That game's like impenetrable, though. Like, without oh, a yeah. wiki. That, oh, yeah, that, that, that is a, that is a have a wiki up game. Cause that game, like, while it was, you know, heavily populated, they were like, yeah, go ask other players for help. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's fucked up. The best way to describe how Final Fantasy Eleven was designed is it was a game where it's like. You know how kids would, like, exchange rumors on the playground? Uh, the city-states are the playground, you are the kids. Yeah, no, no, the entire point is that, like, for, for the general quest design of that game, it would go, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, here's the objective, and you're like, where do I go? It's like, not telling you that. It's like, oh, okay, well, how do I get that? I'm not telling you that. Then I won't play your is game. There, is there a map for that? Or I'm not telling you that. And if, even um, if there is a map, it is, like, designed where it's, like, in, like, the game itself, the person that wrote the, like, drew these maps, uh, he fucked shit up. Like, sometimes he made mistakes or he missed something. Oh, yeah. Um, but, but, yeah, there's, um, that's kind of the, the, that's why, like, in, in Eureka, they have that whole thing of, we're not going to tell you where to go for this quest objective. Um, they did not. Specifically to go to off of eleven of go talk to other players. They'll tell you where to go. I should play Eureka. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it would go hard. Eureka's pretty My good. My family tells it's a okay. story of the dynast king and an esper. 
The story goes that in his youth, the Dynast King defeated a mighty Gigas, for which the gods took heed of him. Thereafter, it was ever bound to him and thralled him. So, I all think this I'm... time it's been here guarding the Dynast mm. King's treasure? I'm just gonna let them talk. Uh, Not okay. so. The Esper is the Dynast King's treasure. You're like, I'll let them cook. That's your treasure? I'll let them cook. In this Esper we now command rests a power whose worth is beyond any measure. It's big. Is that so? Call me old fashioned, but I was hoping for a treasure whose worth we could measure. You know, when we watched uh, a bunch of YouTube countdown community videos recently. Uh, I got to be reminded what it was like uh, being in the early, uh, the late aughts and into the early 2010s when they're like, worst video game character of all time, and it was like, Tidus. <laughs> yeah, I never really got that. Um, I do think it's funny how, like, <laughs> over the years, um, I, I, I will say, um, as someone who hasn't finished 8, I'm extremely glad that um, people got over them fu their their fucking selves about that game. Yeah. Because um, that, but again, back when I was first learning about Final Fantasy, it's like a nine is god, a seven is also god, eight is gay and stupid. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Be thank thanks to that Spoony review. Um. Because he literally yeah, just no, go like, he just goes gay 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 over the fucking intro song in that review, and you're like. This is what people consider one of the best online creators of all time. Yeah, no, it's 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 really bizarre going back to, um, especially like remembering you know a lot of conversations I had back in like the 2010s and stuff, where I kind of look back and I'm like, what's wrong? All of this was just you regurgitating the Your worst, majesty. the like least go. informed guy in the world. Yes. Which, yeah. All which of in turn this... was just regurgitating fucking Adam Sessler. Yeah, but it, 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 it was always... It, Without it was the always cocaine. Like, it was always like, oh, I'm just going to regurgitate the, the... Which is why, you know, whenever I talk about 13 and people get annoyed, I'm like, I don't think that you understand that I'm not ta saying that you can't dislike this game. I don't even think it's a great game. I can tell because um, I think one, t I, one time I think Pat did start getting mad. <laughs> No, no, yeah, no, Pat started getting mad. I'm like, I need to, I, 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 I'm like, I'm like, I need to draw the distinction here for you. I'm not saying that you can't dislike this game. I'm saying that 90% of people who talk about this game don't know what this game is and have yeah. never even seen actual gameplay of this game and are just talking out of their ass off of opinions from either a, a you know fucking video game donkey tier review of it or, um, it's really funny. It's really funny because, um, his his old content and their like one off videos also contributed to people being annoying about those games. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm like you're apt. I I I I was sitting there and we um, ain't forget about was... the lightning returns video, Pat. <laughs> no no no, because Pat was like in there and I'm like I know your ass. I I know your ass is mad about this because I'm right. Be because <laughs> you were also wrong about these games. <laughs> He made a real big deal out of the Destiny is Destiny line in Lightning Returns. I, 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 they also again, did a, like, they the... did, um, before I forget, they did a video of Type Zero when it came out. And because that was still yeah. in the Fabula Nova Crystals thing they wanted to do, there are Lassie in it. As soon as they said Lassie once, he screamed dramatically, no, the game's ruined. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I, I don't know, people like, for some reason, couldn't not be babies about those games. I can't figure it out. It's like going back to it. It's like those games are at worst like a seven out of ten most of the time. Yeah, no, those games are like at, just, at worst like a mediocre that. RPG. But it's yeah. like no, this, this this it hit my dog. It was doing different stuff. <clears throat> it was seventh gen. Japanese games weren't doing well. Every form of media told you that you should hate them. There was a lot going on at the time. Yeah. People kind of got people kind of got conditioned to think emotions are gay. Guys don't cry, uh, and Japanese oh. shit somehow isn't cool. Um, to be like like the the concession I'll give is half the writing in, in original thirteen is fucking terrible. Like, I I think it's one of those things where a lot of it we'll doesn't see. translate well. We'll see. I'll be playing well. through it again soon. Um, yeah, there's a few lines in that game that made me want to rip my hair out. Um, I, that's fine. Every game has some form of bad line in it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
but overall, I... They're fine. Yeah. I'm... Oh, so, um, so you're gonna be, I'm guessing, playing through those on Xbox, because that's, like, the version yeah, of those. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm right? just gonna, I'm just gonna do back compat for those three, yeah. So, I have noticed, I don't know if it was fixed. There was a, there's a really fucking weird... Now, hmm. like, 13.2, the, you know, back compat version, like, all around, like, fucking fantastic, right? Mm-hmm. It, um, you know, all, the battles load instantly. It, it's, it's like how that game should you have played. Yeah, or, like, yeah. should have that felt when it came out. Um, one bizarre issue is sometimes you you'll just some hit, like, offense. the scariest slowdown for, like, remorse. five minutes that you, like, cannot get now, out of. And I don't know why it happens or how. I think that only happens in one zone, and I can't figure out what triggers it. It really sucks that I'm like, that's awesome. Um... Yeah, it doesn't happen with the original, with 13. It doesn't happen with Lightning Returns. It only happens with 13 too, and I cannot figure out what the trigger for it is. I'm just imagining the part where I just have a clip of me laughing at it when it's happening. Majesty, he you won't, you'll be, you'll be mad because it'll slow down. It'll get like, it'll be running at like 5% speed, okay? Oh, that's funny as, that's funny as shit. We somehow, we somehow start bugging out FF10 on a normal PS2. We're walking through as a ball at one frame a second. We're like, what's happening? It's so slow. Why is it happening? Why is it only when he's in the desert and when he's attacking birds? And the kingdom of Dalmasca will be restored. But overall, those ports are uh, very good. Yeah, they're good, and they're not the PC versions that I would have to do something to. Um, I think, like, the PC version of the original 13 is, like, okay? Um, and then, yeah, Lightning Returns, I remember getting, uh, this PC that I have when it was new, and being like, wow, I want to replay Lightning Returns, I'll buy that for, like, $10. And um, then being like, why does this run control. worse than it did on the 360 well, on my brand new, point. like, high-end PC? <laughs> yeah. You have my egg. Hmm. I also did find that uh, Asura's Wrath to is on back. The of the King yep. were dead uh, yeah. Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What also, it's on say? sale right now. If there's one game that Future I was told by content creators is evil. not cool in any way, it was Osiris Wrath from the best friend. Wait, what? Oh no, they were they were especially haters of that, especially Matt. How? They're Wait, like, how no, did they're Matt like. I want you to. Assume. Yeah, I know it's it's fucking did crazy. I, that we I feel like if they testing. played that game now, they I would feel different. I, it, that's insane, Matt is still like... making fun of that game. <laughs> I I it's don't so know good. how I don't know how because like when I think of people who would dick ride that game, the two <laughs> people that come to mind, the two people that come to mind are Matt and Wooly. Those are the two people in my mind that would dick ride that game harder than anything else in the world because like outside outside of the fucking um the DLC shenanigans, which uh by the way are all on sale um yeah. for like a dollar um. Yeah. I I don't know how you did like I don't I yeah, don't I, even I'm not yeah. even that into like Meathead Shonen and that's fuck it, that game's fucking insane. We need to get when Vince to play us for his wrath. Um, I I think I I can I can Empire. let Vince borrow the Xbox at some point. And, uh, he will key. he will You'll love that us. game. Holy we shit! Like 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 the only the only how downside is like the the normal gameplay in that game is like fake, but that's fine. Um. Yeah, who cares? You're in it's, for the QTs and the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, the, the normal gameplay barely exists because the QTs and cutscenes are 89% of that game. Like it just It's a it's, Cyber oh. Connect 2 game. Except for Fuga, you're not in you're not in it for the for the gameplay. Yeah. People say that I still like every one of their Naruto games for their gameplay, so I don't know what they're yeah, talking no, no, about the, fucking the, the, ever. The, no, the Naruto games are like they're very basic, but they're very fun. To be clear, to be clear, um, when people say that, myself included, we're not saying their gameplay is bad. We're just saying it's the weakest. Part no, no, Alto's saying their gameplay is bad though. <laughs> No, Alto's wrong. Yeah, but I to know. To be fair, to be fair, Alto's like. Um, I feel like being a hater. No, being a hater of like those games is fine in Alto's case because Alto's like sitting there going, "Give me more of the Cyber Connect 2 shit I want," because they're like insane. Um, 
Which, you know, good good for Alto. Uh, they are making that stuff now. Yeah, they are, so it's like, shut up. Um, the, I, I adore, you know, when um, Fuga 2 didn't do too well, and their CEO's like, well, we're still making Fuga 2, I don't care. It's like, we can still, we can still get through it. You know, um... Yeah. We're gonna keep making these, sorry. Bitch angry. I think that dude's just dead. What's wrong yeah. with her? I always knew Fran didn't take uh, well to be you know what? Mm. I just never knew how mm. much. How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. Hmm? No father. I heard you say you know what. I thought that was gonna bring No, 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 no. You you said you know what, and then you cut yourself off and never spoke again. Ah, oh, okay, sorry. Minor stroke. You know that thing in, uh, you know that tweet that keeps going around how this needs to end because there's yellow paint on barrels in Resident Evil 4? Yeah. I'm, re I'm a really big fan of this edit someone made. Oh, no. I need Le to Leon, this. come here quick. <laughs> this is so fucked up. That's so fucked. I'm but so, yeah. I, I feel terrible for laughing, but holy shit, that's hilarious. Um... No, I think I think bash. overall I'm glad people are more positive about a you lot of these like leads. games. I do know. Uh, yeah, uh, over the over general. the years they've done something different. They played them. Just, just, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's the only uh, request I have people for people to like. If you're gonna talk about 13, don't you don't even have to play it, but like watch someone play it or something. Just just know what that game is at the least, and not be. You know, being shown it by the most incompetent person in the world. I'm like, no, no, play it. No, you still need to yeah, play no. it. Yeah, no. Because enough I, people I, were the watch it, they'll just, you know. I yeah, feel no, because like... the person won't know how to play that game. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm like, no, nah, I need, need you to uh, put, put it in your hands. Yeah, like, just, that that was always my take on it. Because I, I picked up those games always hearing that they were, you know... A fucking war crime when I was in my teens, and so I picked it up because I found it in a bargain bin for like ten dollars. I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a try. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is fine. And you're like, yeah, this is cool fine. because I don't care about world maps. Yeah, and then I played 13 too, and I was like, oh, this is sick. Um, I don't know. There, there's also been a lot of that, like, oh, what went wrong with JRPGs in the seventh gen? It's like, I think that I think the seventh gen had some of the most creative JRPGs. <laughs> um, there, what there was. was that, what was that one fucking like JRPG that was all about like determining the angle of like a uh, like gun? Resonance of shit? Fate. Yeah, Resonance that game's sick. Fate. Yeah, the one that, where you bust out good. the protractor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, uh, but no, it, it was a yeah. it was a pretty rough thing. If you didn't have a portable system, you didn't get really that much. Uh, shout um, out to uh, Final Fantasy uh, 16's director's uh, previous project, The Last Remnant. Yeah. I was about to bring up The Last Remnant. That game is uh, that game's cool. I like that game. Um, that, I do um, love saga titles. I didn't. Oh yeah. No, I I just picked that up like on a whim. Because there's on sale for like five bucks on PC once. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll play this random Square Enix game. I remember um, it was, that was like one of like in the before times, before like RPGs actually started like. Well, well, I'll say JRPGs because you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Before those actually got supported on PC, it was like that. Yeah, Alpha that one. Titles like... and Last Remnant. That was basically fucking it. <laughs> Yeah, Last yeah. Remnant was kind of a weird outlier where I'm like, oh, there's like a Square Enix RPG on PC, huh? What's going on here? Um, You're like, I don't... They're like, you don't go here, what's up? What is lost? Um, really, the also, you know, on the Type-0 thing, uh, the only crime that Type-0 mainly commits is that motion blur. Yeah. That's only a problem with the HD version, which is worse than the PSP version. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. Yeah, I don't know. Well, well, here, here's the problem is, I don't have a frame of reference for that PSP version, because as far as I'm concerned, that doesn't exist. 
Um, There's a fan translation. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a funny. swear jar, and it's about talking about Type Zero, and the only thing you talk about is the motion blur. Oh no, it's fine. It has other things like um, uh, things that they just brought back for Baja and the default 14 hairstyles. Yeah. I liked I, I liked playing 14 and going. Oh, they're just slowly putting every type zero hairstyle in this game. Look on what my yeah. taste has wrought. No, like Did I I, I went quick? back to that game like a while back and just went wait wait a minute every character in this game just has 14. <laughs> I can serve her no more. You must take up my charge. Quite chilly over here. Oh, must be nice. It's like it's like 46. Oh man, everything's on fire. This might get a little dicey. Mist. It manifests now. Is that what you call this? I need, to, I need to actually sit my ass down and play Dragon's Dogger one day. What's that? I also need to do that so my only frame of reference isn't the Netflix anime. Oh, I'm oh sorry God. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> that, I mean, it's, it's, it's up there in worst pieces of media I've ever seen. I've only seen, like... I, I think I saw, like, a short video on it, and I'm like, oh, how did they, how did they fuck whatever... That, First of all, why did you the make this? Um, second of all, how did you fuck it up? Um, I think it's the part where it's every single episode is named after one of the deadly sins. And, to and toward the second half, they had no idea how to make it about that, so they're like, uh, and then a bad ending happened. Uh, uh, everyone died. Yeah, they're, they're, it's one of those things where it's like everything worked out, but someone's gonna need to become a sociopath and kill someone in the last three minutes before the credits hit. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, the last episode made me want to kill myself, and they're like, all of these things meant sins, I'm smart. I'm like, shut up, oh, Jesus Christ. My error um, announcing her suicide oh will god be known yeah i uh, for the great detriment of my I, I, to I a resistance refuse to touch that um in the, such circumstance as the, the game Ashlyn is like found herself, even i'm sure it's good Almaster i have restored, tried to start that game three different times only to invite the empire's wrath um i i'm sure if i got further in it would be great as ever that the game is like surface level fucking impenetrable. It's also one of those games that does the really silly thing with mm. Dark Arisen, where it goes, um, you know, you start the game, you get out of like the, the very beginning, and it goes, here's a quest for you. It's called Dark Arisen. And you're like, I wonder what that is. And it's like, yeah, go get on this boat and go to the super end game area. Oh. Like, oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Um, also, the beginning of that game is especially rough if you play as a female character. Oh no. Uh, um, because um, the, um, the ogres will just grab you and start running away with you. And there's not much you can do. That's too bad. Uh, do not ma do not have a party full of female NPCs. It will be a nightmare. Yeah, don't worry. I probably I probably won't play Dragon's Dawn. I've looked at gameplay of that when I'm good. Such a time comes as I, I remember, um, so before I was aware of, you know, this game's uh, cult status invade? online, uh, um, when I was in Had high school, uh, my friend so Bryce, who um, I not have not spoken to in a long time, but he, th this guy, like, 
he he was the epitome of that like seventh gen i hate everything japanese guy right um but but he's like i hate like things that are distinctly you, you know in quotes distinctly japanese he loved dark souls he loved all that stuff he just didn't like it when he was aware that it came with japanese yeah um mm -hmm. if that makes sense oh yeah it does um, between <laughs> my and so one day he's like He's like, hey, I want, you know... <laughs> I, I hate to say uh, it. I hate to say it. But saying, I don't want to be made aware that it's Japanese has that same energy of... Sure, you can be LGBT, but don't make it your personality. No, no, no. It's exactly that. It's like, oh, well, Dark Souls is different because I because it, 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 it's more Western. And I'm like, I think you should grow up. Um, but like that kind of shit of like, oh, this thing's making a, an attempt to be more Western. So I respect it. And it's like, I, I think you should die. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so this guy, um, Rice, he, he goes, oh, yeah. So um, I have like a new favorite video game ever. And I'm like, OK. And he's like. Yeah, um, I'll, uh, I want you to play it, so I'll, like, leave it in your locker, and you can play it after school. And I get home, you know, I pick it up, I see the Dragon's Dogma, I'm like, what the fuck is this? What is this? I still, I still, he never asked for it back, I still have this 360 copy in my room. Um, That's great. You know, so I'm like, okay, well, whatever, I'll give it a try. Um, I put it into the Xbox, you know, we get to the title screen, uh, screen, just J-Rock starts blasting with a big dragon over a hill. I'm like, what the, what was I given? The wind is pushing you right now. Yeah, I'm like, okay, what, what, what have I been handed? And then I start playing the game and it's like, I, I think the point where like I started going, am, am I being tricked is when I'm just like, you know, it's like protect a caravan and I realize I can just climb on the cows. That are or like the bulls that are care like pulling this, and I'm like, why can't I just climb and like climb all over these fucking cows? Um, and then I never really played it again because I'm like, what the fuck was what what for a guy who's like I hate anything distinctly Japanese, and then hands me Dragon's Dogma, and I'm like, this is incomprehensible. <laughs> that dude's dead now. Which dude? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Which guy? <laughs> Six when I get there. <laughs> so, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff destructive power of such force i've seen it once before lady ash you know of what i speak Nabudis. the capital of old nebradia lord rassler's fatherland at the time of the invasion a division of imperials entered the city there was a mighty explosion friend and mm. foe died alike mm. something was there one of the dynast king's relics mm. the midlight shard was in nebradia well, no you know, as I'm listening to this, I was watching a video that was like going through a challenge on this game, and I, and I know most of this game, so it was not a big deal. And they get to the part where the game talks about manufactured nethocyte, and then it goes, I like this game, but look at them just making up words. I'm like, yes, that's how fiction works. How, how are these fuckers still doing this? Most likely the midlight shard, too. Um, I love it when people get really mad at, like that, uh, again, well. going back then to 13, people get really clear. mad when we'll they hear the Lucian. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's... all these games have, like, a glossary, right? You know, you can yes. go and read what these words mean Nor in case you're confused, done. and they have really yeah. good entries. Um, There's, like, a genre yeah, of people that get so insecure and upset when fake well, terms like come up, and I'm like, you're the reason that Halo's terminology sucks ass. It's, it's like when, it, I mean, it happens a lot for Kingdom Hearts, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but it, well, I feel like, like it, it hits all the series. No one fucking plays the Tales of franchise, so they don't get as mad at it. Even know how to but that, no, everyone who plays the yeah. Tales of franchise, I feel like, is pretty tolerable towards that stuff. Because if you weren't, you would just... Yeah. Be good, like, like, like every, every Tales there. fan likes anime, so they get it. Yeah. Um, They're like, Blastia, sure, whatever the hell that is. And you, yeah, it's and, like, and you okay, just get well, in there. You, you have given me a... Well, Blastia is really easy as well, because you're like, oh, yeah. it's Materia. 
Yeah, I was just, I was just trying, I was just trying to make up. I was like, what is a tails term? Should we declare Damasca free? Yeah, well, it's one of those things where it's like all of this has like equivalents that you can just equate it to, and it makes sense, you know. Yeah. Um, I. No, I'm thinking. Of, I, I, I'm back to thinking exactly about this, this same guy, the Dragon Dogma guy. Um, where... <laughs> the random no, no, racist no, 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 guy you knew. Uh, yeah. Um. So he. Um. He did this thing. This? That um, drove me fucking nuts. Where like he he no was one's forcing this you. specific type of like like you know he was like he would just say he hated Japanese things. He would just say that up front and like I I one day like I, I wasn't into Dark Souls, but I just looked into it and I'm like, dude, you know that that game is like I like published by a Japanese publisher made by a Japanese company that makes mecha games. And he's like, well, it doesn't feel like it, so it's I'll fine. It like, I disagree. I feel like you move like a mech in Dark Souls One. Yeah, you do. Um, you feel like it feels well like be an shit. Armored core what game. Mean uh, it's fine. It doesn't feel any better in two. Um, <laughs> people that, that uh, yeah, but in that I, one it has adaptability, angry. which makes it better. You, yeah, people that get angry. angry and try and say that like from software games aren't am uh, again just using the term for like well, for for right. posterity a JRPG really you is know. like, you, dude, dude. Well, it's like you it's good? like you it's like unfortunately you coined that term. Um, it just means it's a Japanese RPG. Like, you know, you, trying to define that is insane outside of, yeah, um, Japanese RPG. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, there, um, th this guy also as well would be so like, I hate anime. The only anime I like is Cowboy Bebop. Like, <laughs> of, like I can only tolerate this thing when it's specifically extremely Western. I, 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 I can't tolerate it if I can't pretend that it's American. I can't believe people are still doing that bit where they're like, I need to get someone into anime. Cowboy Bebop and Death Note. They always pick the same two every time. <laughs> I, 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 I don't care what people like, say death note. I understand, like, like you can make fun of the, the fact Man people do that with Cowboy Bebop, but at least it makes princess. sense. It's a really good, like, self-contained show. Oh, yeah, no, yeah I, I saw I, legions I, of people do that for Death Note, because they're like, it's realistic, it's in the real world, but has some level of fantastical yeah. elements, so it's easy to... You could you could what? see that being made in live action in the way they've made 15 live action Death Notes, so it's easy to get a normal uh. person to, like, tap in. I... Yeah, but I don't know. I I I. Yeah. Th th I mean, but yeah. Could be like me, and I tell my dad, "Hey, here's it. I know you uh, were disappointed in uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, here's an anime you might like. It's called Legend of the Galactic Heroes." <laughs> <laughs> that goes uh, hard. He binged that in a week. Um. No, like yeah. The the specific guy would just be like. Well, no, this is different. And I'm like, I think you're just being weird. <laughs> yeah, like, the people that like, go, no, I, I, this is different are the funniest people ever. Especially with anime, they're like... The amount of people I go, Dragon Ball Z is not anime. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, no, an anime-ass anime. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, you're not you're not getting out of it. But this. they're doing that when talking about One Piece. They're like, Dragon Ball is an anime. One Piece is anime. Oh, bad. It's bad. I won't watch it. A, I love I, mean, I, I love anime it. boomers so much. Oh yeah, no, but um, I I could I I wanted to strangle this guy so many times because he just. <laughs> hated it. You sounds like you he got the, you got it. the stereotype like in full force. <laughs> he was absolutely like the stereotype when it came to this kind of stuff. Where I'm, I just be like I I just wouldn't have these conversations with him because it just wasn't worth it. Um. He's also the one guy that I knew who bought Brink when it came out. <laughs> Speaking of Brink, hey Prowley, you're the only person I know who got Brink and was excited for it. <laughs> it's... Were they still excited for it after they bought it? Uh, I believe they have not uh, bought a single shooter since. <laughs> Understandable. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, this guy was very excited about it. <laughs> they had the choice between L.A. Noir and Brink and went for Brink. That's rough. Yeah, it... Yeah, it happens sometimes. <laughs> it happens... I mean, I... I. 2018 was a rough year for me. Do you want to know the two AAA... Or two full-price game releases I bought in 2018? Sure! Uh, Dynasty Warriors 9. Oh! <laughs> okay! And, uh, and New Gundam Breaker. Oh my god! 
I, I wanted to kill myself after this. <laughs> the this Demon was, Brothers like, fucked like, your pizza! This was in like two months of each other. I wanted to die. This is, that's fucking rough. It was, um, it was fucking rough. I was having a bad time. There we go. All right, chat, we unlocked our first secondary job. Let me see what Alto's given me in this document here. Uh, all right, we will be a foe breaker now. Has Alto given you a, uh, like, spreadsheet for what to do? Uh, he just, he just gave me recommended first and secondary jobs, but basically, yes. Oh, okay. Which I'm like, sure, I'll give this a try. Bond finally <laughs> beat the neat allegations. He's working so hard. Beat the what? The neat oh, allegations, because he's get, okay. he's got multiple okay. jobs. We're, we're at the peak of comedy tonight. I see. It's 4 a.m. Never mind. It's it's basically morning now. It, I have some bad news for you. Mm. It's basically 5 a.m. for you. Oh yeah, basically yeah. Actually, how much is this game on sale for right now? This is twenty-five bucks. Yeah. I was, I was, I wanted to get it for the better, for you know, the save menu that looks nice, the better frame rate. Yeah. But it was fifty dollars. I'm like, I'm not doing that. And I start my first year, and someone goes, "Why did you get it on Xbox? It's on sale." And I'm like, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> scream. <laughs> yeah. It, no, it, no, it, no, it no, only fucking that. went on sale like right as I started that day. No, I remember that, because I saw you start playing it, and then I saw somebody go, Oh yeah, this is on, like, just randomly, this is on sale. I'm like, oh, well, I hope you didn't pay too much. And I'm like, oh, it's even worse. Yeah, no, I just replayed the part, which didn't take too too long. Okay. Uh, I guess, I guess you could have... Yeah, I'll just so do once, the um, fun habit, sure. What's up? So when's the Lost Odyssey uh, stream? <laughs> I don't know how to do that with a stream. Do you think I can? Do you think I can have co-hosts for the Thousand Year of Dream light novel sections? <laughs> that um, fucking Aries talking I, about uh, talking about their Jack in the Box fucking their prostate while they're talking about I'm immortal, my children are dead. Um, I don't remember much of that game because I didn't play a lot of it. My stepbrother did, and I remember my my main experience of that game was him being like, hey, check out this game, and me opening the case, and it has, like, six fucking discs, and I'm like, what is in this thing? What is in here? Yes, the elusive four-disc 360 RPG. Yeah. You're talking about Lost Odyssey? Yes, we and, are. And that, and that, and, and that was, I, I the, that, that, that was make, like... I, I stepped away to get toast. Uh, I come back, and I hear... Four disc uh, through sixty RPGs. Like, ah, shit! You're talking about Lost Odyssey. Very um, easy. The, the the best part of that is like that was before anybody was putting was doing anything multiple discs for the 360. This was like year two 360. No one was doing that. La Noir wasn't out. No I one was pulling this. Was shit. Final and Fantasy like, 13 out? Because that did have it. It had no. three. Oh, okay. Did it have three? Yeah, it yeah, had three discs. But on, oh. P on PS3, since it was Blu-rays, they could only do one disc. That, that's remember kind of funny. When, then, like, remember when the 360 version of 13 used to be worse because it had worse cutscenes? Yeah, it, now, it had like lower resolution ones, and now they've yeah. switched, and Square gave them the sauce. They gave so them 4K cutscenes. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. When when I was replaying through the uh, that game, I was like fucking. It's insane how. When they do, like, the fucking CG cutscenes for that game, it's like, no, this still... Th you could just put these in any new game, and it would still look crazy. Yeah, um, yeah, I was really impressed with a lot of the something. CG stuff of even the PS2 stuff, and uh, I'm really glad that they were able to, yeah. like, give higher quality versions of 13, so when I go in the little... It's gonna be funny oh, when yeah. we play through 13, and, and I'm like, yeah, this is a pretty good PS4 game. Yeah, no, that, that's kind <laughs> of, um... That, that's kind of how I felt going through it, is I'm like... I had to keep reminding myself, I'm like, oh yeah, this was made like over a decade ago. Yeah, this did not come out in 2019. This is not like a obscure 7 out of 10 from 2019. It is not White Knight Chronicles on PS3. I, I want to play that game. I know no one who's played that. I said it once and also popped it. off. Cool. Yeah, of I'm course. Gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna check something. 
no, no, no. I... Chronicles RPCS3 net play. One second. I, I, I like. Okay, I just really like the armor design in that game. Yeah, I always saw the cover and went, ooh. I went, ooh, yeah, I'm too poor to own 7th gen. Look at this thing. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that was me most of the it's time, bad. and then... Wasn't the second one, like, a like ha didn't it have really weird, like, online functionality? <coughs> Maybe. I can't drink correctly. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna die. <coughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> oh. You should probably mute next time. <coughs> You know what? That's a good time to wrap up for today. <laughs> good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. This just happens sometimes, you know? It just like... It just... does. I had it, I had, I had it happen when I was like getting ramen earlier today, and I had like spicy ramen, and I just inhaled it the wrong fucking way, and I'm like trying not to make a scene as I'm choking. Oh yeah. Over in the corner. I I I'm in a movie theater watching something. I take a drink and it happens, and I go, no, not now, <laughs> please God. So the next twenty minutes is just me like. My veins are popping out of my head as I try to hold it in, like that white guy staring at the thing to the right where his veins are coming out of his forehead. That's how I felt. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, I'm like, it, it, you know, already bad, plus it's like something with chili oil in it, and I'm like, there is chili oil in my lungs. Oh. I'm having a bad time. <laughs> just get me fucking cooked. I just imagine you're, like, actually sweating, because it's like, oh god. Well, because it's also, like, you know, it, it doesn't help that also, you know, I've been fucking tearing through, like, this whole ass bowl of ramen. That shit, like, will heat you up no matter what. You will mm -hmm. be sweating no matter what, not even from spice, just, this is hot ass food. And I'm, like, just sitting there already sweating. Tr like, my face is turning. Thank God for foundation. You know what? Thank God for foundation. <laughs> I'm like, my face isn't going to be that red because it is painted over. It's fine. You're like, I haven't lost. You did. No one can see how much <sighs> I'm dying. <clears throat> All right, I'm mostly recovered. I cried a little. God, that is a fast-ass loading scene. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, 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 the PlayStation one just fills a meter for like six seconds before you can even look at it. Horrible. Um, there's like a, a contrast with this where, um, uh, when you go and play, um, specifically I think 13.2, 13.2 just uses like a fake PS3 save screen. For the 360 version. Oh, yeah, I do recall it looking kind of like that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Or actually, I guess it looks more like a like PSP save screen. I don't know. I like how earlier in the past, like, month, Jordan at random said, yo, what if we just death streamed all of Suicide Squad when it comes out? Oh, did, did, and, did and, I actually say yes to that? I think and, I did. And, and we were, like, going through it going through the ideas of it, and I'm like, I'll just do it with, like, you, because at first, cause at first he wanted, he was like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it for, like, a, a cash incentive, and I'm like, sure, if it's only you, I could only afford to pay one of you. <laughs> and, and then he, and then he just invited you and Nep, and then DM me going, don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait. Who? You and Nep, what? Uh, the concept yeah, is that me? apparently me, Alto, Jordan, and Nep yeah, no, will play oh, Suicide oh, okay. Squad. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Because you just said that that he invited you and Nep, and which was a very oh, uh, sorry, my nebulous bad. statement. Uh, I invited said. Nep and Nep. Please excuse me. <laughs> Why? Uh, th they mainly chose you because they, uh, in Jordan's words, we need a Harley Quinn. Oh my God. <laughs> Because no one is picking that character. 
Wait, why? I would. <laughs> because it's you. You just vindicated him. I. Like who? Come on. <laughs> Come on. She's so oompy. I think it's really funny that he decides and makes that a thing that we'll do in the day after the game gets delayed. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the, the next day I was looking, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I see how it is. And I'm like, eventually... If, if I can make one suggestion. Sure. If I can make one suggestion. Sure. Somehow get, uh... Get Jason to agree to hit, make him the shark. I can't... Well known fact, when I first met Jason, his Discord avatar was a street shark. That's funny. That I don't think I could trick him to play anything that has a gear menu that looks like that. Understandable. I think he would just start screaming as he moves through a destiny like menu. never forgive uh, Destiny for making fake uh, cursors that you need to use an analog stick for. Modern game's I, a thing. I, I I think Destiny's UI is fine. Yeah, I oh, didn't no, really Destiny have a problem with fine. it. It's just unfortunate that everyone decided that it's the exact menu type they'll use. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit unfortunate. It's, it's funny when people bring up Destiny and like, oh, who fake gear stats in RP in games and it's like no Destiny has like that oh, that no, shit matters. Up an Destiny, RPG. It's yeah, yeah, up De an RPG Destiny's a, a real RPG. That, that it's yeah, not like, yeah. maybe it maybe it didn't used to be that way, but like no, it, was, returning, it was it was it yeah, was but it was. It, even more so nowadays. Even more so nowadays with like uh like the uh, different stats on armor and also mm. like uh, the armor mods and it's it's a lot. Yeah, no, and all of it's very like actually pretty meaningful. Um I, I would love to start playing that game if catching up wouldn't cost me nearly $200. Um, yeah, because you because you really can't just get Lightfall, because unfortunately, there's a thing called weapon crafting now, which means that you have to buy Witch Queen. And oh, if so you want to get Stasis... Witch Queen? Yeah, and if you want to get the Stasis subclass, you need to buy Beyond Light. Yeah, because that's where, that's where the jobs are, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's, like, um... It's like picking up that's, Heaven's War for cool. Dark Knight or whatever. Yeah, and if you want to keep, actually like keep like keep up with uh, Lightfall, you need to buy the Deluxe Edition so you have access to all of the seasons and the dungeons mm -hmm. they add. Mm-hmm. It's basi that... basically a subscription MMO, but they don't want to admit it is, so they're trying to obfuscate it really, really fucking hard. I mean, I, I still think... Um, I don't think it's like... If, you, if you're staying caught up i think it's like actually a, a pretty good like model i i think what they yeah. have going oh, yeah through. yeah but like... it but 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 it's unfortunately one of those things where it's like trying to get into this and it's like yeah by the way you're gonna have to spend all this money if you want to catch up and like uh like uh it, and, I, I at least on um at least on playstation one of their one of their older expansions is yeah, free Beyond on there Light now. Yeah, Beyond Light is, uh, is part of yeah, the uh, so PlayStation. That's kind of which like the that you would only have to buy uh, Witch Queen, which is uh, $40, and uh, you would also have to buy Lightfall in the... Yeah, which is which is like the newest one. So it's like, that's the easiest onboarding thing they currently have. Yeah, it's it's just, it, it is, you know, it is so nice for 14, as as much as I bitch about 14's models sometimes, um, to just be able to go, oh yeah, just buy the new, just buy the new expansion and you're caught up. I actually um, understand the argument as to why they don't do a subscription for games like Destiny, because I've seen the use case of those people going, oh, is it a subscription? If I'm not playing it every second, I'm losing money. I can't do this. And then they don't yeah, buy it. Yeah, like, and unfortunately, yeah. like it, you you can end up with a um, with, with that kind of FOMO from these games of like, and, and I I get like it, it is Destiny kind of an issue is... for, for like fourteen of like, well I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not paying fifteen dollars to come and play this patch, and I'm like yeah fair. Yeah, um, I will say, and I'll fully admit I was a bit hyperbolic about Destiny a few weeks ago, but actually like sitting down and playing it. I feel like I have a bit more of a measured response. 
Like, it, it's, yeah. it's legitimately a good game. It just, uh, there's That's problems. Yeah, yeah they, 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 like, yeah. like the fact that it might not be a sub MMO, but if you're, uh, unless you're making sure that you play all the seasonal content when it's still in the game before the next expansion comes out, you'll, you're never playing that content. It immediately goes away when, like, all the Witch Queen seasonal content, gone. No longer in the game. Anything you play yeah. in Lightfall now, besides the dungeons, and anything that was in base game Lightfall is going to be gone when the final shape comes out. Um, yeah, that's kind of... Uh, I mean, then there's also the, the issue of um, how that game handled its first few years of content by going, uh, never mind. Um, where it's like... Yeah. You, you know, you, you you get introduced to Destiny 2, and you're, you know, from Destiny 1, and you're like, Oh, where's my favorite guy, Kate 6? And it's like, I have some bad news for you. He died in an expansion four years ago that you can no longer buy and play. Yeah, I don't even feel bad about spoiling that, because you can't, you can't, you can't actually go through that content. Yeah, you can. This character, this character died in content that you can't play and doesn't even exist anymore. They killed him and in a CG it, trailer first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yeah, they they uh, let you know. Yeah, that's your whole driving force. He got murked. Uh, this isn't really a spoiler because it's like again, it's oh, yeah, like, a, been a, a thing a, in a, Destiny a, for well, no, no, specifically this. This has been a thing in Destiny for at least like two or three years now. Uh, the person that killed him is a guardian now. Oh yeah, no, I'm 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 aware of that one, but like it it, it is very funny because um, you you, I I think it very much like highlights a really scary thing when you go back to like w when there's the argument of like there is an edition of this game that launched the you know w with the, the like you know picture. big expan the, 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 the big expansion pass version of this game that launched and nothing in there is in this video game i anymore. literally made a joke about that i have that fucking pc version of the forsaken legendary collection I made a whole joke about how, like, holding it and taking a picture of me holding it and then taking a picture of me with, without the game in my hand saying before and after the date they removed that content. Yeah, it, it, where, where you go, okay, well, um, this thing that you paid real money for, like, I, I mean, I guess it's, it, it's realistically not super different than, like, just getting rid of live service games in general. So it's like, it, it is kind of nebulous there of, like, you can kind of argue the same thing about, like, the you know destiny one there we go Found um it. but yeah it is uh it is an issue and that that is kind of a thing of uh, yeah. why i've kind of yeah that's why they that's why they finally agreed to like stop doing it they're like we've yeah, oh, well, for the they, they actually but say the, that they would stop? Well, yes and no. The problem is, is that it's only for the expansions themselves, not the seasons. And by the end of an expansion's life cycle, it's the seasonal activities and, like, the seasonal content that's making up the majority of that expansion. So it's so like it if they took out all of the post-patch content yeah. for every... Yeah, every the, time, the way I explained it... Expansion. The way I explained it to people is that they're no longer, like... Um, so, like, it would be like, okay, before, they would have just gotten rid of, like, all of Shadowbringers, like, even the patches. Now they're just getting rid of the patches. But that's still, like, a significant part of that, like, expansion. Yeah. No, that is still, like, half of that not story. Just, and not just, just like, the story, but it's, it's like, if it got of... rid of, like, Baza, if it got rid of the Trial series, basically, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Again, Destiny itself is good. It's very unfortunate <laughs> that uh, they got a uh, an L with uh, this expansion story literally being filler. Literally being filler. Yeah. Uh, it's too bad they were having a pretty good run there for a while. It's too bad that they hit a, hit a bump here. I played the first level of the Witch Queen uh, campaign on Legendary and immediately understood why people were so upset with the way that Lightfall's campaign turned out. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, 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 they find. Okay, so that is nice. So they did actually lower the, um. So did they actually lower the threshold for when they will send you, uh, Twitch payouts? Uh, they might have. They might have lowered it to maybe $50 if it wasn't that yet. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I noticed that, um. At, at first, I, I noticed I got a payout from, like, the very beginning of this year, but I thought that that might just be a weird tax purpose thing. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I just got one for like eighty dollars. That that goes hard. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, they they've changed. I think so. Even affiliates get like get it two weeks after wow. the last month. Yeah, like, I no yeah. I noticed that is um that that is the only good change they've ever done to any of these programs. Congrats. Um, I don't know what other changes uh, they could make, really. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I mean, no, I just meant in terms of like their payouts for partners and stuff being dog shit. Oh. Uh, I didn't really do the math. I'm coming from YouTube where it's also really terrible, so. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely better than YouTube. Yeah. I don't even know what they're cooking. Uh, what they're cooking currently is if you curse at all, you'll get a yellow dollar sign and not make any money. So I get to see every content creator I know try different ways to censor all the curse words out of their random video they've made. Didn't they backpedal on that on YouTube? Uh, they updated their policy, and their policy says, We now consider all curse words the same level of severe. <laughs> oh, no, that's worse. Yeah, they no longer consider damn and hell curse words, but uh, ass and shit apparently mean the same as fuck. Okay, I... I'm curious, did something happen at Bungie? Because, um, I, I, I went to go and make my account, and it's asking if I want to get emailed about job opportunities from them. Um... What? I'm not joking. Well, do you? Uh... Honestly? Kinda. Yeah. Um... No, Ubisoft, like, just, I'm like, oh, I want to lose my account, so I can... <laughs> I, I don't think I want. I don't think. I'm just thinking of other companies that are bleeding there. staff. There's a very good reason Ubisoft is. Um, I wasn't acting like it was a mystery as to why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. We'll oh, wrap yeah, up. We'll wrap up for today. People right now. Yeah. I go through my. If they're doing remote work, I should go through my resume. In. Uh, most of it is either remote or hybrid, so, uh... Alright, chat, that's remote. gonna do it for today. Uh, I might be back later on as I try to adjust my schedule, but for now, we're good. Okay. Thank you, Captain Bosch, for the $5. Uh, we didn't get a lot in the credits thing here as the stream hiccuped a little bit. Well, that'll do it. What time is it? Oh, God, that's crazy.